Hey, 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 hey! Good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching this part of the Q Corner Convention. I think that's more of a question. That's more of a question right now. Is it good morning? Is it good night? Is it good afternoon? We really don't know anymore. We don't know. We've been stuck in the studio for so long now. We haven't actually seen daylight for quite some time. Um, Who needs so daylight? Actually, vitamin D is overrated. If, uh, if Dom starts saying Gollum, then um, I'll be a bit worried. Okay. So how are you guys? Did you miss us in the break? Did you get yourself and stretch your legs? I know some people have been welded to the couch. So I hope you got up and stretched your legs and made yourself a coffee or a cup of tea ready for the next part of the show. Because I have to say we failed, bad. we failed ourselves in in our in our ambition to get live as quick as you could. We never even made ourselves a fresh cup of tea. We didn't. How poor is that? I tell you what we'll do though is in a moment somebody very special is going to take over um, the beginning of this part, and then what we can do is we can make ourselves a cup of tea and we'll sit down and watch them with you guys. Absolutely, that's. I want my dog quickly. I like that. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Justin, dog, made it off the couch. Yeah, <laughs> you've got one of them extender leads, didn't you? Really, <laughs> you sat on the couch and you let him go for a walk uh, by himself. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, who have we got sitting in the wings? That's the one there. That's the chap. So, who have we got, Keith? Who have we got joining us now? Uh, we have the one and only Alessandro Patane from that smile. Italy. He is a legend in the industry already. People love him. He's always smiling. He's always singing. And he's always doing amazing balloon designs. He inspires people around the world. And uh, he's a pretty likeable type of guy as well he to is. go along with it. So. He's a nice chap. He is. So, so let's um, let's see what he has to do. Because we've got a, he's got a class called Eye to Eye, which is the... Eyes are the mirror of the soul, so let's bring our sculptures to life with these fantastic class. The class consist of, um, consists in the realisation of eyes for any kind of sculpture or character. That sounds fantastic, because they say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so if is the eye in the holder of the beauty. There we I go. That's a little deep for whatever day or time <laughs> this is right now. Let's bring him in so we can say hello. Here he Hello, is. guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon to you, Alessandro. How are you, my friend? Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much for this great, great honor and congratulations for the organization of this great, great, incredible event. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. We've got a good um, five, over, well over 500 people and climbing watchers for here so it's i'm sure it's going to climb all the way through the show but people are going to be sad that they missed out on the beginning bit but uh are you ready to go yeah yeah i'm ready and thank you very much for occupying my time without my wife and my daughter thank you thank you very much <laughs> we understand quarantine that's why we're here in the studio don't tell anybody <laughs> this, this is my first two hours without my family <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Right, okay, we're going to hand you over to Alessandro. Um, you're going to be in some very good hands, guys. Okay, play along if you do have any balloons and listen very carefully because uh, you're going to learn a lot and we're going to look out for those golden nuggets of information. You certainly will, so enjoy, guys. Over to you. Great. I start. I start. Good morning, bon dia, buenos dias, buongiorno. You're again, good morning. Thank you, thank you very much for Qualtex pioneer Susan Fleming, Ivan Tonello, and two, these two fantastic guys, Kiff and Dom. Thank you, thank you very much for this great honor, the first incredible, much bigger convention online in the history. Um, my class is a technics class. And I want, I don't make this class in two languages, Italian and English, obviously for, for my people, for my friends, Italian is, is, is much better. So, uh, buongiorno a tutti, buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti nel primo grandissimo evento Qualatex uh, online e ringrazio tantissimo tutti coloro che hanno organizzato questo evento in così pochissimo tempo, questo meraviglioso evento, la prima volta nella storia. 
Um, cosa dire? Allora, this is, a, um, this is a one technical class because uh, in many, many times in my life, uh, I see the very problem of the big sculptor and little sculptor um, as the, um, the expression of their character. And for this reason, uh, I realized that this class uh, only for the eye, eye to eye. In moltissimi casi, in tantissimi anni di lavoro, ho visto sempre che grandi sculture o piccoli personaggi hanno sempre avuto bisogno di eh, un'espressione migliore, un qualcosa che dava in più un tocco al viso, alle facce, ai personaggi. Ed è per questo motivo che ho realizzato questa classe I to High. E, for my first high, eh, I go to use simple two balloons for one eye. 5 uh, inch white and 260 black. Per il mio primo occhio andrò ad utilizzare un 5 pollici bianco e un 260 nero. Per la mia prima olios vado a procurarmi un 5 pollegata e un 260. Oh, in spagnolo sto è incredibile. Ok, for first inflate the 260. Ah, it's a chocolate, not black, not important, the same. Uh, go to take the, the final part of 260 and make one little bubble. Per il primo occhio prenderò un 260, gonfierò al massimo e prenderò la bolla finale del 260. Disinflate the other part of balloons and close. So sgonfiate la parte del palloncino che non vi serve e tenete solo la bolla legata. Cut the rest of the balloons, tagliate il resto del palloncino e this is the result. If uh, Kif ok, one symbol perfectly round bubble. Thank you Kif and Don. Now we go to take uh, the, sink, the, um, the five inch white, cinco polegada, cinque pollici bianco, and go to cut the top of a five inch. So, it's very simple. Keep. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Keep. <laughs> Oops, this is the, the five inch white cutter. Okay, now with the force of the hands is much better so. I go to create one great space for this little bubble. I put inside the final of 260 inside the five inch white. With one my hand, close the, the part cut of 5 inch, con la mia mano sinistra tengo chiusa la parte tagliata del 5 pollici, and a little inflate for move. Oh. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go to cut again in this part and one little stress of the, uh, the five balloon, the five inch. Cut and open. Tagliate e aprite leggermente l'occhio. Obviously, you can modify the shape of the eyes with your hand. Ovviamente potete modificare la, la forma dell'occhio che, che avrà alla fine con, con le vostre mani. E, after, close together 260 and 5 inch, and go to make a neck. Chiudete insieme 260 e 5 pollici e fate un nodo in modo che la bolla non possa muoversi in nessun modo in nessuna maniera 
Keith, please, in a, another time. Okay, this, simple. Very, very simple. And so little is, uh, is much better use the uh, 260 inside because with five inches is uh, uh, much difficult and not have uh, you have the good result. È sempre meglio utilizzare per occhi così piccoli il, la punta di 260 perché con il 5 pollici nero all'interno avremo veramente grosse difficoltà a farlo venire perfettamente liscio. For uh, show you one example uh, that uh, that uh, use this uh, technique, I prepare one my little friends. And uh, you can see the highest. Perfect. This is one, one simple example, but uh, with these techniques, is uh, um, for me, it's a, it's a, a wonderful effect uh, uh, on the people. Uh, two eyes make so with this technique. Very, very nice. Uh, you can use this technique for one infinity quantity of decoration and character so. Potete utilizzare questa tecnica per tantissime decorazioni, ma soprattutto potete eh, utilizzare la dimensione di questi occhi, anche più grandi o più piccoli, per fare anche dei piccoli personaggi così. L'impatto sulle persone è veramente diverso, è molto molto più particolare. Um, I don't like use the, the marker for color the, the center of the eye because uh, all time uh, this this uh, I, I think is my problem but all time I I design uh, I write uh, one eye with the sides one eye with another side and not good for me prefer I use I prefer use the balloons for um, for make this effect uh, ogni volta che cambio che io non sopporto utilizzare i, i pennarelli per colorare il centro degli occhi perché così è veramente più bello l'effetto e soprattutto ogni volta che li faccio penso sia un mio problema venivano un occhio più grande e un occhio più piccolo e disegnati ma I'm a balloon artist not, not a designer of, <laughs> of eyes ok next one ok for my next uh, eyes per il mio prossimo occhio uh, mm, we need two uh, one five inch white and one five inch black. Per la prossima occhio abbiamo bisogno di un 5 pollici bianco e un 5 pollici nero. Per lo prossimo olios necessitamos di un 5 pollegata branco e un 5 pollegata negro. Ok. With one simple stick, con una semplice stick, Go to put inside. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Before, I'm, I'm sorry. Before, for first, per primo, scusate. I go to cut the top of balloon. Okay. The similar the technique of the first eye. È similare alla tecnica del primo occhio. Okay. Now. We can stress a little stress uh, uh, on the stick, the 5 inch black. Possiamo stressare 5, ne 5 pollici nero leggermente sulla stecca bianca. E vamos a collocarle to put inside the 5 inch white. Andiamo a metterlo dentro il 5 pollici bianco. Così. Now, uh, for inflate this eyes, uh, usually I use the, um, the inflator, but uh, with, uh, with all this incubus in Italy, uh, the, the only object that uh, I take in my shop is only the balloons, I, I don't have inflator in this case. Uh, but if you want to uh, make this technique alone, uh, you can use your legs. Se volete, potete utilizzare le vostre gambe, perché io purtroppo sono riuscito a prendere solo ed esclusivamente i palloncini e non i gonfiatori. Okay. 
Before you inflate the balloon with uh, one hand, take close the, part, the cut part of a five inch white. This. Close with your finger. Okay. Now, one, two. And close together. Now we can open a little much the center high. So and this is one one uh, another another eyes. For this, uh, um, for this highs, uh, obviously, uh, I think uh, all the people changed the, um, the sides of balloons and changed the sides of the highs. But, penso che tutti quanti voi abbiate capito che utilizzando dimensioni di palloncini differenti si possono realizzare palloncini occhi più grandi. Bah, ma c'è un piccolo problema. With these sides of balloons, uh, is uh, very easy because the latex uh, around the balloons is uh, perfectly stressed, uh, per perfectly around the five inch inside. If you use uh, two, uh, for example, uh, one eleven inch, one sixteen, yes, it's possible, but it's much difficult. For eyes so big, uh, is better another technique. I want to show you after. Eh, se dovete utilizzare ad esempio un, un 11 pollici o un 16 pollici per fare un occhio più grande è possibile ma è un po' più difficile eh, quindi eh, ci sono altre tecniche per realizzare occhi molto grandi e ve le farò vedere più tardi tra un pochettino va bene? ok for this eyes the example for show you is this mask <laughs> Keith, please. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. For Christmas, I have one gift for you. Okay. Uh, how to see um, this technique is perfect for face, for face much bigger of the... Um, of the, the classic character. Come vedete questa tecnica è molto più particolare rispetto a quella di prima perché possiamo realizzare degli occhi più grandi per facce più grandi. Eyes much bigger, for face much bigger. Okay, this is one simple example, it's a simple mask, but I, I, I think uh, it's, uh, it's very easy to understand the power of this technique and um, obviously the sensation, the, um, particular effort, effort, effect that uh, this face um, give the people. Okay. Now, 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 highest number three. Okay, the highest number three is very easy, is very easy. Usually I use this technique for the Disney character or the, um, the character in the twisting competition or um, for, for all, all you want, but very, very quickly. Solitamente io utilizzo questi occhi che sono molto facili per eh, personaggi Disney, personaggi piccoli o nelle competizioni, perché comunque è una tecnica molto, molto veloce. In this case, I need to... Uh, one, two, sixty white. Necessitamos de un 260 branco. Eh, abbiamo bisogno di un 260 bianco. Eh, one, two, sixty black. Abbiamo bisogno di un 260 nero. Necessitamos de un otro 260 negro. So, inflate. One, two, no. Another. <laughs> One, two, three. Two, 
to 60. Not important, no, not very important uh, how, uh, how many you inflate the, the 260. Uh, depend to uh, how much bigger is the character uh, of unit. Two simple little part. Dividete perfettamente a metà con due bolle. Two big bubbles. Okay. Cut the rest of the balloon, not necessary. Tagliate il resto del palloncino che non è fondamentale. Attention for the rest. This rest is very important. Non buttate il resto del palloncino, è importante tra poco. Now, we go to inflate the 260 black. Adesso possiamo gonfiare il 260 nero. Podemos inflare il 260 nero. I go to make a two, two pinch twist. One double pinch twist, so. Facciamo un doppio pinch twist. Vamos a cortar la parte che non necessitiamo. Uh, we go to cut the not necessary part, the rest. And cut all the rest of 260. The unique part uh, necessary for, uh, for the work is uh, only the neck. Only this. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, only this. Perfect. So, you remember the rest of the balloon? Ricordate il palloncino che abbiamo tagliato? Ok. We need only one simple pinch twist. Abbiamo bisogno soltanto di un semplice pinch twist. After we can cut the rest of balloons, neck, ok, only so, solo così, soltanto only one part, one little part. Now we can, uh, we can go to uh, unit together, these two parts, uh, like a cluster, like a, like a duplet. Possiamo unire queste due parti come se fossero una doppietta. But it's very, very important not, not to neck very strong, but in the middle. It's very, very, um, a little much elastic of the normal. Ok? Non troppo stretto il nodo, un poco più lento, va bene? Un po' al centro. Ok, questo, this is so, two pinch twist, another pinch twist on another, another color, so, now, we go to put in the middle of two, this double, the pinch twist white, and thank, thanks to the elastic um, latex in the middle, you don't see uh, the, bu the bubble large but very, very strong and stopped. The effect is so. Very, very funny eyes and um, very, very quickly. Uh, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfect for twisters, for uh, character very quickly or for decoration for character Disney, uh, for what you want. <laughs> the possibilities are infinite. The possibilities are infinite. You can use them for any person, character, or uh, Disney, non Disney, or meno. They are really very, very easy to realize. Uh, it's very, very easy to make it. Okay? For the example, about this highs i have my little friends just ready per, per un esempio di questi occhi ho già il mio amico pronto the people remember him jolly 
My dog that stay home. Il mio cane che rimane a casa. This house. E so. Very, very easy, very quickly. And very expression. Because the important is this. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Jolly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, the next. Oh, the next eyes. The next eyes is uh, um, a little much difficult, but not impossible. Il prossimo occhio è un, uh, un po' più complicato, tra virgolette, ma non è impossibile, ovviamente. Uh, for making this eyes, we need to uh, one 11 inch white and one 5 inch black. Ok. Um, Por esto olios necesitamos de un 5 pulgada negro y un 11 pulgada blanco. Por todos mis amigos españoles y portugueses. Ok, now. En fleet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 9 pumps to inflate the 11 inch white. 9 pompate para gonfiar el 11 pollice blanco. Go too close, not very strong the neck. Non legate troppo forte il nodo, but uh, in the middle, so. Not here, but here, in the middle. Okay. Now, go to inflate the five inch black. Not very big because it's very, very important the the center of the high is a total round perché è veramente importante gonfiarlo poco perché il centro dell'occhio deve essere perfettamente tondo one normal neck so go too close together andiamo a legare insieme together 5 inch and 11 inch Squeeze a little bit the 11 inch and push the next, not perfectly in the center, but a little, mm, uh, a little right. Okay. Not in the middle, perfectly in front, not, but a little much height. One. Two. and with another part of 260 one this close the raising in the back e con un altro 260 o un resto di un 260 potete chiudere insieme il 260 now uh, now we need to move in this in this way the center of the high Inside the, the 11 inch, abbiamo bisogno di premere e muovere il centro del palloncino così all'interno dell'11 pollici. And stop it the, with your finger the, uh, the 5 inch black, black. Squeeze all 11 inch so and uh, mm, Take this uh, position for uh, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. With this uh, strange techniques of this of uh, 10 seconds, con questa tecnica di 10 secondi. Uh, we can change the shape of the 11 inch with the, this, uh, uh, this different shape, not, not perfectly round, but uh, I don't remember uh, that say tradition in English, but ovale in Italian, in Italian language is ovale. Okay? 
very softly, it's important for not puppet the balloons. And again, move, move, move the center of high for uh, forgive uh, to your eyes this effect. Okay, not totally outside the eleven inch, but uh, for uh, well, for one great part inside the eleven inch. In questo modo abbiamo una parte del 5 pollici esce fuori dall'occhio e l'altra parte del 5 pollici è all'interno dell'occhio. Ok? For this technique, eh, I want to show you uh, another <laughs> application for show you the different possibility of this technique. Voglio mostrare a voi eh, un altro personaggio. Eh, per farvi vedere come si possono applicare queste, questi occhi in questo modo and I want to call my another friends Flower Black great hello Flower Black hello hashtag hello Flower Black ok <laughs> hello Kif hello Dom Thank you very much, Flower Black. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the effect of the quarantine, sorry. Uh, this eyes is perfect just for a decoration, much bigger character, much bigger. Uh, um, I, I want to repeat again. I don't use the marker for color, the, 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 the center of the eyes, because many, many, many times, uh, I, I, many, many times it's wrong for me because uh, I have one eyes of one side and the other, the other eyes with another side of the, of the center, and not good for me. I, um, I like the symmetry one decoration. Uh, sorry for all the people that love the organic, but <laughs> I love the perfect line symmetry because it's a, because I love it. Uh, questa è una bellissimo un bellissimo esempio di come si possono realizzare eh, come si possono applicare occhi di questo genere io amo la simmetria quindi preferisco sempre utilizzare 5 pollici e non disegnare perché in questo modo secondo me è molto più bello l'effetto è più è più vivo è più divertente è più eh, è più vivo perché è vero It's much, it's much life. I see the life in my is in, in my decoration or with these techniques. Okay. Hello, flower black. Hello, hello guys. Hello, flower black. Flower black or flower or flower black. Okay, now, now we have another particular eyes. Adesso abbiamo un altro particolare, un occhio particolare, eh, un po' più difficile, a little much difficult, difficile, oh my god, ok, a little much difficult. Ok, eh, for uh, make this ice, uh, no, Kif, no, another, next, Kif, ok, perfect, thank you, Kif and Dom, thank you, Kif and Dom, ok. For this, uh, for this eyes, we need to one eleven inch white, uh, one five inch black, and uh, one two sixty. Per questo, per questo occhio abbiamo bisogno di un undici pollici, un cinque pollici, un undici pollici bianco, un cinque pollici nero e un due sessanta. For the two sixty, uh, the color depend uh, to the color of your character. Per il colore del 260 dipende dal colore della decorazione che state facendo. Uh, for example, if I need one great baby and uh, the, the, the dress of this baby is uh, azure or blue or is, is, is a man, is a, a child, uh, I prefer use inside the uh, 11 inch, one, two, sixty, light blue okay now I need to stress the 11 inch abbiamo bisogno di stressare l'11 pollici necessitamos di inflare il globo completamente
Okay. And now, one, two, three. Only three pumps, solo tre pompate. Disinflate the part and close the part when finish uh, the, the part inflate of the balloons. So, this is the part stressed. This, no. Questa è la parte stressata. E questa, no. Here. Thank you. Ok, one part is stressed, other part no. And the neck in the middle. Ok. With one stick, put in the middle of the 260, it's very, very important, and molto importante, that the neck, at the neck at the finish of the part inflated in the same time. Ok, the neck. And and uh, and the finish the note the note uh, and the finish of the part inflate in the middle of the stick and put inside the eleven inch white very important uh, miss the uh, don't miss the the neck and the finish of part inflate is much better however is out of balloons oops. Ok, perfetto. È sempre importante che il nodo, che il beccuccio del pallone e il nodo del palloncino stiano fuori dall'11 pollici. Now I go to inflate the 11 inch. Adesso vado a gonfiare l'11 pollici. And now I go to inflate the 260 inside the 11 inch. Adesso vado a gonfiare il 260 che sta dentro l'11 pollici. Take the neck of the 260 and close together the finish of the 260. Disinflate the 11 inch with your finger touched in the middle of the 260. It's very important. I touched I touched my, my other finger so okay. Five inch in this case five inch black. I got to inflate very little the five inch black in this case I need to one neck very very tight vado a gonfiare il 5 pollici nero in questo caso ho davvero bisogno di un nodo molto molto alto not squeeze because I need this very very strong that effect non Spremo il palloncino per allungarlo, ma metto direttamente il nodo all'interno per farlo molto molto sottile. I want to show you the difference. Ok. Ok. This ice is without uh, squeeze. Ok. And this is the side, ok. And this five inch. And this five inch is with with squeeze. See the different of size. Mira la differenza della, della medida. Guardate la differenza di dimensione. I need of this. Ho bisogno di questo. Not of this. This is one apple. Questa è una mela, questa no. This is one donuts. Ok? I need one donuts. Oh my god, I remember the donuts. Ricordo ancora i donuts. Now!
I need to one raising twist. Okay, three, uh, three neck in the same position. Okay, three times, one, two, three. Cut the rest. Okay, and put inside the 11 inch white. I don't I don't make it before because I scary to puppet the 11 inch or to 60 with the raising twist inside before. Non ho messo dentro il raising twist prima di gonfiare il 260 perché avevo paura che scoppiasse o il 260 oppure l'11 pollici. Now I got to inflate a little bit the 11 inch and push uh, inside the, the neck the raising twist. Perfect. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You can see. Don't know. You can see. Yes, yes, you can see. Okay. Now disinflate the eleven inch. Adesso sgonfiamo l'undici pollici. We have the resin twist. In it. And I got to close this resin twist with another 260 on one rest of 260 of before. Vado a chiudere il resin twist con il 260 bianco eh, oppure con il resto di un 260 bianco di prima. Ok. Very easy. And close together the little donuts. <laughs> uh, with five inch black and this part of racing very very strong very very strong molto molto forte ok ladies and gentlemen this is another eye not very quickly but very very impressive the, the important in this case is the effect that the people uh, feel when see the this uh, this decoration this character when this particular eyes la cosa più importante è la sensazione che hanno le persone quando vedono una grande scultura o una grande decorazione con questi occhi che sembrano vivi Okay, and for these uh, eyes, uh, I have uh, one uh, uh, strange example, <laughs> strange example to show you. In questo caso, in questo caso di quest'occhio, ho un piccolo esempio da mostrarvi. Is a carnivorous plant, a little carnivorous plant. Ta da! Uh, and sorry because uh, <laughs> yeah, this night I see the Cook Corner Convention starting in the two, three time of the night in Italy. Uh, this is the result for the morning. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is my carnivorous plant with my smile. It's like, oh, it's like me. <laughs> okay. This is a one little example, okay? Uh, very funny, very strange, but the important note is this. It's very, very important that you use these techniques for give the life uh, at your decoration, at your character, at your sculpture. Non è importante la decorazione in questo caso, è importantissimo quello che tu puoi fare per la decorazione, quello che... Quello che la vita che riesce a dargli dando un effetto più particolare con gli occhi fatti in questo modo. Adesso. And now the next what is the next? Oh my god. Ok. Uh, I'm very proud of this uh, of this eyes. Uh, because uh, it's a very, very, uh, very incredible effect uh, that is finished. 
when it's finished. Uh, these are particular um, and big eyes. This is a grande occhio. Uh, you can realize this with the deco bubble. Lo potete, possiamo realizzare questo occhio con deco bubble with uh, two 11 inch super agate con due 11 pollici super agata and one 350 black e un 350 nero. Ok, in this case I got to use the 24 inch deco bubble. In questo caso vado a utilizzare il 24 pollici deco bubble. Ah. Ah. Ok. And now the situation is a little much difficult. Why? I need to, I remember, two 11 inch super gate and one 350 black. Okay. I need to really, really, I, I need to one part of the 350 black. In realtà io ho bisogno soltanto di una parte del 350. Um, in the middle. One moment. Okay. Perfectly. Okay. Now, with the sticker, I put inside in the I put inside the 24 inch deco bubble, the 350 black in the middle here thank you <laughs> in the middle of the, the entry of the two 24 inch after I go to take the 11 inch super gate in the left of, of the 350 black Okay, and another another time, another eleven inch superagate in the left of eleven of eleven inch of of uh, three hundred fifty black, and it's very very important on all, all the neck outside. Share with him on the screen how thankful we have allowed it. Hello, share with him. Okay, one, two, and three. Now I got to inflate a little bit the twenty four inch bubble, deco bubble. A little bit. Now I go to inflate the 350 black. So, and I go to close the 350 black. Adesso chiudo il 350 nero. Now, I got to inflate the two superrogate, 11 superrogate inside, but it is very important to inflate a little bit one, a little bit two, a little bit one, a little bit two. It's very, very important. So, I take one, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Move the eleven inch inside the deco bubble. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
Now I continue to inflate the 11 inch, the other 11 inch. Adesso vado a continuare gonfiando l'altro 11 pollici. Un momento. Ok. I take a control. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one moment because I lost the neck. Perfectly so. Perfect. A little bit one, a little bit two, a little bit one, a little bit two. Un poco prima uno e poi l'altro, prima uno e poi l'altro, prima uno e poi l'altro. Ok? Uh, if you want the same uh, effect in but a little much, a little much, a little bit, se volete lo stesso effetto ma un po' più piccolo, uh, you can use the, uh, the, um, the, the deco bubble of the other side. So, is much easier. So, now I go to inflate again the 11 inch inside. I open up pocket. Perfect. And the second 11 inch. and close together the two 11 inch. This is one reptile hive. And for me is very, very, uh, one, 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 one great, incredible uh, honor to uh, show you this, uh, uh, this particular hive. Per me è un grandissimo onore presentare questo occhio. If, uh, if Keith and Dom uh, go to slide uh, the next slide for show uh, the, for the people the the the, the sculpture with this high is very very uh, particular uh, effect in this um, wonderful frog of uh, of this uh, wonderful convention bachi in italy in 2000 2014 if i remember good mi sembra che sia bachi 2014 uh, second prize in the in the in the great school tour uh, with my team i'm very very proud and uh, one great great uh, ask for my for my team uh, of my school tour um, and this is a, um, a, a particular highs um, if i can see the next uh, slide with the with the second picture another next Okay. <laughs> uh, apart my <laughs> my person in this in this uh, in this picture, but the frog is in very very incredible. I think uh, all the particular of this sculpture is uh, is a very great particular of you want, but uh, the eyes of this frog of this frog is uh, the very 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 uh, detail for win. Penso che i dettagli della scultura della, della rana erano veramente bellissimi e tantissimi, ma penso anche che eh, il trucco sia stato veramente gli occhi per vincere quella competizione. Un grandissimo saluto e un abbraccio alla squadra che a suo tempo mi, mi aiutò. Eh, ok, 
Now, next highs. If I don't have any picture. Ah, this picture. I use the uh, super gate inside the, my highs uh, in this case because for the reptile, reptilian eyes is perfect. It's similar to uh, uh, for, for one frog, for one, uh, one, one snake. Uh, it's perfect for all these animals and character uh, with super gate, the effect is so, so strong. Eh, davvero, uso i super agate per questi occhi dei rettili, in questo caso come può essere una rana oppure come può essere un serpente perché l'effetto è veramente molto molto bello e particolare, dà veramente dei dettagli, delle sfumature fuori, dal, fuori dall'ordinario. Now, uh, no, for this uh, eyes I don't have uh, one great incredible sculpture in my house uh, for show you, non, in questo caso non ho una scultura alta 3 metri in casa mia da farvi vedere. Uh, the picture talk, uh, uh, talk for me. Ok, next high. Oh, oh, I remember. Wonderful, wonderful times. Ok, this eyes is very, very interesting. Uh, I, I'm... I remember this uh, uh, this eyes with uh, all my heart uh, because it's the first time I use one one big 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 eyes without structure uh, inside one of my sculpture perché questa qui era la prima volta che io utilizzavo un uh, un occhio così grande senza struttura all'interno di una mia scultura for make this is much easy of the reptilian eye e per fare questo è più facile dell'occhio di rettile. Ok, I need to one. Another 24 inch deco bubble. Uh, 160 uh, inch white. And one 5 inch black. Ok, open the two. 24 inch ever with this it's a joke è uno scherzo not really please <laughs> open the the bubble put inside the 11 inch black inside the 24 inch the bubble mettete l'11 pollici nero all'interno della 24 pollici Bateco Bubble e inflate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and inflate the eleven inch black one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, it's very important when you close this eleven inch black, then the neck is very the knot is very much much stronger. Very strong. Cut and miss. So mm -hmm. Ok, now we can put inside the 24 inch deco bubble the 16 inch. Ok, before the infl that inflate the uh, 16 inch, I need to uh, e to uh, go to outside all the air in the deco bubble without air completely perfect now in play gonfiamo when you inflate the uh, 16 inch 
16 inch it's important allora this is the the size of the the deco bubble okay you can see the line line of closure of the deco bubble the 16 inch in the spark and the 11 inch black in the top 16 pollici deve stare in basso e l'11 pollici deve stare in alto ok no <laughs> ok guys repeat the repetition ripetiamo da capo ok 16 inch white should put inside the 24 inch and okay. Sorry, before I don't need the, the hair inside the 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 bubble or the hair outside. So okay, and now I can inflate. Adesso posso gonfiare. Okay, well remember the 11 inch in the top and the 16 inch in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, one big, big eyes. I, uh, one particular thing, not necessary uh, inflate the balloon completely. Non è necessario gonfiare il pallone completamente. Because it's normal uh, when you use this uh, technique uh, in one great decoration on sculpture, you got to cover this uh, part uh, with the other detail. Uh, uh, with the other balloons and with the other thing, ok? È normale andare a coprire tutte le parti del palloncino anche quando eh, voi utilizzerete questa tecnica su grandi sculture. Questa qui è l'occhio. E... I am very proud to show you the next picture, if Kif uh, help me. Sono veramente orgoglioso di mostrarvi la prossima fotografia. No, this is... Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a be you're beautiful, wonderful, because uh, I am beautiful, I know, I know. Lo so, sono bellissimo, lo so, lo so. Uh, the next picture, please. Uh, no, this... Okay. This. This is the eyes of uh, one my uh, sculptor of the um, uh, Baci uh, 2015 and uh, with this uh, great uh, decoration if Keith uh, show me the next picture Heck, this the chef uh, with this uh, with this uh, sculpture and uh, thank you for this eyes I win the first prize in this competition and uh, the, 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 it's very, very funny because I, I created this, uh, this eyes for joke because uh, I need one big, big eyes, a bit, but with the latex, the, not, not very, very cleaning completely. La cosa divertente è che ho inventato questo occhio per gioco perché avevo bisogno di un occhio perfettamente lucido. It's a, I needed two uh, uh, eyes like the real eyes, okay? but much much bigger of the normal avevo bisogno di un, di un grande occhio ma simile a quello vero ma molto 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 più grande 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ओके ओके दिस इट्स अ लिटिल डिफरेंट इट्स सिमिलर बट डिफरेंट वी नीड टू Abbiamo bisogno di, necessitamos de uh, 24 inch deco bubble, uh, 24 pollici deco bubble, one 11 inch black, 11 inch black, one 16 inch white, and one 350 uh, or orange or red or blue, blue. Why not? Blue. Okay. Now, I open the 24-inch deco bubble. Apriamo la 24 pollici deco bubble. Okay. With one stick. I put inside the 24 inch, the 11 inch black, con una stecca, metto all'interno della 24 pollici, un 11 pollici nero, and I inflate, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not very big, it's important, non molto grande, importante, and close, very strong, e chiudo molto forte, ok? Adesso, and now, I put inside this uh, deco bubble perfectly in the middle of the 350 blue, perfettamente in mezzo al 350 blue, and I go to inflate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times is very important for the sides of the two seed of the 350 that not uh, it's a perfect, perfect size in the middle of the 11 inch. So, and for permitted to the 11 inch to stay in the center of the 350. Uh, close the 350, finish and start together, and catch, e tagliamo, mm. Mm. One moment, please. Un momento, por favor. Okay, now I go to take the uh, 16 inch. Andiamo a prendere il 16 pollici. Stecca. And put inside. Okay, perfect. Okay, 16 inch inside. Now it's similar, it's like before. Go to outside the area, inside the 24 inch. Without area if possible. And now inflate the 16 inch. Also, in this time, in this case, uh, 16 inch in the, in the top, in this case, and 11 inch black, uh, 350 blue in the other, other side of the bubble, of the deco bubble. Thank <laughs> you. 
And this is the eyes, which color, because with, the, with this way, it's possible to give the color around the center of the eye. I don't remember in English the center of the eye, what to say. Non mi ricordo come si dice in inglese il centro dell'occhio, ma in questo modo, in questa maniera, è possibile dare un colore attorno alla pupilla. Pupilla, come si dice in inglese pupilla? Non mi ricordo. E dare un colore centrale all'occhio in questo modo. Ora, eh, like I say you before, eh, not important inflate completely eh, the, the deco bubble because this part usually is covered to other balloons or over the tails. Non c'è bisogno, come vi ho detto prima, solitamente, di coprire le parti delle di gonfiare la deco bubble al massimo perché solitamente queste parti vengono coperte da eh, palloncini e decorazioni varie. In questo caso, in this case, I want to show you one way to cover the spot. In questo caso, voglio mostrarvi un sistema, un modo di come coprire queste parti. Okay. Two sixty blush, and I close together the the neck of the sixteen inch. Close together, a little a little strong in the other side on the. On the table bubble, chiudere con un po' di forza dall'altra parte dello table bubble, with the two pinch twist, con due pinch twist, and cut. One, two. Another 260 blush, and I need to another 260 blush. Close with another pink crystal. And another 260 at the same point. And another 260 nello stesso punto. Now I use simple 260 without hair. Uso due 260 senza aria, togliendo l'aria dall'interno, without air inside. And go too close together this tree. This three line of uh, 260 blush, but very, very softly. Perfect. Now the last 260. Twist. 
Okay. It's very, very impressive. Sorry, it's for me, but uh, in the in the camera is very, very in in the webcam is very impressive the effort that gave me this uh, these techniques. And I hope the whole people that see me uh, have the same uh, sensation. <clears throat> this one, big, big, big eye. And with this technique, is very, very easy. Not quickly, but easy. Make an incredible eye. <coughs> of you want, potete realizzare qualsiasi personaggio e qualsiasi occhio per qualsiasi soggetto animale o umano che sia. <coughs> so, this is the effect. Uh, please keep uh, show the, the next uh, and the last. Picture. For example, in this picture, you can see the same technique, but uh, in this case, uh, I I remember I needed the uh, one uh, size much little, very very little uh, of the bubble, and uh, I put inside this uh, aluminium net, uh, this uh, two bubble with these techniques, and after cover with. Uh, one millions of 260 balloons. So please show the picture, Keith. This is a, a, a strange moment in the middle of the competition. The people that comp competitors understand me, um, surely. I'm sure. Okay. Sono sicuro che chi compete capisce questi momenti di follia. The next picture, please. This. This is my gizmo. <clears throat> of the gremlins and I'm, pr I'm proud of the all my sculpture in the, my life but uh, this character with this eyes uh, is a very very incredible impact uh, on the people that see this la cosa più bella di queste sculture che vi ho fatto vedere è l'impatto visivo che davano queste sculture alle persone che guardavano perché davano la sensazione di veramente essere osservati the people, I, I remember the people feel that the uh, animal look her, look the families uh, around the sculpture. This is very, very incredible. And uh, I, I, I'm ever happy to remember these uh, moments and these techniques and this is my sculpture. And uh, uh, with this uh, uh, wonderful gizmo and this particular eyes, uh, I finish my classes. If uh, if uh, if keep a dom keep a dom, I finish. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I remember for all the people see me in this moment, Mexico, Queretaro, the 5 and 7 de junio 2020, the 5 to 7 June in 2020, and Baci, Italy, Milano, uh, 13, 17 November uh, 2020, dal 13 al 17 de novembro. 2020. Non potete. Estamos esperando todos. And so I, I, I finish. Uh, I think I finish all my eyes in my house. All my eyes in my house. The microphone. Hello. Thank you very much, Alessandro. Can we get a lot of love in the chat for Alessandro? Because that was absolutely incredible. I. Yeah, I couldn't keep up with the chat, Alessandro. Honestly, you absolutely blew people away. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, I repeat, I am very proud and honored to stay here in the middle of uh, these two great art artists. Okay, perfect, in the middle of these two great <laughs> friends and artists, Keith and Dom. Thank you, thank you very much for all your work. And uh, I surely is a very hard work with only two two week, three week for prepare for prepared all is very, very incredible. And uh, one great uh, thanks again for all the people who follow my class. And I hope to see all these people another time in the, the heavens when you teach. Fantastic. There's a lot of golden nuggets on there. Um, we reached uh, 
we reached uh, over a thousand people watching you do that, uh, Alessandro. So wow. well done to you, my friend. Well done. Thank you so much for joining us, Alessandro. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Take ciao, care. Ciao. Everybody say bye bye to Alessandro. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wow, <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. What can I say? But wow, wow, so wow. I just need to do a few things, Keith, in the background. Yeah, Dom's just sorting out the next one there because um, we have got a certain gentleman um, waiting in the wings, just getting himself the final parts of being ready uh, in the background. Um, he's a guy that, again, needs no real introduction um, because, uh, well, I think everybody really knows him within the industry. Uh, he's just getting a few things sorted out in the background. He's, uh, his set's looking rather nice. So uh, what can we say about this guy? Um, he's literally been around the world on balloons. He's taught in more countries than I think I've been to, and I've been to quite a few. Um, he's, uh, he's been teaching in the industry for, I don't know, what, 96, 157 years or something? Uh, must be something like that now. Um, his comes all the way from Belgium. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to... People are asking there, have we got any sleep? What do we need sleep for? <laughs> no. <laughs> have you guys got any sleep? Really? Have you guys got any sleep? Picking any audio up here? <laughs> Susan said in the chat there that uh, Eve told us something about a lazy Susan. I don't know. <laughs> it was just it was just a tweet a Twitter that we saw from Jag or something. Uh, uh, that's all uh, all I heard. Um, so anyway, let's go into the next guy. So um, we were saying that the the title of the class is new techniques for for flower designs. It's going to be about an hour and a half um, class. Um, so the description is spring is in the air, but be it summer, autumn or winter, everybody loves to see flowers, which is very true. Flowers are great eye catchers in any design, whether for private parties or corporate events. Uh, I'm going to give it away here. So here's Luke. It's going to be Luke Bertrand. He's going to start off with showing a new way of integrating flower patterns and geo blossoms in classic decor. Mm. You're going to see if you can bring him on to our screen. I shall join see us? if he can join us right about here. Look, there he is. He's in the background. Mr. Bertrand, can you hear us? Hi. With everybody. There he is. I can hear you in the computer. Okay, we've got your volume. That's good. We can hear you clear. Okay. Can you wave to everybody? Out. Everybody, um, welcome, Luke. The Luke, the chat has gone absolutely crazy oh, with flowers and hearts. Hello, everybody. The, the... Keith and Dom, you're a bit early because I still have four minutes. But... You do, so you get okay. bonus. Let's... You're gonna, you're gonna get bonus four minutes, and ahead. we're not gonna charge you anything hear, for it. I That's... cannot hear what you guys are saying. Four minutes from us to you. We're gonna give you four minutes. As a bonus to you. Luke is really okay. quiet on that. Then, then I'll start. Thank you, guys. You Have you got it? Enjoy. Hola. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Hola. Konnichiwa. And so on and so on. Happy to be here on the Q Corner Convention. That is so exciting. My God. I know that you're looking from all over the world to this fantastic convention. I've seen that the first part has already been looked at. Uh, when I looked uh, an hour ago, it was like 21,000 times. Whoa. Congratulations, Keith, Dom, and the whole team. So, Without further ado, I will start my class. My name is Luc Bertrand, and I'm here today with my wife, Ines. We are here inside the shop 
which I did totally rebuild. And this is the shop, Blau Balloons, and we are located in Belgium. I promised that I was going to give this class in English and in French. So, bonsoir tout le monde. Compromis, je vais tout traduire en français en plus. On est ici dans le magasin, donc j'ai dû reconstruire tout le magasin afin d'avoir tout un décor pour vous ce soir. Donc, on va commencer. So, as said, this class is about flower designs, but actually it's not just flower designs, it is different ways of application. On va avoir un cours sur les fleurs, mais c'est pas que les fleurs, c'est plutôt Pluto Special. We're going to talk about a system that I called the QLED system, trademark. And in the second part, I'm going to talk about a lift system, trademark again. Donc, on va parler d'un système que j'ai appelé QLED et un deuxième système dans la deuxième partie où je parle d'un système que j'ai appelé lift. That was a joke. This is not trademarked, but it would be fun if you use the name Qlet and if you would be using the name Lift. Il n'y a pas du tout. C'est pas du tout un nom protégé. C'est un nom qu'on a inventé, Qlet et Lift. Mais ce serait bien que vous pourriez utiliser ce nom-là pour référencer. Qlet comes from Quick Link Embellishment Technique. Donc c'est un système où je vais utiliser des Quick Link pour appliquer tout genre d'application dans le décor. So, we start with classic décor, so we will do as always what we do with clusters and duplets. For the new piece, duplets, I love them to be over in place and then down. And pull very, very tight and turn once, twice to make a duplet. Donc, quand on va faire un duplet, on va surgonfler le ballon. Et on fait pour qu'il soit plus mou et surtout bien, bien tiré et tourné de préférence deux fois avant de faire le and this is a plain classic cluster as we always would make. Now, today, we will we'll make a variation. So, c'est un système classique, mais aujourd'hui, on va faire une variation dans tout le système. On va encore une fois, on va encore une fois utiliser un simple duplet, mais pour le deuxième, on va combiner avec a quick link C plus. So again, we're going to use a doublet, normal doublet in front of mine. And for the second one, we will be using a nine inch combined with a six inch quick link. Yeah. This is inflated to about four and a half, nine inch. So this is the new double that we make. One, two, quatre et demi et neuf. Ça c'est le nouveau duplet qu'on va utiliser pour faire tout un cluster. So this will now become a new type of cluster. And here on top, I will add one extra balloon. This balloon could be inflated to four. For example, a gonfle sur quatre pouces. So this now basically is the system that we will be using the whole time. We will be using a quick link inside the cluster to make a connection for all new kind of designs. So we will always use dorénavant a system where we will integrate the quick link to make all kinds of different designs. So we will superpose each time these clusters. 
But here now we will fill up this because that will be a gap with one cluster that would be inflated that would be inflated to four and a half. So one cluster, four and a half. Oops, come back here. And then again, a normal cluster. Let me start with Dark Run Arch Line. Donc on va toujours construire un cluster. Normal. Ensuite, on va ajouter le cluster spécial. We go in an eight shape around the clusters. On va aller en forme de huit comme toujours. And now I can superpose this new cluster. And as you see, this now perfectly fills in the whole gap here in this garland. Vous voyez maintenant, ça va remplir tout à fait le trou qu'il y avait ici dans la guirlande. Et on va continuer toujours de la même façon. It is important that you fill in and that you put this first before you continue to work. Because this helps the whole stability in your garden. So it's very important to put first the little cluster of flowers because it will help to maintain all the stability in the garden. And I can continue. Je peux continuer. And so on. One extra. When when you work with that structure in the garland, always push this in from the middle. Push very hard while you pull, push, and then turn this around. Si vous faites une guirlande sans une structure, toujours bien poussé au milieu, et ensuite, on est en forme de mix autour de tout à ce Do you like this? Est-ce que vous aimez? I think this is very, very simple to do, and it gives a very nice finishing in your design. Now, again, you can start playing with all kind of uh, patterns, or I mean uh, colors within your design and it's always based on the quick link at the back inflated to four and a half inch and then superposed with another design.
Donc, c'est toujours avec un quick link intégré pour ouvrir sur 4,5. Et, et là-dedans, il va y avoir une fleur ou, euh, ou un autre système. And now, let me talk about Aeropol. I guess most of you do know what Aeropol is. Maintenant, je vais vous parler de Aeropol. Je suppose que la plupart d'entre vous savent ce que c'est le système Aeropol. So this is the system where we have these, this structure that is flexible yet very strong that we can put together and then put some duct tape and start making all kind of arches with up to seven poles in one system or even more. So the system Aeropol is the system with these ce, tubes là qui sont plutôt flexibles, mais qui vont toujours revenir dans la même forme qu'on va mettre ensemble pour ensuite mettre du, du, du café en fait. Donc, au milieu, et on peut ensuite continuer et aller aussi grand qu'on veut avec tout ce système. Now, there is something totally new. In this system, we now have adapters that will make a circular arch. You may have seen this before. Well, I have this here now today in the shop. Let's, let's have a closer look. Donc, en exclusivité, maintenant ici, on a le système avec les, les adaptateurs pour le système de base pour faire des arches circulaires avec l'aéroport. So before, so this is the first generation of uh, bases, as you may see, they have changed now. Donc ça, c'est la première génération que j'ai toujours ici. Entre temps, ils ont changé. So in the first generation, it was like this, with the screw coming here from down. You use the same screw, and now you can connect this system here that has a stick going up like that in a 45 degree angle. Donc c'est toujours le même système, mais j'utilise le vis qui avait là dedans normalement où j'ai maintenant mis l'adaptateur qui va partir dans un angle de 45 degrés pour aller faire tout ce système là. Good. When, when you assemble all this, you now put height with, for instance, carpet, this whole system. Donc, si vous avez assemblé tout le système, éventuellement, vous allez chercher un tapis ou autre matériel, matériel qui pourrait cacher tout le système. Et là, aujourd'hui, Je vais appliquer ce que j'avais déjà fait. So today I will be using what I just made. I will push this in. Up. Up. I will just twist this. And now I will finish this off. I just I just noticed that I'm not fully in the middle. I'm not fully in the middle because I have one layer less than on the other side. Three rows of room. Ah. Okay, that's why. <laughs> good, good thing that my wife is here and that she notices. Heureusement que j'ai ici ma femme. Heureusement que j'ai ici ma femme qui est en train de contrôler. Okay.
Now that will be corrected. This here. I'm just I'm just happy that I can work here from home and that's not too many people will be disturbing me. Uh, um, Daddy, I have to discuss something with you because um yeah we are actually trying to look to Netflix. So can you please give it back silence a little bit? Kids. Thank you, Daddy. Kids. That was my eldest. So, je, je vous présente ma fille aînée de, qui vient me faire une blague. Elle vient de me dire que je vais me taire un petit peu parce qu'elle est en train de regarder Netflix. La jeunesse. And for the last cluster, I just made one a bit smaller because it's, it's a bit smaller on that side. Donc ici pour le dernier cluster, j'ai fait un petit peu euh, moins grand parce que ici c'est un petit peu en oblique. Hop, voilà. So. Let me now unveil the whole arch. Comme ça, vous pouvez découvrir avec moi toute l'arche finie avec la technique Q, let's integrate that dog. Technology. So, what do you think? Do you have a full view? Do you have you have a full, full, full view of the whole arch? Yeah, almost. Isn't it fantastic? I just love, love this system. Donc, comme ça, vous avez toute une vue, j'espère, de l'arche complète, the moon gate. Donc, uh, yeah, plusieurs tailles. So there's, there's multiple sizes. If you would be working with five poles, 3.2 meters in diameter, six poles, seven poles, so quite, quite big. This today is only five poles. Donc, vous venez de découvrir toutes les tailles possibles dans le système, donc cinq tubes, six, voire sept tubes peuvent faire une arche gigantesque. So maybe you have already seen a few pictures that have been all over internet already. Donc, euh, comme ça vous voyez un petit peu toutes les possibilités. I don't know how much you can see this on the screen now. Can you, can you see the, the screen well? Donc je ne sais pas si vous voyez très bien euh, ce qu'il y a sur l'écran. To start, to start designing this, the first thing I did was to go on Chris Adamo's volume tools, where I start designing the pattern that I wanted. Donc j'ai commencé pour dessiner tout le système, j'ai commencé à dessiner sur volume tools de Chris Adamo pour savoir ce que je voulais. And then, of course, to add in the QLED system, I had to add this in, that in on a PowerPoint or Keynote system. Donc j'ai dû dessiner en plus les fleurs parce que ça n'existe pas encore sur le système. Donc ça j'ai ajouté dans un PowerPoint. 
but the total shape, the total shape of course is very different. It is a very round shape that we now have. So that means that means that you would have to do this totally manual, as I did here in the design. But I'm happy to say that previous to this class, I have been speaking with Raquel, who has the balloon art clip art on Facebook, and who has been designing a whole set with these designs that are downloadable for a very small fee. Donc, comme vous voyez, j'ai tout d'abord dessiné tout ça à la main. Je suis heureux de dire que j'ai parlé avec Raquel, qui a un groupe sur Facebook, Balloon Art Club Art, où elle peut vous vendre pour un tout petit prix tout le set, tout le set où il y a ce genre de dessin où vous pouvez changer vous-même, vous-même les couleurs pour avoir cet effet dash. So you can then, when you download this set, you would be able to change yourself in a fairly easy way the colors and function of what you would be selling. You like this? Good. This, of course, has now been made on one side, but I could as well have been making that on two sides. Then we have a flower on one side and a flower on the other side. Right? Donc, j'aurais pu faire exactement la même chose de l'autre côté, donc avoir des quick link des deux côtés, comme ça j'aurais des fleurs d'un côté et de l'autre côté. And I could of course start making this in four directions. In this, in this case, I would have a full cluster with quick links going in four directions. J'aurais aussi bien pu faire ça avec un cluster de quatre quick links qui vont partir dans les quatre directions. So I have here a cluster inflated to nine. Then I have my cluster of quick links that will go in four directions. And now I have this on top that is inflated to five and a half. Donc maintenant j'ai ça ici en haut et vous voyez à cinq pouces et demi. In the shop, we always have a box with little pieces of scrap 262s that we can start using at any moment. Dans le magasin, on a toujours une boîte avec des pièces de 260 qu'on peut commencer à utiliser à tout moment. I just need a weight. When I put a weight in the cluster, I will always put it like this. And then twist it around. So I have the weight on one side and whatever holds the weight on the other side. Je vais toujours intégrer un poids en tenant comme ça. Je peux le mettre dedans et tourner comme ça. Il a tout à fait bien intégré dans tout le dessin. And by the way, today I have a water weight, but here we will always wrap it in cellophane so nothing can happen. Donc là, j'ai un poids d'eau, mais il est dans un cellophane, comme ça, on n'a aucun risque, il ne peut rien se passer avec de l'eau qui va échapper. So I had or the deck and arch line, or some 260Q. Grab this in. Donc, je vais intégrer tout ça. J'ai les quatre points de connexion, so I have the four connection points, which I now can use to integrate, for instance, the cluster of ground balloons.
We go from all sides like this. And then I can put anything I want here on top. To make this a gift. Donc maintenant je peux intégrer tout ce que je veux là en haut pour en faire un cadeau. One thing I would love to mention, these balloons, guess how old they are. Une chose que j'aimerais bien vous dire, devinez quand j'ai gonflé ces ballons-là. These balloons, these balloons, these balloons, this balloon actually was inflated for Valentine. So they have been inflated at the end of January and I'm still reusing the same balloons. So isn't that quality? The very best balloons. Je suis content de vous dire que je viens de réutiliser des ballons que j'ai gonflés pour Saint Valentin. Donc tous ces ballons là, ils ont été gonflés au mois de janvier. Même celui là, hier j'ai défait un de cinq que j'avais encore toujours de Saint Valentin. So actually I left out this pot where I could have put again a cluster. J'ai pas encore rempli où j'aurais pu mettre, mettre un cluster. Because I want to show you something else. I said I dismantled something from Valentine to reuse. Je viens de vous dire que j'ai défait quelque chose, quelque chose de l'arrangement de Saint Valentin. Ça était dedans. Donc, c'est 260 ont été gonflés au mois de janvier. So these 260 cues last from January. How come? How come? Because of high float. When I make designs, I will always put some high float so the modeling balloons would be long lasting. Donc j'ai utilisé du high float dans le ballon à modeler, comme ça il reste très longtemps. Isn't that amazing? Well, in March, it was like almost two months old. Ta da! Est-ce que deux, deux mois? Ils sont toujours là. Oh. Okay. I just remember I forgot to say something. Je me rappelle, j'ai oublié de dire quelque chose sur le système aéroport. C'est bien important que le système soit bien mis comme ça. Est-ce que vous voyez ça? Yeah. So, it's very important that the system stays exactly like this. So, the only difficulty that you could have if you have very slippery floors and it starts turning, That is what happens. Do you see this? Si. Si ça tourne, l'arche va aller comme ça. Donc ça, c'est très important que la direction reste toujours comme ça. So this is the most important thing, that the direction always will stay exactly like this and not stop turning away because then it will flip over. Yeah. Good. And maybe you can see on the screen, then of course you could start making this in a base and you could start turning the whole construction I just made upside down. So this could be the base where this could be upside down as well in the whole construction. Guess what? Guess what? 
Here we go. I made this design for you. So exactly that technique as a base and upside down under a three foot. This is now today on a pole, but it could have been totally helium filled connected to the base. Donc là, j'ai utilisé la base que je pourrais tourner tout à fait pour aller utiliser sous un trois pieds qui pourrait être gonflé à l'hélium. Là aujourd'hui, il est sur une colonne. Donc comme ça, on a toute une structure. Et là, c'est de 160, 260, 160 Qs et 260 Qs to combine all this. You like this? No. I'm sorry, guys. I have no time to look at all the reactions. I do not even know if by now there have been any questions that were very important. So Keith and Dom, could you put them here on the screen for me? Look. J'ai pas encore eu le temps de regarder toutes les réactions. Je sais pas du tout s'il y aurait eu des, des questions. Euh, J'ai demandé à qui était d'homme de projeter les questions euh, s'il y en avait. So far, nothing. OK, good. Uh, so we've had this. Now, with that technique, how much time? Okay. Il fast. Donc je, je suis en train de me pêcher, de pêcher mais euh, j'ai encore toute une heure. Hein? Peut-être que je dois qu'elle voir quelque chose. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going so fast. How do you keep uh, the shine more than face time? Okay, love this question. Um, this this building is a building that we made ourselves. So that means that we could decide how many windows there's in the building. And there's only on one side windows, and there's not much light coming in the building. So in fact, we do not even need balloon shine. Here in the building, we only would need balloon shine for everything that we put in the window display. La question est comment est-ce que je peux garder la brillance des ballons? Aucun problème parce que nous, on a construit le bâtiment, ce qui veut dire qu'on a décidé qu'il n'y aurait que d'un côté de fenêtre. Tout le reste, il n'y a pas de fenêtre, donc on n'a pas trop de problème d'oxydation. Si jamais on met quelque chose dans le, la, le, 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 le display, donc dans, dans, dans la fenêtre, là, on va mettre du balloon shine parce que c'est là que ça va oxyder. Ah, how do you use the high fluid? Good. There is a very special adapter that you can add here to put the high float in your 262. Est-ce que je mets le high float dans le ballon? But on pourrait acheter un adapteur spécial. So I'm telling all this because I don't use that. Mais moi, je n'utilise pas. Uh, oui. 260, 260Q, I would turn this upside like this. Thank you. I now put like that the 260Q. Je tourne tout simplement ici, je mets le 260, et là, je peux très facilement mettre une petite goutte à l'eau. So now I can very easily put a little drip of high float here in the top. I leave it, I grab it, and I simply pull, 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 pull. And now I can feel up exactly up till here, I have all the high float. You can, you can roll with your fingers and feel it like that. Donc j'ai tout simplement pris. J'ai tiré, 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 et en roulant avec les deux doigts, comme ça, on sait sentir si, oui ou non, il y a du high float dans le ballon. And then it's just as usual. Donc, ensuite, on peut gonfler comme dans ma boue. I feel 
I think personally that the posting is even easier. So as it is kind of rolling, I think it's easier to start posting. Moi personnellement, je trouve que c'est même plus facile d'aller faire une piste. And nowadays, apparently, everybody has to start doing this behind the back. Well, um, I don't know why everybody in Facebook is now doing this behind the back. I love this. Okay. Maintenant, apparemment, tout le monde commence à faire ça derrière son dos. So, this doggy will now stay for months. Le plus cher ici en question, maintenant, il pourrait rester des mois. Garantie. Hey. Next. So now that we know the technique, we can start making all kind of details as we wish. Here I have attached a blossom. So the way I will be working when you start making your construction and then you add your little balloon with a small one here. Si vous commencez à faire votre construction, il faut que là-dedans, il doit y avoir le Geo Blossom. So when you start making your construction, you need your Geo Blossom to be here. So, the first thing I would do, get set first. The first thing I would do is always Pre-inflate the geoblossom. Donc, la première chose à faire, ce serait toujours de pré-gonfler le geoblossom. And once you have pre-inflated, then you tie it in and you start making your whole construction. Donc, ensuite, avoir, après avoir pré-gonflé, je vais intégrer là-dedans. Et ensuite, on peut commencer à faire toute la construction. So, once again, we'll be building. And then, you want to add more clusters. Here again, I would now first inflate the blossom. Always stick high on the neck and then start inflating. Donc là, avant de faire toute la construction, j'aurais gonflé et noué le geo blossom. Ce serait plus facile à trouver. So this will make it much easier to work instead of inflating this after, afterwards, etc, etc. So, exactly the same, exactly the same way of building as we did previously, but now we have a totally different detail. We now have a geoblossom that is integrated in your design. Tout à fait la même manière de travailler, mais là, au lieu de voir un cluster, maintenant, je vais l'intégrer Geoblossom s'y pousse là à l'intérieur. Good. And now, if you see it on the screen, again, I will be superposing the same clusters as I did before. Nine inch, then in four directions, uh, quick links, and then on top of that, five and a half inch. Donc là, je vais encore une fois faire exactement 
pareil comme j'aurais fait auparavant. Tu peux poser 9, ensuite très quickly en croix, et ensuite 5 et demi ou en haut. So this now means this now means that we can start making any kind of design such as this frozen one. I guess you would like to see this from a close up, isn't it? Donc maintenant, ce que je viens d'expliquer, voici le résultat. Tout doux, tout doux dans le thème pose maintenant cette euh, construction là. So what can happen now is that This starts turning in a way that you're not happy because this can send in direction. So what can ce qui peut se passer maintenant, c'est que ceci commence à tourner dans un sens que vous n'aimez pas. Donc là, vous pourriez contrôler. So this is how easy it could be to control. So here I attached. 160Q or 260Q from this flower up to the other side to that flower and here again under the weight. J'ai tout simplement fait une collection avec le 160 pour aller d'un côté vers l'autre côté en forme de quoi. Comme ça, il va plus tourner, il reste exactement comme il est. Kids! Kids! Ready? Lily, uh, can I please have some ice cream? I want to have some ice cream. Ice cream? Yes, Lily, ice you cream. want to have some ice cream? Yes. <sighs> Do you see the guy? This is my son. Wave. Donc voici mon fils qui vient me demander une crème glace. Allez, ça va. Hop, vas-y. Merci. This way you meet the whole family. There's another daughter, there's my parents-in-law as well. Donc, comme ça, vous pourriez voir toute la famille parce qu'il y a encore une autre fille. Il y a encore euh, mon beau-père et le mère qui est ici à la maison. You like it? Yes. Good. Inès? Yes. <laughs> Inès? Okay. Yes. 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 So. Uh, where can we get recipes or instructions? Um, you know what? I, I'll find a way. Um, I'll find a way to, to put them somewhere. Let me let me share them on the politics. Let me share them on the politics site. Il y a des gens qui demandent de la recette, donc euh, les mesures et tout ça, mais je peux les publier sur le site euh, Qualtex. So, so you can start making any kind of design once again with this system now with flowers, geo blossom flowers integrated. Donc maintenant vous pouvez faire, vous pouvez faire tout genre de, de arche, de colonne, n'importe quoi avec le blossom intégré. Once again, Raquel has prepared in the set downloadable clip art with these blossoms in the designs as well. Encore une fois, Raquel a déjà préparé tout le set de clip art que vous pouvez télécharger avec les détails, euh, même les blossoms à l'intérieur. So, I have been using clusters. I have been using geo blossom. I already used one flower. J'ai utilisé de cluster de blossom et une fleur pour 260. So, basically anything you can think of, you can start integrating in this system. So here as well, I used 
the quick link in this system. Let me go around. Donc, vous pouvez commencer à intégrer tout genre de dessin avec le système du quick link. Et là, j'ai intégré même le 18 pouces avec le système quick link là-dedans. J'ai tout simplement mis un cluster pour le tenir droit. So I just used a little cluster to keep it straight. And of course, how was this connected? Well, this is of course connected with a stretchy tape. A little bit of stretchy tape. Let's say a bit like this, and then a 260Q at the back of the foil balloon to connect this in. Donc, j'ai tout simplement utilisé un petit peu de stretchy tape avec du 260 pour pouvoir attacher le ballon à lui dans la construction. Plein de possibilités, plein de possibilités. Très oh, bien. More questions? Just a little bit of Each time. Oof, I'm halfway. Keith, Dom, special questions? No? That's. There's a question here that, that is totally, totally different. No. Wow, I thought high float was only for helium. Uh, donc, il y a une réaction. Donc, uh, high float, mais on ne dit que pour helium. Uh, non, pas du tout. Ils vont conserver les ballons beaucoup plus longtemps et surtout les ballons à modeler. So, the question, high float, only for helium? No, absolutely not. Especially with twisting balloons. It's, it's incredible how long you would be able to keep all your designs. This is something I learned from Fiona Fisher, who I have seen use this for her elephant, fantastic elephant sculpture, and she prepared everything six months in advance with plenty of twisted details just to try it out. And she claimed that even after six months, she still had exactly the whole design in her office. Donc moi, j'ai appris cette technique à Fiona Fischer, qui m'a expliqué quand elle a fait une sculpture gigantesque d'un éléphant, avec plein de détails twistés. Elle m'a expliqué qu'elle avait fait tous les détails auparavant six mois, et que tout est resté dans son bureau, même un voire après six mois. C'est fantastique. So really, really, um, I always would be using high float in my modeling balloons, because the kind of designs that I make do not have hundreds and hundreds of modeling balloons, it's just a limited amount, so it's really worth using it. Donc ça vaut vraiment la peine. Moi, dans les dessins que moi je fais, je vais pas utiliser des centaines de ballons à modeler, donc ça vaut vraiment la peine pour les quelques ballons que j'utilise pour garder tout euh, l'arrangement beaucoup plus longtemps. So, especially considering that I would be using, um, especially considering that I would be using uh, air to inflate my arrangements, it's worth that the 260 degrees would be as lost. I quickly saw a question here. Uh, what is the difference between balloon bomb and stretchy tape? Stretchy tape. Quelle est la différence uh, entre balloon bomb? Stretchy tape. Stretchy tape is one-sided, one-sided sticking tape, but very strong and very very stretchy. Donc ça c'est le stretchy tape. Où vous voyez c'est très 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 élastique et ça colle d'un côté et c'est très 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 fort. So this is a fantastic, a fantastic tool. We, we use this loads, loads of time. This is God's send gift, actually. Balloon bond. 
that now comes in stripes is a material is, is a glue when you take away the liners the only thing that is left is is the glue on itself with the balloon bond on va défaire les deux côtés ce qui reste c'est c'est que la colle donc il y a plus aucune structure là dedans Thank you, click, click. Yes. <laughs> Good. Next technique is the technique that I called lift. And that stands for looks inserted flower technique. So, the technique que je vous montre maintenant, je l'ai appelé lift. C'est une technique lift. Um, où je vais insérer une fleur dans mon, euh, mon arrangement. Vous allez voir. So you will see. First of all, we start making a flower, a cluster of five balloons combined. Donc, Donc on va faire une fleur avec cinq ballons combinés. I will be using four round balloons. Je vais utiliser quatre ballons 11 pouces combinés, euh, dans ce cas-ci, combinés avec un quick leak. Je vais les gonfler. Sur une taille de 10. So I do inflate these balloons on on the size of 10 inch. Again, I like balloons to be overinflated and then deflated. Comme je dis auparavant, j'aime bien que le ballon soit surgonflé, soit dégonflé, pour qu'il soit plus mou. When I make a cluster of five, I will always first make a cluster of four, and then I will add the fifth balloon. Pour moi, je vais faire une cluster, un cluster de cinq ballons, toujours faire un cluster de quatre, tout d'abord, pour ensuite intégrer le cinquième ballon. In this way, I can pull this. You see me slide this balloon in, and I can pull this to the other side. Comme ça, je peux remuer ici le ballon à l'intérieur et tirer de l'autre côté. Maintenant, je peux aller en forme 8. So now I can go in an A shape or any other shape, and I will always have the perfect, perfect cluster with all the necks exactly in the middle. So in this way, I will always have this, I will always have the neck perfectly in the middle. So who is the manufacturer of the sizer? Uh, this is an old one. Now this is white, and this is uh, made by Pioneer Politics. The cabaret, c'est un ancien, maintenant il est devenu blanc, mais c'est toujours le même qui a été produit par Politics. Okay, so now I have my first cluster with in here one quickly, and then I will be making and then I will be making a similar cluster with small. Mine zero point nine results in four point five. Je mets sur 0.9 sur le Twinner Sizer, le premium, ce qui va résulter en 4.5. Do you notice that I always take the next well, well, well down? Est-ce que vous voyez bien que je prends toujours le nuque très, très, très bas? 
that means that the balloons will be rounder once inflated. So you think the balloons will move to your own automatic entry. I only need five balloons, but there's one balloon going to come in the middle of the cluster. So this one could be smaller, could be four. Donc j'ai besoin de cinq ballons, mais il y a un ballon qui va rentrer au milieu et celui-là pourrait être plus petit, par exemple quatre. Uh, okay. So this now makes again a cluster with a flower like this. I put all this flat and I can take one of the next. The result is it is super. To be able to in the look to integrate on top of it, I turn it around. Again, I look for one of the next. And I can start turning this around to make this shape of a flower again with one quick link sticking out. I need a base. Especially when there's a base, make sure that you over inflate the balloons and deflate. I will go to mine. If the balloon is touching the floor, you want it to be soft. Encore une fois, sous-gonflé le ballon, dégonflé, parce que je vais, je vais faire une base. Donc on peut, si la base touche le sol, qu'elle soit bien, bien, bien mou pour limiter tous les risques. One cluster. One cluster. Now, I only want a doublet. In this doublet, I will inflate to six. Maintenant, je veux un duplet. Je veux un duplet gonflé à six pouces. Je ne sais pas si vous voyez sur l'écran. 9, duplet 6. So, 9 and 6. Again, I take a weight. So, once again, so this is a water weight wrapped in cellophane. C'est encore une fois un point d'eau. J'ai mis dans du cellophane. I like to have a heavy weight. That's why I do not use the standards, but I use heavier with water. It could have been sand as well. J'aime bien que le, le poids soit assez lourd. Donc ça c'est le minimum. Et c'est pour cette raison-là que j'utilise l'eau. Et ça pourrait plus être plus sable. This, twist. And some I look for one of the next, and I simply go round and tie this in. Je cherche encore une fois une nuque et je tourne autour tout ça pour intégrer ça. So, this is now a very strange way of building because I will be putting the flower. That I just made, I will be putting this here exactly in the middle. <coughs> Donc, c'est une manière plutôt étrange de travailler parce que la fleur que je viens de faire, je vais l'intégrer ici au milieu des deux ballons. To do so, I will be using 350Q. I take out the air of 350Q. I twist this in, and now I position. I position this 
here in the middle. Donc, je viens d'intégrer tout d'abord le 350. J'ai attaché, attaché, ensuite je pose la fleur et je vais aller avec le 350 tout à fait autour de cette construction. Retourner en bas. So, as you can see, I have attached this long base exactly over. Over, uh, over this construction, so I inserted this in this construction with 350 feet. I went over. Do not exer exaggerate when you pull. Maybe I have been pulling a little bit too hard now for the moment. Don't pull too hard. Uh, il faut surtout pas exagérer. Donc, en tirant avec le 350, il faut pas trop, trop, trop tirer. Là, j'ai peut-être tiré un petit peu trop. Il faut pas trop le tirer pour descendre, sinon on va déformer toute la structure. So, if you would be pulling too hard, you will start distorting this whole construction. Now, I have this totally new kind of base where you can start making many, many kind of designs. Could be, could have been printed balloons because we could have the polka dots, for instance, that you could be using on top. And now you can start building. Donc, ça aurait pu être des ballons imprimés, ou euh, par exemple les polka dots. Et ensuite, on peut commencer à faire toutes les constructions. Ça aurait pu être des de, de ballons alu, euh, bubble, ou autre ballon, grand ballon qu'on va mettre en haut. So this now could be all kinds of balloons that you will start putting on top. And of course, I have already one. Ta-da! Now you all can start going, oh, c'est le moment de tous. Oh, que j'aime, que j'aime. Look, look how nice this goes now. Way at the whole arch. Oh, isn't that nice? So, you understand that this could have been a free food. This could have been any kind of balloon on top on this lower base. Vous comprenez bien sûr que ça aurait pu être n'importe quel genre de ballon que j'aurais mis en eau, donc ça aurait pu être des, des trois pieds ou autre. Vous aimez? Do you like this? I hope so! Now, what else can we do? Okay. So what else? Could all push fair? Let's go. Let's go for a 10 inch again and tie this together. Actually, I keep on saying turn twice. Why would I always say turn the balloon twice? Donc, je viens de répéter tourner deux fois. Et pourquoi est-ce que je, euh, je vais toujours répéter deux fois Peut-être que vous pensez que maintenant c'est bien attaché. So maybe you think that the reason would be that they would be very close. No, the reason I would be doing this is let me come close. Is this close Yeah. So the reason I would be doing this is because of this.
Donc ça, c'est la raison pour laquelle je vais toujours tourner deux fois. As you can see, one, two, and just, just pull. But don't start pulling too hard. That means that at any moment you can pull this up. See this? You can pull this up and open the balloons. Maybe change for another color. Maybe change for another size. And then when you're happy, you can start tying them together again. So, si vous allez faire des nœuds comme ça, vous pouvez toujours défaire. Ce qui veut faire, euh, ce qui veut dire que maintenant vous pouvez agrandir. Euh, euh, gonfler plus grand euh, ou moins grand que vous pouvez changer pour une autre couleur sans devoir péter chaque couleur des ballons. So, one, two, and then that's it. Exactly the same if you will be working tip to tip. I will pass I will pass this to the other side. I take it from here and pass again and then tie this off. Tout à fait pareil. On va nouer de tip en tip. Passer de l'autre côté, reprendre de l'autre côté et tourner encore une fois. Et nouer. Et là, encore une fois, à tout moment. So again, at any moment, I can start undoing this knot, although it is actually very, very soft. One, two, hi Peter, this is fantastic. You still want to see all the balloons, Eze and Peter. You should not have retired. <laughs> okay, now I will start integrating two more clusters. Donc je vais faire encore deux clusters. Je vois que je les ai pas encore préparés. And do it. I take a tip. I go in an eight shape a few times and then I tie this off. Comme vous venez de voir, j'ai maintenant ajouté que un duplet de deux ballons, pas quatre ballons, ici en haut, pour faire cette construction. So this is now what I have. I have this design that will be one base of what will become an arch. Donc ça c'est une partie de ce qui va devenir toute une arche. Donc, j'avais déjà préparé celui-là auparavant. So, I did prepare this advance. And this here. I will put this here for now. So, all this is air filled. Tout ça est gonflé à l'air. And now, I will put on top another part and there is a little bit of helium integrated. Dans une deuxième, dans une deuxième partie que j'ai déjà préparée, là j'ai mis un petit peu de helium. As you can see, this is just gently, gently floating, a little bit floating, because 
I did put helium in these balloons. Donc j'ai mis l'hélium que dans le ballon jaune. These air felt on both sides. Donc là, c'est gonflé à l'air. So when we make things, we need to be able to transport. And this is a little trick that I'm showing now. Quand on prépare des, des choses, on doit pouvoir les livrer. If I would have been make, making the whole arch, it would have been fairly difficult to deliver because you have to squeeze it maybe in a car. So if I would have made this in one piece, you would have to start folding it over in some kind of way. Donc, si vous livrez, peut-être que vous avez plus petite voiture, donc il faut trouver un système où on peut défaire tout ça, sinon on va commencer à, à vraiment replier, replier tout le ballon, toute la structure. And that is why I only have a doublet. Et ça c'est la raison pour laquelle j'ai que un doublet ici à la fin de la construction, parce que une fois arrivé sur place, on va en faire un cluster. So once I arrive on site, maybe we will be putting This in a plastic bag, you take it out of the bag, and the only thing that you or your customer has to do is twist this into one cluster. So that's the only thing that they have to do. La seule chose qui reste à faire, c'est tout simplement de rejoindre les deux duplets, et comme ça, on va en faire un cluster. Un cluster complet pour voir que ce même qui a la possibilité que votre client lui-même va commencer à faire ça. So, do we have this all in one shot? Of course, in this construction, I have a quick link and a quick link in those two directions. And bien sûr, dans cette uh, construction, j'ai deux quick links qui vont faire cette forme de arch comme ça. If I would have wanted to have a smaller arch, a more pointy, gothic way, then I could have twisted these two to have more this kind of top to go in the V to the base. J'aurais pu faire une arche plus gothique. Quand je vais remplacer ces deux ballons, je vais avoir une arche beaucoup plus fine, beaucoup plus haute. Any more questions? Est-ce qu'il y a encore des questions? Non? Pas de questions? Now I have to start moving the stuff. <laughs> so where? Let's, let's start putting it up here. We have some more space. I see I see plenty of lovely reactions. Thank you. So once more, only helium on the top, unless unless you feel that this would be standing in some kind of very windy situation. Donc, je mets l'hélium que en eau, sauf, sauf si ce serait dans une situation où il y aurait des courants d'air. So, imagine that uh, you would be putting this in a corridor, and you know that the doors will open, and each time there will be plenty of wind coming in. That might be an occasion where I would add a bit more helium in the sides, just to keep it standing strong. Donc, par exemple, si ce serait dans un couloir, où je sais quand ils vont ouvrir la porte qu'il y aura un courant d'air. Donc là, dans ce cas-là, je mettrai un petit peu plus d'hélium dans, dans les autres ballons pour qu'il y ait plus de structure là-dedans. 
will. I see, I see plenty of names. Hi, Pam. Leanna. <laughs> it's so fun to see all the names that you know. Love this, love this convention. And of course, play with all the possibilities of colors and all the printed uh, balloons, the wavy patterns and the quick links, etc., etc. Vous pouvez jouer, vous pouvez jouer avec tout genre de, de ballon imprimé en quick link, voir le ballon qui se répète dans le ballon quick link et on se pousse pour faire tout genre, tout genre d'arrangement. Now. As, as before, whatever you use as a base, you can start using this upside down, right? Comme j'ai expliqué auparavant, tout ce qu'on va utiliser en base, on peut aussi bien tourner pour aller mettre en. Vous allez comprendre. So you will understand in a second. So, so imagine that you would be making this kind of base. Here, what I meant is if you make this, you can as well start adding something like that on top, right? So, si vous faites une base comme ça, vous pouvez aussi bien commencer à utiliser la même forme dans. Uh, Donc, uh, renverser, voir avec un uh, trois pieds en haut. Would you like to see this? I guess so. So, what is helium filled? Only the three foot balloon is helium filled. Qu'est-ce qui a été gonflé à l'hélium? Ici, il n'y a que le trois pieds qui a été gonflé à l'hélium. Have you, have you maybe already seen our website? So if you would go to our shop, Wild Balloons, if you would go to our website, now you can walk around our shop. Peut-être que vous avez déjà vu que Sur notre site, maintenant, il y a un tour virtuel où vous pouvez faire tout le tour de notre magasin. Why am I saying this? If you would look at the virtual tour of our shop, you will see exactly this balloon because it was standing over there when the virtual tour was done. And I think that was January 15th, if I remember well. This balloon, exactly this balloon, was inflated way before January 15th. Le ballon que j'ai ici, il a été, honnêtement, il a été gonflé avant janvier 15, parce que ça c'est le jour où on a fait le tour virtuel. Et il, était, il était posé là. Donc, encore une fois, quand on va utiliser du high float, on peut avoir des ballons qui vont rester très 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 longtemps. So, once again, thanks high float, that means that we can make Long, long lasting designs. <coughs> so, again, all this is air filled. Donc, tout ceci est maintenant gonflé à l'air. And do you remember my little trick with the doublet? So, this now means that you can put all this together very compact in a bag and transport like this. So, si vous vous rappelez de mon petit truc auparavant, Ça veut dire que maintenant vous pouvez transporter tout ceci dans un sac en plastique dans votre voiture. And once you arrive on site, this is how easy it is. Ça c'est pour vous montrer comme c'est facile d'aller faire un petit cluster et ensuite avoir cette construction. -là. So you can keep it. You can keep it in this direction, but if you want to play with this, you can start doing it like this as well. So, vous pouvez aussi bien jouer avec la construction pour aller tourner la direction dans les deux sens. Comme ça, c'est le cœur d'un côté et le cœur de l'autre côté. 
what means that now you can see from both sides this kind of flower shape. You want to see more? Vous voulez voir un petit peu? Actually, on the screen, you could see one that I made for Valentine with the red uh, combined with the gold. Yeah. Now, this system, this system can be sized down. So that means that means that all this. What I just made with bigger balloons could as well have been made with small balloons. Ta -da! Yes, this could be a centerpiece. So this is not too high as a design and can be perfectly used as a base with helium-filled latex or with bubbles, except if you would be using foil balloons, then I would love you to add foil if there's a weight attached to the foil here on top. So we use the smart balloon practices. On peut maintenant créer le centre de table, c'est tout à fait visuel. En eau, on peut attacher des ballons latex, voire des ballons euh, bubble, gonflés à l'hélium. Mais si vous utilisez des ballons alu, alors il faudra rajouter un petit poids que les ballons alu ne peuvent pas s'envoler si ce ballon va casser. So, the sizes. The sizes I used here, 4 inch with a small weight. This today has been inflated to 3 inch, 3 inch as well, and these around have been inflated to 4.5. So here, aujourd'hui j'ai utilisé 4, 3, 3, et le ballon ici autour, je les ai gonflés à 4.5. One detail. As this is a centerpiece, in between those balloons, I actually did put some balloon bond. So remember the balloon bond? Click, click. I put this here, in between. Donc, un détail, j'ai déjà euh, parlé de ballon bond. C'est ce que j'ai mis ici, entre les ballons, pour qu'ils soient plus solides. So why? Because this is a centerpiece, and you could imagine that people start fiddling around with this. Puisque c'est un centre de table, on peut s'imaginer que les gens commencent à jouer avec. Donc, en mettant le ballon bond en plus, ça devient encore plus solide. So this makes it even more solid. I see. I see great reactions. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. And you want to see more? Mm, yes, est-ce que vous voulez voir encore une chose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ta da! Ta da! How about this? As we now have the 7 inch chrome, I had to come up with this size of design. Puisque maintenant on a les 7 pouces chrome, j'ai développé ce, cette taille d'arrangement. So here now today, we have five and a half and five and a half. And here in between, I have four. And the tulip twist 
and I changed the both sides. The tulip twist that I made is based again on the four inch size. I hope you know how to make the tulip twist. If not, well, Alessandro just has shown in the previous class how to make it. So, aujourd'hui, j'ai cinq et demi, cinq et demi. Et là, j'ai quatre. Et le tulip twist que j'ai créé, il a été créé en, avec, basé sur une taille de quatre pouces lui aussi. Si vous savez pas comment faire un tulip twist, bien, dans le cours précédent, il y a Alessandro Patalé qui a montré comment faire le tulip twist. Then, this, this, this balloon on top, and that is a split twist. That's how we call it nowadays. Donc, ici, le ballon en eau, c'est ce qu'on appelle maintenant du split twist. This balloon has been inflated to uh, three and a half. Le ballon en question a été gonflé sur les trois et demi. And then you can tie in the middle of the neck. Where's my three and a half? Okay. Split. So push. Tout simplement pousser et diviser le ballon en deux. So very simply split, push, and split the balloon in two. Now it could be that you're not happy with the two sides. Ça se pourrait que vous n'êtes pas content avec les deux côtés. So it could be that one side is bigger than the other side. No worries. You always can push from one side to the other side. So si vous trouvez que les deux parties sont pas égaux, aucun problème. Vous pouvez commencer à pousser d'un côté vers l'autre côté jusqu'au point où vous soyez content. So, oh. One, and maybe you can block it somewhere. Un, vous pourriez bloquer pour ensuite aller faire le deuxième. Once that you have two, simply twist, and now you get a fantastic chrome, small little cluster that could be used as a little detail there. So, three and a half minutes. More questions? <laughs> so, I hope you did enjoy this class. J'espère que vous avez aimé ce cours. Of course, still, on these designs, I made sure that Raquel did prepare some clip art for you. J'ai demandé à Raquel de préparer du clip art aussi de ce genre de dessin, du lift. If, if you make one of these designs, we would love to hear from you and we would love you to put the hashtag QCorner Convention. Donc, si jamais vous faites un de ces dessins, on aimerait bien que vous postez et que vous mettiez le hashtag QCorner Convention. And last but not least, stay safe. Be creative and be prepared. Didn't you love what Ted was saying early, early for me in the morning? Be creative and especially be prepared because once all this is over, we have this fantastic future ahead of us. Surtout, surtout, préparez-vous. Soyez créatifs. Et préparez-vous parce que une fois que tout ceci va être parti, je suis sûr que notre marché de ballon va encore une fois fleurir.
Thank you for watching. Merci à vous de m'avoir regardé. And thanks Keith and Dom and the whole team. Susan and Evie and you know who you are, the whole team who has been putting this fantastic convention together. Really, really thank you. Merci à Keith et Dom et tout l'équipe qui a fait que le Corona Convention soit possible. Thank you guys. Okay, guess we're over to Keith and Dom now. Hello, 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 thank you. Maybe Mr. they're Bertrand. sleeping. Hello, Luke. Thank you very much for that class. Oh, still some audio issues there with uh, with Luke. Hi, Keith. Hello, Dom. Hello there. We can hear you, but you can't hear I us see probably. You. Yes. yes. Thanks for sharing so much, Luke. You absolutely packed it full that hour and a half. I don't know how you got through all of that. I really love that little design that's next to you with the seven-inch chrome. Um, I like it with the pinks as well, but the with the seven-inch chrome, it's uh, absolutely uh, wonderful as well, and it's great to see all those nuggets of gold come flying up through the chat That's it, which is you plenty know, of thumbs up yeah plenty of nuggets of gold you know you're going to make an effect on people's businesses when those gold nuggets come flying back so thank you very much and also for the majority of your class you had over 1200 people watching on that as well so that's absolutely fantastic luke that's well the plan yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed the plan thank um, you so much luke, so guys, and thank please, you so much in as well Please, in the chat, send a little bit more love to uh, Luke Petrand, and thank you very much to Innes and the family, too. Yes, and did he ever oh, get his ice cream? Can, can I do one more thing? Yes. I was giving can I do one more thing, Keith and Dom? Yes. 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 <laughs> Innes, tell him that we're waiting for him. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there so, we go. This is the this is the camera woman, <laughs> and this is the very sophisticated way that we have been filming all this with <laughs> counterweights and the boss. Uh, hey, Ines, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's Thanks. nice to see behind the scenes. It is. <laughs> Good job. Good job, guys. Da -da -da. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much for sharing your time and your space with, uh, with everybody. And, and, and now we have, we have almost a whole family. Kid. <laughs> That's even my father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Give yeah. his chair back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys take care. You stay safe. All right. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Excellent. Well, that was fantastic. That was, of course, the wonderful Luke Petrond. Um, and thank you very much for showing the love in the chat. Of course, uh, all of our instructors are giving up their time free of charge for you guys um, while everybody's in lockdown. And, you know, while we're just trying to lighten the mood in some um, darker times while we're waiting for that rainbow to come out from behind the clouds. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Billy Damon says exactly right. It is all about family. It is all about family. It um, is. Whether it's the Qualitex family or our uh, real families, it's, uh, it's still the same. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so moving on. We're just getting set up for our next guest. Um, we've got uh, another little challenge for our setup here. So make sure we get our audio right. So let's see if we can set this up because I do believe he's going to bring audio in on this one. Um, Let's have a look. No, he's um, going to have audio in his ear in that one, I believe. And, in, and yeah, he's going to have audio from that one that you're looking at there. Right, and this one's in and his ear. And then that one's okay. the, in his ear. So, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do some um, introductions. Guys, uh, <laughs> somebody, Jonathan said there that it, it actually fell short. No, he actually got more time. We give him some bonus minutes because we knew he had loads of things to pack in there. Um, so our next instructor, uh, so we're going to go back to a twister. So we've gone from a decorator, retailer, 
um, back to a twister, and it is the um, awesomeness himself is Anthony Lena. Is he um, is he around? His camera's on. He's gone for a little walk. Is he's he gonna, there? He's going to get back in there. You just hang there. You for the there. You don't run anywhere. Okay. He's on this one, right? So, uh, how are we do it? Yes. How how can we're we're doing fantastic, guys? Um, we are living on your energy right now. Um, we are. Um, <laughs> this here and there, the balloon family is the family that we chose ourselves. Yeah, that's quite. Good. So uh, when we bring corner. Anthony in, I might have to just do some uh, quick adjustments for. I'm sure we will for some uh, his audio there. So we're just going to need to bring him in and uh, see how he rolls. Okay, right. Okay, there's, we're feeling a lot of love there in the chat. So thank you very much. Okay, good, so good, good. Uh, we have um, we have a class which is titled "What the World Needs Now Is Fun." Oh, so true. This class is going to be a blast. Anthony will teach you a few of his favourite sculptures, and then we'll ask those watching what they want to see him make. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Once a design has been chosen from the comment section, he will describe his process on how he creates new designs, and then he will show you how to make, how to take any sculpture design and turn it into a deliverable sculpture of pure awesomeness. So how cool is this? How interactive? This can't be any more interactive, right? It's going to be down to you guys what he actually makes. So um, let's see if we can. I'm going to bring him up there, in. and I'm going to put him onto here. So please, guys, um, can we welcome the man himself, Mr. Anthony Lena? Right. Let's see. Uh, oh, not we, quite, we not quite are, you're a little quiet right now. Um, um, so what we need to do is we're going to give you a little bit of a boost in the background. Okay. This is why we're live. We're just pulling people in as one person leaves. We bring the next one in, so we we don't have time to balance everybody up fully. So we've just got right. to wait. I think we should have you uh, audio now. Okay, Mr. test, 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 test. Look at can that. Can you hear lovely. me? Okay. Am I coming in loud and clear? Nice we, and loud. We and clear. can. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Y'all can see me. Okay. Everything good. It, it looks fine. I from like here. your choice in t-shirt as well. That's very good. Uh, yeah. Look. Look. We have. Oh uh, yes. Got to represent. Got uh, the uh, Qualtex balloon here as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, do I do I have to go ahead and get started? Does that sound good? Well, I tell you what we're going to do is, guys, um, please give a big welcome to the Q Corner Convention to Anthony Lena, and we're going to leave you um, and have some it's pure very capable awesomeness hands. of fun. Enjoy, Thank guys. You. Thank Enjoy. You, Thank you, Dom. All right, everyone. This has been an amazing convention so far. I stayed up way too late last night, <laughs> but I am prepared for this class. So uh, thank you for joining, and uh, we'll do the request of uh, what I will be making uh, from you guys, your request, at the end. So, uh, but before we do that, I have some sculptures that are really, really pure awesomeness. And uh, I got three of them today, and uh, we're going to go through them right now. So. Uh, I got my my list here, so let's let's start off with let's start off with this one. This is a good one. Okay, uh, this is a jar of pickles. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna get a 646 clear, a 260 lime green, and let's see, we'll need a chrome seven inch round, and. A Chrome 260. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Oh, hello everyone watching. I, I have my little chat screen over here. So thanks for, thanks for giving me some love. Okay, so uh, now there's actually two different ways you can make the pickles. Um, I'm going to do the easy way first. And then I will do the a um, little more difficult way. So uh, the first thing, we're going to make the pickles before we make the jar. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to grab a 260 lime green. We're going to inflate this. Uh, just leaving about four fingers uninflated there. Okay. I'm going to trim off that knot or nozzle rather. Oh, let me just toss that there. There we go. 
Okay, and the pickles, uh, the length of them should be right about, let's see, I would say that is about maybe five inches, five inches or so, five and a half, right, right about there, just about hand and half a thumb for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this off, we're going to save this, just sort of tie that off. Okay. This part, let go and tie. One pickle. Easy way. Easy way. So hopefully we can get four of these out of here. Out of this balloon, rather. So I just sort of put them next to each other. Right there. Same thing. Cut off, let a little air out, and tie. Okay, so we'll cut off both the uh, scrap ends there, make it look a little cleaner. All right, two pickles. Excellent. All right, we got this much left, got a little nub of tail. Same thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down. That looks good. So I went ahead and tied this one off. And we'll tie that one too. So I have four pickles total. There we go. And just cleaning off the ends here. Okay. So you should have four sections of the 260 here. Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. We are going to need, I'm using a dark green and light green marker, and then a black marker as well. Okay, so before we make the jar, I just like to put a few little dots on these pickles here. So just random, with a dark green marker, random dots. There we go. So I've actually made this sculpture um, a few times now. But the first time I've ever made this sculpture, it was actually a request in a restaurant. A little boy, probably about four years old. He's like, I love pickles. Can you make me a pickle? And I was like, ah, pickles, pretty easy. Uh, I was like, I have way more things I can do for you that are way better, I think. But how about this? Instead of just a pickle, I'll make you a jar of pickles. And so that's what got this started. And he loved it. And uh, ever since then, it's sort of been like a popular request in my community for those who, uh, you know, like follow me and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just doing like a little few dots on there. All right, just random little dots. All right, here we go just to give it some texture. There we go. Just taking it. Billy Damon's in the house. See his comment. <laughs> All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so we got our dots on the pickles. Now, we are gonna take the 646 Diamond Clear and uh, we are actually going to put the pickles in the 646, and I'll show you how to do that now. So I just get my hand pump and put a little poof of air, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push, push down with my left hand, holding it with my right hand. It's not tied yet, of course. Pushing down, pushing down against my hand until we get it to the end. Okay, now I'm holding it, Holding that right there, and then I put it on my pump here. I'm using a Legenda, by the way. I don't know if you could see that in frame. But I uh, put it on there, and then I'm going to release with my left hand, and at the same time, I'm going to add air with my right hand. So three, two, one.
there we go. Just right about that much there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie that off. And this has got good firmness to it right here. So you might be asking, how are we gonna get these in here? <laughs> so I like to do two at a time. It's a little bit more manageable. Um, I have done four at a time before, but I'm not gonna attempt that live on screen. <laughs> All right, so what I, I like to do, I sorta of use my pinky and thumb to grab the bottom of the two pickles. And then the three fingers are sort of behind the pickles here, sort of like that. And my fingers are actually just a little bit below the top. Okay. So I'm going to set this against my body. The 646 tail is sort of following along my left arm right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them vertical like this, and then I'm going to push, I'll show you this before I do it, push and move it like this. So it's sort of this movement, push, and then as I push, move forward a little bit. Okay, so check it out. There we go. And then with my left hand, I'm actually going to grab it with my, or grab the two pickles and move my right hand out. So now we have this. Okay. So I'm going to hold these with my left hand. Let's get the other set. We're going to do the same thing, keeping a lot of pressure on those there. So we sort of have this. So now four pickles are in there, okay? What I like to do, instead of popping this whole outer layer, I like to just trim off, stretch this, and trim that there. There we go. So now I'm just gonna turn it inside out. All right, there we go. So now I will get my hand pump and I'm just gonna gradually add some air. And I'm actually going to pinch off this little section and only add air to this, this uh, empty section here. Just a little bit there. And then I just let that gradually go in there. There we go. Sort of ease it in. There we go. So what I do, I this is sort of like a valve. I open my my fingers just a little bit and push that air from the top to the bottom. So it's not like oh whoa bam. There we go. Now we can add some more air. We're just going to squeeze that down, and make sure that's nice and clear, and just add more air as much as you like. So now we have that. So you got four in there. Very good. And this is, I mean, this is how you can put literally any uh, sculpture or, you know, rose under a glass, done the same way. So that technique is very versatile for many things. You can make a snow globe, all sorts of things. So what I'm gonna do, once that's nice and tight, I'm gonna tie it off. So I have this, okay? Next, what we are going to do is get our seven inch chrome silver. We'll inflate this all the way. And then let's some air out. 
You want to let enough air out where you can squeeze it, or squeeze the top and the bottom together. Okay. This will be the lid of our pickle jar. So we have this. Okay, oh, and then we also have our silver uh, Chrome 260. So ha have that handy. What I do is I'm taking my finger, sort of knotting up the nozzle there, or bunching it up together. And I don't push with my fingernail. I push with the palm of my, or the pad of my pointer finger. And I'm just sort of pushing it in like that, holding it with, uh, holding the balloon with my other fingers and thumb. And then you can, you know, at the top of the balloon, that's where the latex is, is very thick. So that is where you want to push your knot. There we go. So what I do, I just sort of um, put my pointer finger and thumb on my left hand and sort of just sort of make like lifts with it and push it up against sideways. Not like this, not, it could pierce it and pop it. So sideways, and then I just move my finger in between that. And once I feel that knot there, I grab it and then I twist. And then go ahead and grab, actually, excuse me, the 646. And we're gonna wrap that under the knot. Under the knot. Just wrapping it under the knot. There we go. And then I'm gonna come back the opposite way and go over the knot a few times. And then trim that off. There we go. Just sort of roll it, make it real nice and tight. So we have this. Now, let's get that Chrome 260, silver. Just inflate it a little bit over halfway. Just give it a nice little stretch. And we're gonna take it, we're gonna wrap it around. So it's gonna be sort of the bottom of the lid. And once we get it to a nice spot where it looks good, we're just going to give it a twist right there. And we're going to take that knot and attach it to that twist. So wrap it around one, two, three. And then I'm actually going to go under and up back on top. Trim this off. And then we'll tie those together and trim off any access you have. Strain everything out. All right. And we have this really cool jar of pickles. Now you could stop there and say, hey, there's a little mason jar full of pickles for you. But just to add a little extra detail, Get my uh, light green marker, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle on the front. And I actually rotate the balloon and use my pinky as a kickstand to help keep it a little straighter. There we go. All right, so now I have a rectangle. We are going to color that in. Just back and forth. There we go. I hope y'all are liking this. It's, uh, it's one of those sculptures that nobody expects you to make, but when you make it, People are like, that's cool. And I always say, just please don't eat them. 
causes bloating, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> All right. And then I'll take my dark green marker. And we're just going to trace the outline of that rectangle. There we go. So we have this. Perfect. Oh man, now it's time for the butt marker. We're just gonna write pickles. Right in the, in the rectangle. There it is. So, jar of pickles. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a little bit more difficult pickle. If you want a little bit more, uh, uh, I don't know, pizzazz. Uh, Keith and Dom, if you can pull up the picture of the pickle jar, I think you have access to that in the pictures. There should be one with a close-up of a detailed pickle, if possible. Let me go ahead and grab what I need here. We're going to get three um, 260 lime green, and we're going to get a 350 lime green. All right. So uh, with two of these, we're basically just going to have knots. All right. Let's see. So I'm just tying some knots. Almost, you're making raisins. Uh, uh, like a raisin twist, if you were to do a raisin twist. So there's one. Just got, I just had a couple knots upon each other. And I want a total of about eight of them. There we go. Perfect. So once I get one, you can make them as big or as small as you like. The bigger they are, I think they're, they're better. Okay, there we go, perfect. All right, so we have that, set that, and I have one more. And I have a total of four right now. Detailed pickles, who would have thought? I know, right? <laughs> uh, these are definitely, definitely sweet pickles, Cinder. All right, there we go. All right. There we go, and we're just going to do the same thing with this 260 here. So, and you, I mean, the technique I'm showing you here, you can use this. Be creative for other things. You can, if you make a, a face, uh, this could be, you know, uh, I don't know, like freckles, or it could be uh, all sorts of things. So. There we go. I'll try it one more. Oh. There we go. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. And I need two more. So what I usually do, if I have time, is I will make a detailed pickle outside of the jar for the recipient to hold. All right, we got our, our uh, little raisins here. Let's see, you see that? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take these raisins and uh, drop them into our 350 lime green. There we go, just one by one, get them in there. Perfect. There we go. 
go. All right, they are all in now. I'm just going to inflate this. And I'm going to squeeze that down to the bottom. And those will get all the raisins right at the bottom there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to about halfway kind of trim it off. And then I'm going to take the smooth end of the other lime green 260 we had and slide that in. And then I'll trim it off, leaving a little bit outside, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to inflate the 350. Yeah. So the 260 nozzle is sticking out. Right about there. And then I'll put my pump inside the 260. And I'm going to wrap the 350 nozzle over the pump as well. Now holding all that, we'll inflate the 260 inside. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna hold the 260 and then I'm going to stretch the 350 out, just like so. And then I'm going to let some air out of the 260 just to get that about the same length as the pickles we have in the jar. Now I'm just, I'm sort of pulling the 260 and I'm going to tie the 260, not tying the 350. So the 350 is still there. So I'm pushing that down and then we'll trim off the excess of that 260. Okay, so let's inflate it one more time, the 350. And you want to make sure that 260 is all the way to the end of the 350. And you can shake it around, and as you shake it, deflate it. And I sort of push down there. There we go. And we'll trim off a little bit more of that 350. And then I'll let some air out. There we go. So now you have all these at the end. And we're going to just move them with our hand at random places. There we go. And just sort of grab, pull, and scoot it around. There we go. And this will give it really cool texture. There we go. I'm just moving them around. And that 350 is pretty durable, so you can give it some stress and it won't it won't cause you any trouble. Mommy, you like the close-up? I'll show you. Just space them out a little bit. So we have this. And what I like to do is tie it and then, let's see, when you are doing, so this is, I guess, considered distortion in some way, right? 
if I were to just leave that tied and let it just sit down, as the the 260 loses air, it will it will uh, make the 350 expand, and you won't see those bumps. So what what I like to do, I'll I'll do a close up is get my scissors and just give a little pinhole or a little cut at the end of the nozzle here, and that will allow balloons uh, or excuse me uh, uh, allow the balloon to uh, let air out and still keep that distortion you have. So very important when you ever do any sort of distortion. Just a little slit. Right there. Okay. And then we'll cut off the excess. All right. So there is our jar of pickles with a fancy pickle. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we'll save these for later. All right, did y'all like that one? Pretty cool? Okay, this next one is a really fun one. It uses some distortion as well. A little bit more traditional way of distortion. All right, let me get my list here. This will be a bunny. I actually already have some uh, delivery orders for this one. They For Easter, they wanted, so. Okay. Thank you guys for the love. I see, I see the green hearts. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and start out with some 160 whites. Two of them. And then I'm also going to get... 12 inch quick link whites. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this 160. Yes, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. We're going to lower this camera just a little bit here. Does that, does that look good there? Okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I'm talking to Keith, so we just moved the camera down a little bit for you guys. Okay. Pardon the mess. It is totally organized. All right. So we have the 160 uh, folded in half here. I'm going to grab my 12-inch quick link. And we're just going to slide that inside, like so. And we're going to go ahead and inflate the quick link. And holding that, we're going to, uh, or the, the neck of the quick link, we're going to inflate the 160 inside. Yeah. Everybody can see that, I think, yeah. Okay, so I what I do, I hold all the nozzles together when I inflate, not blocking any air passage. Just sort of pulsate the pump there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna pull the 160s out, so I have those, and I'm gonna trim the end of this, so both of them can release air. There we go. And I'll pull that. Pull both ends. And then we're going to let the air out. Stretch it out. You want it as long as you can get it. Right about there. There we go. Put a little air out there, perfect. And the, um, there we go. So we have that one. Oh, don't want to lose that. I think we pump a little bit more air into that. I 
think we may have a small little hole there. Hold on, I can fix it. There we go. Yeah, we just had a small pinhole on the other side from my fingernail, I believe. There we go, that will work. So we'll tie this just like so. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off those 160s there. Just the, uh, the nozzles that were left over. So we have this. We got that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie the top right there. Excellent. So we have this. It's very important. It's very important that that nozzle is on the side or the, uh, the tip of the quick link is on the side. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. Fold the 160 in half. There we go. I could use a 350 for this. Uh, I'm, I, I think that's what somebody said. But the quick link, I wanted this on there for this. So you'll see. You'll see why. There we go. Now let's inflate the 116 side. Go ahead and trim off the 160 there so I can let some air out. And we'll deflate the air in the quick. We want to make sure they're about the same size. These are going to be the ears of our bunny. Perfect. Pulling those ends of the 160. Just making sure that's on the side there. That little quick link part. There we go. Just want to say a quick thank you to everyone watching. Uh, this is so much fun for me. I love uh, teaching and showing people some, some balloons of pure awesomeness. So thanks for joining me today. And thank you Qualitex and Pioneer Balloon Company uh, for hosting this. Keith and Dom, y'all are awesome too. Okay, excellent. So I'll go ahead and tie that. So we have this. It could be like that little bird that dips in the uh, in the water. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now that we have this, we're gonna set this aside, and let's get our uh, six forty six. That one, I think. Let's see, six forty six uh, white here. There we go. Pump that up. There we go. Just right about there should be good. Tie the nozzle there. Okay, so we have that. What I like to do now is tie these two ears together. Make sure they're really tied well, as close as you can get them. And I'm going to trim off one of these nozzles, so I only have one. Next, I'm going to tie the uh, nozzles of the ear 
and the 646 together. But I'm, I'm leaving some space so that they have a little length to them. Like that. All right. Thank you guys. All right. So I am going to now to twist or I guess marriage twist this into the 646. Just like so. There we go, and I pull up and twist. Just like that. Now, before I let go of that, I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to take that nozzle, the quick link, and wrap it under that knot. So we have that. How cool is that? It's going to be a floppy ear bunny. So excited. I love floppy ear bunnies. Okay. Same thing with this side. Pull it, pull it tight. And you can sort of, so we have this. And what I like to do is just sort of turn these ears, the bottom of them, like that. There we go. So we have some cute little bunny ears. Now, remember what I said. We didn't put a pinhole in this. So to keep that floppy ear, I'm just going to put a little pinhole with my scissors right at the bottom of the ear. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty tiny, but it's right, let's see, it's right there. And I'll do that on the other side as well. There we go. All right. We go so now that we have this let's go ahead let me see I think I need a Y260 next yes Y260 inflate this oh, hold on that one has a hole well, every balloon has one hole that one had two go. perfect all right so just inflate it, leaving a nice tail. We're gonna do a small bubble, about a two finger, three finger bubble. And pinch twist that. And then one more and pinch twist it as well. Give it a nice squeeze, stretch. And we're gonna wrap this around. These will be the arms. And you wanna leave a little space where a 260 can fit right here. And cut off the rest. All right. Making sure I got everything I need here. Okay, so now that we have that, Sort of position it to the side a little bit. Set that down for now. And let's get a 350 white. Inflate that, leaving about a hand and thumb roughly uninflated. All right, give it a nice squeeze and stretch. So it's pretty soft. All right, we'll just come down right about here. 
Mm, right about there. Give it a twist. Just leaving uh, a little bubble at the bottom there. Fold this in half. Oh, before I forgot to mention, I do push the knot through the loop so it locks so it won't come undone. So sort of hold it like this, find the middle. Once you find the middle, twist it. So we have this. And we're gonna fold that down and together. And then with this part, we'll just take a little bubble and pinch twist. And another little bubble and pinch twist. And another little bubble and pinch twist. And I have a, a little bit left and we'll just grab that end and pull up and give that a twist too. We have four little pinch twists at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna next make the torso of the bunny. Right about there. That looks good. And we'll take this and just twist it right in. Wrapping around those pinch twists and the big loops for the feet. Alright, so I'm going to deflate this 646 a little bit, but not all the way. I want to get one more little pinch twist. So I just deflate it to about the size of those other pinch twists. Right here. And we're going to tie that off. And with that excess of that 646, that tail, we're going to wrap it around. Thanks, Billy. John Jones, thank you, thank you. You got it, Brenda. We are gonna add a carrot to this. All right. And what I like to do, I just sort of like to curve those feet up just a little bit, give them a little bit of a shape to them. So I sort of have positioned these, two, two, one in the middle. And with that excess 260, the white, something I, just a minor detail, just a, a little poof and push it to the end. So you get a small one inch bubble. Tie that, and we're gonna tie that right at the bottom of the feet, right in the middle. So now we have this. This sort of holds everything together in minor detail, but it helps out a lot. Okay, next let's get two lime green 260s and a orange 260. First thing I do, I cut off the little tips of each end of the 260. So holes on all ends. Here we go. I fold them in half, just like so. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, actually, before I fold them in half, let's blow up the orange. Just about that much, about halfway. And I'm going to pinch it off right about here so I have a nice section to stretch here. And we'll tie, tie that so we have a super long part here. Okay. So now that we have these greens, find the middle of, of both. I just lined them up together. And we'll just tie them on. And I'll, now I can trim off that orange part there. There we go. So we have this. 
All right, we're just gonna do a deep tulip twist. Right about there. Grab that knot. And I'm gonna pull, pull on these, these, or uh, these, right about there, there we go. And trim that off. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie around that knot. So above the knot, you don't wanna tie it there or else it will come undone. And then I'll just tie it right on through. So I tied the knot under it. There we go. So now we can trim off that excess and push this part down up into the orange once again. And if these are a little bit too long for your liking, you can trim them just a little bit. Right about there. So let's go ahead and take that and we're gonna, just gonna slide that right into the arms. So it's hugging its little carrot. And now we can draw the face on. Just some big circles. There we go. Sorry for the squeakiness. There we go. So just drawing these circles on. I guess that well, when I draw, I can get close up so the mic doesn't pick up the squeakiness. Okay. Next, let me get my. Dark pink. We'll draw the nose. There we go. There we go. And what I like to do, if you, this is actually a breast cancer awareness sharpie. It makes really good for blush on cheeks. You can turn it upside down at the angle you want. Some big rosy cheeks. There we go. And last but not least, oh, there it is. Get my white marker. Draw some cute eyes. There we go. There we go. So there is our cute little bunny right there, all ready for Easter. And your loved ones and kids and adults, elderly, everyone. Perfect. All right, hop away. Woo. <laughs> all right. Let's see, how much time do we have left? Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, do y'all want to do the request? 
or do you want to do a cow being abducted by a UFO? I could just show you that one and sort of explain it to you. And then we can jump right into the, uh, the request, if you like. What do y'all think? I'm looking at the comments here. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm glad you like it. Request. Okay, to request, cow. All right. How about this? Jar of carrots, yes. <laughs> Stephanie, I love it. Great class, by the way. Uh, I was watching. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, we're getting some requests. We got Baby Yoda. All right, let's see some requests. Uh, let's do a request. Give me your request. Iron Man. Oh, I like Iron Man. A cub. Okay, we got a cub. Hey, Jerry. Pioneer Balloon Canada Cow UFO. All right, let me show you the, the cow. As people are writing their comments. This is the cow. Being abducted by the UFO. Centerpiece or delivery piece. So I could, I could just sort of go through this and show you how I did it. It's not too, too awfully difficult. Let's see what people are saying. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Okay. All right. What I'll do, because uh, we only have about 30 minutes left, I want to do, uh, I will show you part of this cow. And uh, and then we'll do the request. Very, so we'll go run through this very quickly, and uh, and then we'll do the request. Very good. All right. So, oh, one thing about this, I did put little LED lights in here. I don't know if you can sort of see that, but it makes the the tractor beam glow. It's really cool. All right. We'll set that here. All right. So really the body is very simple on the cow. You start off with two 350s and inflate them leaving about this much tail, maybe four, five inches. Tie them together. We got two pinch twists. Come down, right here, twist them together. Make the cheeks, those are two loops. One loop here, and one loop on the other side. Then I make legs, they're about, mm, I'd say seven and a half inches. Come down, right here. And you're matching this with both 350s. So, pinch twist, two pinch twists, two small bubbles, two loop twists for the cheeks, uh, then two bubbles for the legs, twist, come back up, another pair of legs, a little behind, two pinch twists there, and then that's your body. Then I add a five inch. Uh, round pink and then the eyeballs here I just get one a little bit bigger than the other and then I sort of squeeze them together like this to make them look very crazy then I just draw a circle little line a little wiggly and a tongue there a little wiggly mouth and tongue and some eyebrows okay. Then I just do a spiral with two uh, blue 260s, light blue or pale blue. And then I just get a 160 and wrap it in the creases of those, looks like this. We got the LED light there. And that's just a uh, inside of a five inch clear. 
and I take the the, uh, the tail of that and wrap it in, up in here. The alien, I think everybody knows how to make. You put it inside, inflate the clear, then you inflate the alien. And then we have just three petals, uh, three flower petals of a chrome purple. And it just sort of raises that face up and holds it all together and makes it look real nice. And then I also put an LED light down there and, and wrap that into the head. So when you attach this, you attach it in between the body and the teeth in the bottom of the head. Then I take a, you can get a 260 or a 350 for the ears. So two flower petals and just tie it into the pinch twist. And then we also have the tail, just the remainder of that balloon. And be sure to point it up like it's being abducted. Okay. Let's see, any questions on that? Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's see, I think. Just making sure. Yeah, this is it's pretty straightforward. I mean, now you can turn any of these balloons I made—the jar of pickles, the bunny, the cow, any sculpture—into a delivery piece. And uh, just real quick, Keith and Dom, do we still not have access to the pictures by chance? Because I did have some centerpieces I wanted to show if we had if we have access. I know we have some technical difficulties early. If if not, that's okay. I can explain it. Okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, so um, I have uh, basically uh, two sets of quads. The bottom set of quads are about nine inches. And these are about seven inches. So you just make sure the top is, is, is uh, smaller than the bottom. And then I just spiral a 260, uh, four of those, and put those in the middle sections here of that. And then I put a sand weight at the bottom. And the last thing I'll show on this sculpture, and then we'll do the request, is how to, I made the sand weight, for those of you who may, who may not know, and then how I attached the body, because this is not a quick link. Uh, this is the Holstein Cow 11-inch 11, uh, 11 print. And so I'll show you how I did that real fast. So I'm actually gonna, uh, we'll pop that in just a minute, and I'll, I'll put a new one on. So we got our Holstein Cow print, and we're just gonna make a little raisin. I'll just get a white here. Tie that about four knots on each other. All right, I'm looking for some requests. Hmm, okay, we got some good stuff. We got this little raisin we're gonna toss inside the 11 inch. So we'll poop of air and get it in there. All right, and then I'm going to have another little scrap handy so I can tie it off after I inflate it. So right about there. One enough where you can pinch off a little a piece of that 11 inch without it popping. Okay. So that raisin's inside. And we're, I'm just going to pinch off. I'll, co I'll come close. Pinch off, and with my hand, I pull up, with my other hand, I push up and pull down with this hand, and then that raisin will naturally come down like a funnel. So once I have it there, I can just twist it off. There we go. And then we'll take that little piece I had handy, I hold it with my pinky, like so, and I wrap it under the knot about four or five times. And then I'll tie those just like that so we have that. Okay, 
So, let me pop this. So that is how, basically, before I add the body, I make this part first. You take this Holstein cow print, take the nozzle of one end, I, we do, I just got word, we do have access to some centerpiece examples, so I will show you those. This one. So I wrap that raisin uh, scrap we have right into those pin twists. Then you just take the tail, which is the remainder from the ears, and wrap that right there. So that is how the body is made. And then after you have the cow made, you just uh, do the spiral and put it right in there. And I, the reason I added the 160, it adds a little bit more strength and uh, um, just, you know, it, ma it makes it more sturdy. So to hold the, the donut. And this is a geo donut uh, uh, right up here. So, okay, very good. And let me show you how to make the uh, sand weight real quick. I'm sure most of you know how to do this, but there may be somebody who doesn't know. I always double up on my sand weight. So that means a lot of people just use one 11 inch. I use two just to have that peace of mind. Right, Cause I have had one break on me in the past and I did not want that to happen again. So I just get it like a balloon stick, stretch the 11 inch on there. And basically this is how you would make the alien head uh, with the, the dome over it. Mm -hmm. So you just take the another 11 inch, put it right on there. And slide that out, and you got two. All right. This video is not sponsored by Sierra Miss, but you take a two-liter bottle, uh, empty it out, or drink it, whatever you like, and fill it with some play sand. Okay? Take the cap off. You're going to stretch the nozzle of these 11-inch right on there. Just like so. And all I do is turn it upside down and squeeze the bottle. Just like that. And I turn it up, uh, up the right side uh, again, just like that, the regular way. Set it on the table. And I uh, make sure. I got a good grip on the nozzle and then I just pull it off. There it is. So we got a sand weight. And what I like to do is just sort of push it down, flatten it out best I can, and then tie it. That is how you make a sand weight. Uh, you can also use water, but I like the sand. It's a little heavier. And, uh, got that right there? Yeah. Okay, great. So, let, uh, we're going to pull up some pictures of the centerpieces here, of uh, some other examples on screen. There we go. Very handy little tip there for the sand weight. All right, so let's see if we can get to it. Yeah, so here's one I did. Um, I basically double stuffed the Caribbean blue inside of a 11 inch uh, snowflake print, diamond clear. Exactly the same base as the cow. And uh, did the sand weight. I actually put LED lights, uh, little blue LED lights inside those so the base would glow. So that's uh, one example. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see. Oh, yes. A little bear with some bumblebees and a honey pot. There we are. And I just use U glue dashes to attach the bees and uh, the honey pot on there. And uh, 
I got the head design from Buster Balloon and the body uh, design I, I uh, was inspired by Juan Gonzalo. So shout out to them. But uh, everything else, uh, I just sort of came up with myself, the bees and the honey pot uh, to get that. So I think we got a couple more maybe. Guys, we got to spread joy during this time. And this next one is perfect. We got a little hashtag smile foil and literally the same base. You can take a twisted sculpture and make it absolutely perfect for a delivery and a centerpiece. So I, as you can see, I use this a lot. Here's another one. Um, this was for a birthday party, a lemon themed birthday party. The little girl's name was Lemon. So here's a little le lemonade stand. We got the spirals coming out there, a glass of lemonade and uh, the uh, lemon, jar of lemons there. Very good. And then another base you could do is a geo donut or a geo blossom. And so I just put the sand weight through the hole of the blossom or geo and uh, it, it weights it down perfect. And then the nozzle of the geo, I attach those pin of the tree. And the, all the leaves are balloon dogs. And I just twist them together to make leaves. Uh, 160 balloon dogs. Very good. And I think this might be our last one. Just another example of what you can do with the base uh, I just showed you. So, yeah. Very good. And I used a Geo Blossom uh, for the head of that pig there. So, so yeah, all right. Well, let's look in the comments and uh, see what we got going on for a request. Okay, I see Iron Man again. I, I think we might, we might do that one. Any, anybody? Baby shark or hands on with soap bubbles. Okay. Love the balloon. Dog. Okay, let's see. Baby shark or hands on. Soap. Okay. That is an ex. Jessica says nurse. Ooh, that's a good one. Evie, thank you. Iron Man hat, dragon. Okay, we got a lot coming through here. Okay, how much time we have? We have 15 minutes. Uh. Let's see. I'm not going to do a fire truck, Jerry. Go watch um, uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie's class from last night. Unbelievable. Okay. And Baby Yoda we got. Ooh, this is so good. Okay, we got a lot of Iron Man, Baby Yoda, Baby Shark, Nurse or Hand Washing. Okay, Qualtex Balloons votes Nurse or Doctor. Let's do a nurse. Let's do a nurse. Here we go. All right. So, um, Keith and Dom, I know you had access to the, uh, the, the pictures of the centerpieces. Do we have access to the, um, the PDF file by chance? Or will they have access to that after? Okay, great, perfect, that's all I need to know. So there is a PDF that you can look at after uh, this is all over, and it actually goes step-by-step step on how I create uh, new designs and, and get in that uh, thought process and that, and that uh, mind and that zone, and you, you know, it, it really helps you think. So lots and lots of tips, and you'll have access to that awesome PDF. So let's do a nerd. So, um, the first thing I would say is um, think about designs that you may have uh, made in the past that have been similar to the request that you just received. So I have made people, Iron Man uh, is a person, um, I've made, you know, like little emoji people. So the first thing, and they usually wear white too for their scrub. So let's get some white 260s. And I'm going to try to do this in under 15 minutes here. There we go. All right, so I'll just inflate a couple 260s. 
Okay, and I always like to start with the torso, and then I can make the head the size that I need to. Okay, so let's set that there. Got two, and then let's see, let's get some blush for some hands. Okay. So for hands, I used to usually do pinch twists in a restaurant or birthday setting. If you're doing a competition or something like that, uh, I would definitely do 160s for the hand um, and everything like, uh, you know, for the tips of the fingers and everything like that using the, the very tip of the 160 so you don't have knots. You want clean lines, definitely in competition. For any of you who are thinking about competing in those 12 minute competitions. Okay. So you just uh, got a hand. All right, let's do another one here. Guys, thank y'all so much for, uh, for watching. We've got a thousand people watching right now. That's unbelievable. That is truly amazing. Thank y'all for. I mean, y'all could be doing a lot of stuff right now, but we are all here together, learning new things, spending time, speaking balloonish, as Evie would say. <laughs> all right, there we go. Just give it a little shock twist. And I, I don't know why they call it shock twist, because you're, it's not really twisting, but you're just shocking the balloon. So we'll call it. Whatever you like. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'll do a pinch twist. All right, and just come down. I thread that through, and I'm going quickly. But you can always watch this back and slow it down. Just get a little torso right there. That should be good. Do I have a? Yes, I do. 160 white. Yeah, this balloon goes out to uh, all the first responders and the nurses, of course, and the doctors, everybody who's on the front lines during this crazy time we're living in. There we go. All right. All right, we got 10 minutes. There we go. Just looking at the comments. All right. Nice. All right, so we'll come down. Right about there. So this is a very versatile body. Let's get a little bubble there and a pinch twist. All right, now, as we get the body, we need to think about the main features of a nurse. How to identify when somebody looks at this balloon we need to say, they, they need to say, hey, that's a nurse. So, a stethoscope maybe, right? A uh, hat with a little cross uh, on there or something like that, a little red cross on there. Okay, so what I'll, I'll do now, let's go ahead and make the face, and I'm actually gonna go grab something real quick. Let me grab a face balloon. All right, these are my favorite cases to use. We got Jackie Achichwa's little cute girl face here. Shout out to you, Jackie. I'm gonna make the head a little bit bigger. This is a six inch. Yeah, dude. Right about there, perfect. Okay, tie that. Here we are. So we just have this. Beautiful face she's created. All right, let's see what color hair. Let's do, let's do, um, let's do black hair. No, let's do chocolate brown. Best of both worlds. There it is. All right, get my chocolate brown here. 160s. 
Pioneer Bloom Canada. I like those hearts. Very good. All right, so a little loop. And a pinch twist. Another pinch twist. Take that. Try it on top. I'm just going to go back and forth here. And what I like to do is just sort of leave one part on the bottom there. So it gives me a better attachment point. I can just twist around. There we go. Get another chocolate brown. And I'm just wrapping them back and forth until we've got a nice full head of hair. Maybe one more. There we go. There we go. Nice. Give her a little ponytail. Come like that and save it. Right. My class is coming to an end. I have one more really cool little surprise for y'all. Uh, I've been, I just was playing around yesterday. I actually helped a, uh, a guy out on Instagram live, on his Instagram live. And that's where this column came from actually. So it does something special. I'll show you what it does in just a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to Take the nozzle of the, the blush uh, quickly face. We're going to attach it in those pinch twists. So we sort of have this. And then I'll take this extra part I had. Sort of wrap it around the back. So check this out from the front down to the back, and then pulling that tightly back up to the front. There we go. All right, let's get a little hat on there for her. A little 260. Just wrapping that around the top. All right, she's coming together. <laughs> All right, and she's done. No, I'm just kidding. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I have a red marker somewhere in here. Okay, that one. Yeah, there it is. Draw a little red cross up there. we are so we have that all right the last detail I want to add this is pretty cool 
I think we have time. Let me get a silver 160 and yeah, that should be good. All right, great. And then I'll need a diamond clear 260 and a red 260. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, get my balloon stick, I'm gonna put it inside the red 260. And we'll just go right about there. Take that off. So the red 260 is inside the diamond clear. Just gonna trim that off a little bit. Whoa! Uh -oh. Hold on, we're good. Squeeze it a little too hard. All right, here we go. The finishing touch to make this a cool nurse or very identifiable. There we go. Anybody guess what I can what I'm making here for? There we go. Perfect. Okay. Go right about there. And then I'll inflate the diamond clear. So we have this. All right, finishing touch. Let's let's go out strong on this here. Yes, we're making a needle, hypodermic needle, syringe, whatever you want to call it. Two loops. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Qualitex. I do love Qualitex, and. Uh, uh, it's such an honor to be able to be with you today, and uh, I hope uh, we all get through this together. I know we will, and uh, we've got a lot of great people surrounding us right now, so uh, it's awesome. It is pure awesomeness. All right, so we just made a little handle. We got three pinch twists. We'll just put that right there. All right, and to make the the uh, nozzle or the the needle, all right, we got our silver two sixty, and I'm just going to squeeze this down right about there. Could use a straw or. Something like that, to, but we'll save we'll save the turtles. All right, there we go. Oh, somebody said, "What was that?" Say it again, Keith. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Take this right here, tie it there, and just take a little scrap, tie it right in our hand there. And there is our little nurse, right there, saving the world one person at a time. There we go. Thank you very much, oh. Mr. Anthony Lena. Oh. Guys, oh, one more thing? oops, he's lost the light. <laughs> it's live. <laughs> Are you all right, buddy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's got a glowing, he's got a glowing column. There we go. Yeah, so I wanted to show everybody this before we head out. 
Look at uh, that. Look at that with the lights. That is fantastic, Anthony. Thank you very much. Balloons of pure awesomeness. We'll as see you guys. Always. Thanks so much. No, All thank right, you. you. Guys, please show the love for Anthony in the Thumbs chat. Thumbs up. Hearts we really in appreciate the comments. it. Tons and tons of nuggets of gold. All right, you take care, Anthony. Thank you, guys. Y'all too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, we're just going to line up our next guests. Not one, not two, but quite potentially three. Right, if you deal with that one, going off on one and uh, sort on the other, that would be good. Mm-hmm. Have we had the go-ahead on this one? I have told him to have right, the go-ahead. Okay, Hello, guys. I'm, I'm sure you got um, absolutely loads out of that previous class. I know we did. I loved it. I love the risen twists inside to create the detailed um, pickle uh, right at the beginning. Um, so I, I'm going to... Th there's a few of them going on there's a few of them because you're putting so many hearts on you're getting stopped by the automatic spam bot so i'm trying to <laughs> so that anthony can it's see allowed, them all it's yeah. allowed it's all them good. nuggets of it's gold. Good. um we're just waiting for one more guess and then we'll be with you we've got one we've got two we just need one more before we can start on this one i wonder if he's still there and whether we need to kick that and then go again let's try no, he's gone from that, so uh, we should be able to bring him in. There with his there. folks. We can't have exactly thirty. Well, sixty-six <laughs> percent. Would you like me to? No, no, you just did nope, that. We just you should be all right. Okay. Okay. We we're, we're just uh, he did. He no, was, I don't he is, so. maybe, no, not so. No, we're going to need to kick that one and then go again. Okay, let me just uh, Sorry, guys, for the technical difficulties, but this is live, and we're trying to break boundaries on this one, all right? We so. had to lose one to get another one, and that transition time was always going to be a challenge. Let's reset you, and we can send out a new invite. Give us one second. Hey, we, we're doing our best, right? So somebody's saying about one of the twisting competitions. Uh, twisting competitions are in segments 10, 36, 44, 71, 78, and 85. Okay, so that's great. Um, and I'm going to send out that new... I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Right, let's see if our friend there can pick up that new link. He'll be there. Oh, it's it's going to be worth it as well because um, this, this is really is um, breaking boundaries. Um, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> right. Okay, that means right. I can do this because well, I've been wanting to do this yep, for a well, while. Uh, okay, we can do we this audio. one. No, not that one. We've already had Luke. This one. He's had ah. his time to shine. So I know when you read oh, the dude, class dude. title, it probably is actually read more like a joke than uh, an actual class uh, if three balloon guys walk into a bar so uh, we thought before we did uh, three balloon guys walking into a bar um, we we thought we would have uh, five five guys yeah, walk into right. a bar okay. isn't that got... a burger joint five I think guys so they do. yes you yeah know, uh, i mean there are other burger uh, joints but you Call know four is also muted i've just noticed there he is not live on there that uh, but we need this because if you're going to walk into a bar, you got to have a beer, right? Okay. And I know, don't even say it because we know it is Corona. Yeah. But the thing is that because of the current climate, nobody's buying Corona, so it's cheap. So it's good for the economy too. Got to support our local businesses. Okay. Got to support our local businesses. <laughs> right. You're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna bring these in and see if we can get this working. Let's see if we get so some we can audio some for these chaps. Uh, right. Cheers, guys. Uh, we'll put you onto there. Do we have three voices? Cheers, guys. We, you got a beer today? Hi, guys. We got a Chris. We got a Stuart. And do we have a Stewie, David? Where's yours, mate? Hey, Chris. Div, Div can come you on. You, you didn't bring it, did you? 
What's up? <laughs> I can yes, hear you. We can hear him laughing. <laughs> we can hear you laughing. Right, okay. So I tell you what we're going to do is uh, we're going to leave you with these three. Uh, we've got, got no idea what happens. Go. If you have any questions for them, put it in the chat. Uh, we'll try and spot them and put it in front of them and they can discuss. Okay, but other than that, I think we shall leave you to these three crazy guys. Over to these three chaps. Enjoy, Thanks, people. Enjoy. Here we go. Thanks, hey, guys. Hey, Chris. Hey, Dave. All right. Hey, how you doing? Good, guys. How are you? I, I uh, woke up about an hour and a half ago, so I'm still just putting on my face. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bed in an hour and a half. <laughs> where, where is your beer stew? That was the deal. Come on. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting ready for bed. I've been up since six. It's, it's now ten past nine. So, how are things in Australia? Well, guys, awesome, bloody awesome to have you on here. Uh, when, when we had the idea of this uh, Q Corner convention, what a fantastic idea, by the way. I wonder, uh, you know, who posted that on Facebook and absolutely <laughs> spilled the beans. Sorry about that. Just for everybody watching, um, Susan sent an email to all the uh, instructors saying. Um, in, in the very first line, thanks so much, Chris, for ruining everything. So uh, <laughs> I, f I feel great about this. <laughs> um, but the, I've always personally wanted to um, sit down with you guys and, and have a chat. I've known you uh, all both individually at conventions. We've, uh, we've sat down and had a couple of beers many times, but not together. And um, I was chatting to a good friend of mine um, that were involved with the Sydney QBN chapter where I just love like getting together with, with like-minded business owners and uh, sharing ideas, um, just chewing the fat, just, you know, you, you, with, with classes, they're, they're fantastic, they're structured, but, but this sort of informal uh, chat, you just don't know where we're going to go. We're going to do some Q&A as well, aren't we? Um, but I'm really excited to just try and... Um, you know, give some some golden nuggets. I, I see all those golden nuggets going through with Q Corner, um, both both from me. But I just can't wait to hear it from you guys about what you're doing with your businesses um, and what your plans are for the future. Yeah, I I, I cheers for that, Chris. I wish we were talking in better times and we could actually be talking about yeah how uh, to take your businesses forward now. Um, but um, now is the key time to actually look at your business from my point of view. Yeah, mm. I would agree. I mean, if you if you haven't had a chance to do it, this is definitely the time to figure it out because it's the only way to go forward. I mean, the only way to understand the next steps is understand where you are currently. Dave, can well, you hold up one second? Do you have a whole case, a case of beer behind you there? <laughs> uh, more, more than a case, yeah. <laughs> Balloons are very stressing. He's from Texas. He's got to do everything bigger. <laughs> I've got a neighbor who panic bought $450 of booze and he has a still at home. He makes his own spirits and his wife's pregnant. <laughs> Very important bit things. So first things first, sort out your alcohol supply. Secondly, sort out your business. Is that right? No. Yep. Yeah, probably in that order. <laughs> well, hey, um, huge thank you to Q Corner. Keith and Dom, you guys are amazing. Um, Qualitex for putting us on. Um, I'm sure we can all see behind the scenes the hundreds. That's probably an exaggeration, but yeah, you know, so many people behind the scenes putting so much effort together. Evie was uh, sending me a message, just making sure I'm awake. That's not even her job, you know. But but she's out there doing it and translating. I can see eight million languages being translated. And for all you Americans, I think there's going to be an Australian translation uh, coming through on the uh, Q Corner chat. So the boomerang conversion. <laughs> I remember at float convention, someone's like, I don't understand your boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Good accent. Um, but uh, yeah, hey, so, so we just wanted to start about where, we're, where we are now, right? Uh, our businesses. Dave, do you want to go ahead um, as to the, the situation in uh, Texas? What? Well, the situation currently in Texas is, is, is I think they're still trying to figure out the situation in Texas. Well, they keep changing the ordinances and, and um, you know, what they tell us from day to day. You talk to one person and you get one answer and another. And I think they're finally nailing it down to where this shelter in place in Dallas is, is effective pretty much for everybody but uh, hospitals and food. But the strange thing is the Metroplex of uh, Dallas-Fort Worth is about 8 million people. 
and all the other cities aren't in line with that yet. So I think that makes it kind of confusing and complicated for people to take it really seriously when they don't know what to do. But for us as a company, um, we're we're officially shut down. There's no way for us to even kind of squeak in with a with a you know no contact delivery or anything like that. According to where it is today, that ordinance stays in place till Friday. But I honestly think they're going to extend it for the next 30 days. So that just basically shuts mm -hmm. us down as a company and stuff like that. And it has. So we went from this is our the, our first quarter is our slowest quarter of the year. And we were processing about 100 orders a week. And we just peaked at $300,000. And then we basically went to zero. So. Mm. Yeah. Wait, when did that come into play, Dave? Yeah. About that. When did that start? You were trading when we spoke last time. That just, they gave us the we we got the exemption last week, and then they officially shut us down completely last night. So oh, that, that that's when yeah. Sorry to hear that. So we were we were able to do we were able to do uh, no contact deliveries as long as we observed all the proper precautions and, and you know, kept the area clean. Um, the crew was uh, single drivers in the van and stuff like that. We had to wash the vehicles. We had to wash down the workstations, everything like that. And then, you know, all we can do is either put it in the yard or drop it on the doorstep. And that's as far as we could go with anything. But as of last night, they completely shut that down. But again, it, it, I mean, they kind of need to make that decision. They do. They need to either shut it down completely mm -hmm. to where we can get past it, <clears throat> you know, or, you know, figure out a different solution. But I think ultimately it's just going to come to a shutdown. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you could, you, you, you were caught between a halfway house. Uh, for me, uh, can you hear me, Chris? I think a lot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't you tell us a little yeah. bit about your business as well? I reckon there's people that are logging in here that, that probably don't know, um, you know, who we are, the background, um, and, and perhaps the reason why we're all here together. Do you want me to keep, to keep talking then? Yeah, okay, Dave. Yeah, why don't you just give us that quick little background for those who don't know of that delicious beard? Yeah, for those, for, okay, so for those that don't know, I'm Dave Mahoney with Balloons Every Day. Um, I, I'm, I'm getting some lag time here on the audio, so I apologize for that. Yeah. Um, I'm Dave Money with cool. Balloons Every Day. Uh, we've been in business about 23 years now at this point. We process um, about a million and a quarter million and a half, depending on the year, um, in business. We do basically balloon delivery and, and, and deliverable decor. Uh, we process about 4,000 jobs a day. I mean, a day. Ooh, a year. Too much beer. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah. My shop, I, I have 18 employees and, um, you know, that's, that's a little bit about me. Cool. All right, Stu, you want to go next? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I can hear Bit you. of a lag. Cool. Um, yeah, there is. Yeah, we, 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 we closed down um, uh, about 15 days ago. That was like 10 days before. The government was telling retail shops to close down. Um, we kind of saw it happening, but I've also got my entire business is my family. Um, you know, my wife, my sister-in-law, my son, my daughter work in the business. Um, so if the family goes down, the business goes down. So uh, what we did was we isolated the entire family. Um, I've been sleeping in the business for the last 15 nights. Um, to keep myself separate from the family um, and also to provide security for the business. Uh, and that's been quite difficult. Um, you know, I got a son with asthma, so he could be vulnerable to this virus. Um, and I needed to make sure that my family and business was protected. So about two to three weeks ago, I did a financial uh, look at the business and worked out how long we could survive with no income. Um, so we, we kind of cooled till about, uh, October, November. Um, I hope it doesn't go on that long, but, um, we can cope with that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. We, we, we're not, uh, working, um, and we're just preparing for the future. 
Cool. Um, I just saw a question come in then about uh, are our are employees unemployed? Um, what's the position on that? Perhaps I'll, I'll start and then we'll jump back to you guys. Um, so I, I've had a business since um, two, my own business since 2002. Um, I worked for my mother um, back in the mid 90s. I did my first paid balloon drop in 97. But my own business is a retail shop. But we also do online. Um, and we had uh, up to about 12 staff before all this happened. We're actually, we put a job ad up one week uh, before it really got serious. And I've never seen so many applications for this job. So that, that was, in a way, it was, it was great because we, we were um, just sort of running uh, at 120%. And so, so we can just sort of steam back a little bit from all of that without having to let go of anybody is, uh, is Chris and I'm a musician. <laughs> I actually, uh, I, I tried to hide the guitar. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I'm not a musician. I, I attempt. Um, in fact, Dom and Keith, I bet you guys are laughing right now as you wrote that. Uh, <laughs> that's a long story. You'll find out later. Okay. Um, so when all of this happened, uh, probably what, three weeks ago, our industry was the first to get hit. In Australia, we banned um, uh, events of 500 people. And, and what we do in our business, we're called the balloon crew. Um, so hashtag or at the underscore balloon underscore crew. Um, and uh, when they ban that, we, we specialize in major events in, in large scale, specifically organics. You know, that, that's pretty much the 90% of, of the large stuff that we do, but, but everything as well. Um, and uh, then they, they can, a few days later, events of 100 people. And within those few days, we lost 95% of our work um, overnight. And all of our casual staff didn't, didn't have a shift. And it's horrible. Um, However, I've, I've spoken to a lot of business owners in similar industries, friends of mine who have, you know, let go of, of full-time staff, you know, the entire office, the entire factory um, overnight, whereas this was a, a bit of a slow, um, um, you know, dr drip feed, I guess, of, of our staff, just just being on hold. I'm, I'm keeping them updated as much as I can with emails, with, with like you guys as well, we're changing our policies daily. Uh, Stuart had some wonderful ideas early on when we were uh, first talking about this particular class that I implemented, which was, um, uh, you know, hand, like the use of hand sanitizers and wiping down our balloons and pre-bagging a day or two before um, to try and kill the bugs. Obviously, you know, we're not experts in this, right? And we're just trying to wing it as best as we can and apply best practice. Um, in Australia, uh, we, we are, the, the government is encouraging businesses to remain open. Um, however, following best practice. And I think that'll change just like it did for you, Dave. Um, uh, but for now, we're, we're doing gifts. So one little thing, you know, we're talking about what products are we selling, if we can sell. And I know um, the world's a big place and there's many different rules everywhere. Uh, but for us, our business, actually, the foundation of it was on gift delivery. Um, balloons.com.au, we we're, we're a, a network of um, uh, balloon professionals that we run and we we deliver gifts so that that faded that got pushed aside with the advent of of yeah amazing organic work um and now we're just going back to our core because that's what's working um and, and i think we're very lucky to have that diverse foothold um the shop's still open a little bit we've got one person running it at a time just for social distancing and we'll have one person on the road um, so it's very complex. Yesterday, the government announced a, you know, a fantastic package and we're all just trying to figure it out as we go. And if you can, you know, I think just keep your staff up to date. Um, just hold the reins uh, tight um, and, and wait a little bit. I think there's always a lag between government policy and knee-jerk reactions mm. of business and you just need to try and find that in between time. But, geez, sorry, guys, this is – I know we're sitting around a bar right now. I just uh, – <laughs> I held the beer a little too long. I should stop talking. Uh, any any other questions we had pop up? What what do we use to wipe down balloons? Look, I think questions like that uh, are probably not our speciality. Um, no, you know we're just we're just guessing as as best as everybody else. Um, probably actually just before I I, I pass it on to, to somebody else, um, I just want to you know stop and 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 everything here. Like, this is such a wonderful event. We're all here. We're all um, being positive, but I think we need to stop and reflect and just have a a quick moment's thought to uh, all those people out there doing it a lot harder than us, um, you know, especially frontline nurses and healthcare workers, um, you know, just keep them in the back of our thoughts, which they all are anyway. All right. Over to you, Dave. Chris. Yeah. Chris. 
Can I just yeah, interrupt man. a sec? Yeah, I, um, something came up yesterday because obviously all the frontline staff, um, and I know balloons are our livelihood, and um, we think of the financial issues. But uh, I was talking to Jenny Porter yesterday. Jenny was on the big balloon build with me in December, and she was in float uh, this year with uh, Stephen. And uh, Jenny is an ICU nurse, and she sent me a picture of her in all the PPE gear with the mask and everything on. And she's risking her life at the moment working to save people's lives with this virus. Um, so, you know, th there are some of our own uh, balloon artists throughout the world who are nurses who are on the front line fighting this at the moment. So, um, yeah, I totally agree with you. It is, uh, it's, yes, it's difficult financially, but put it into context of we're talking about our lives as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um. So I, I think what we want to do with this conversation was, um, you know, just get an understanding of where we are now. Just so I think it's important for everybody around here to see, uh, you know, the, the, the differences of our businesses and and, um, uh, and the situation all around the world. Um, I, I personally feel um, we're going to go into stage three restrictions, which is just completely shut down of everything. Um, and then, um, yeah, it's, it's such a, a strange situation to have this negativity right let's looming normally when crazy things happen they happen at once right and then uh we we grieve and we slowly get better day by day by day but we're we're just doing this um and in that time we we have the ability uh, as as a business owner to see that coming um to see you know there's x amount of time that we're going to have at home um there's x amount of staff that potentially you can keep on and it all depends on the subsidies of your government and, and Stuart, i know what you're working with family but um there's there's this amount of time because we know it will go down but we also know it will go back up right that that period of time is is questionable um but i just you know to me the the real gems here is okay you guys you, you you're both business geniuses i admire you both so much what are you planning to do <laughs> within this time come on man i'm serious i'm serious oh, what are you what I are you gonna do like i didn't have a beard before i met ball. you david <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? What's talk to me? Listen to that, Paul. I, I, I think the thing of it is, I think, you know, and, and here's the thing. Everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's going through this at one time. It's not like um, like the, the fires in Australia. I mean, that was that was, you know, dramatic. And but it, it was only small. It, I mean, it wasn't everybody going through it at one time. Everybody's going through this. If people can just yeah. be patient and 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 just understand no one's doing anything that somebody else can't do so we all just wait we just that's all you can do and 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 all the governments are going to do their best because they can't tank the economies for each country so there will be help there will be stuff to do but on the same time you know we all started in this industry with basically no knowledge if you listen to Stewart's story you know he got into his family business and it was being run by family he didn't really have a You're background about in it balloon knowledge the family with Stuart, right? yeah 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 when you say no knowledge so, we're talking about balloon knowledge so <laughs> you can take it however you want come on come but on the thing about it is when when I got in the business, I knew nothing. And, you know, I know more now than I did when I started. And even if everything changes, I still bring to the table that knowledge I didn't have before. Yeah. And that allows, I got 23 years of experience. So I don't know that it's necessarily, you know, we're not starting from scratch. We're not having to reinvent the wheel. We just have to adapt, pivot and move. And I think this... our industry, like any, better than any other industry, it changes. I've done this long enough and I've been through other situations and, and, and other economical downtimes. And our industry is very robust where, you know, when the economy is great, yeah. for me, balloons yeah. is just part of an accent. We, we we do bigger events, but we're not doing the whole event. And when the economy changes down, we become more of a pivotal part of the event. And I think if this lingers on, and, the, and, and, they, and, they, and they hold the restraints and stuff like that to where we can't have large gatherings, 
then we become even more critical because people are going to do a lot more stuff at home. You know, people are going to do smaller events and they're not necessarily going to go rent out the same things. They're just going to keep yeah. them small. You know, right now, one of the things we see happening a lot around us and before we got shut down um, completely, um, people were doing drive-by parades. So whether it was a birthday or a teacher class or something like that, and people were starting to decorate the yard for when people drove by, you know, so there's, a, we, it always evolves. It always grows. It doesn't just stop. I think that's again that's a key, key word. Look at. One thing sorry sorry Dave, there's a yeah. key word is is adaptability. It's and that's something yes. the balloon industry has. Um pe people will always want to party, will always want to celebrate occasions. Yes. But the and I remember you saying this to me, Dave, was the, the there would be different offerings for different times. And the times will change over the next six, 12 months, two years. And you're going to need to adapt to whatever the customer wants. It could be smaller parties. It could be bigger ones. But you need to be able to adapt to whatever the, the customer is looking for. Can I jump in there? And, um, and the great news, I, and I don't know if I, anybody, the one thing is, I don't know if anybody notices this. We stopped talking about turtles and straws. So, you know, there's one blessing there. I think Anthony Lena mentioned it in his last class. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, Chris. No, I absolutely couldn't agree more. In, I don't know. Fact, I mean, somebody, what do you guys, I mean, what do you guys on, feel? On my page. I got to jump. Unfortunately, with the lag, we're just going to have to keep shouting over each other. The band's really loud in the back there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I had somebody post. Uh, we, 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 we put something on social media saying, um, uh, you know, we, we, we're still doing best practice deliveries um, for, for gifts, you know, grandparents and whatever want to send to their loved ones. And, and I know Stuart says, um, you know, you've got to be careful and look after your family and everything. Um, I completely agree. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a tough one. And, and, I, and I think right now we are following the government's advice as to continuing to trade. They, they are recommending it. We are leaving our bouquets at the gate on the street. And we call them, you know, I did a delivery of this family. They came out of their window and they're like, oh, my God, we're really excited. And the, the daughter was shouting over here and the dad over there. And uh, I had 10 meters distance uh, at, at the very least. I still think that's going to be cut down. But the one thing I wanted to uh, interrupt and just join in with you guys there is a quote. Now, anyone who knows me really well knows I love a good quote. And this one in particular, I posted on Facebook yesterday and it just means so much to me. And right now at the time, it's a guy, a guy called Marcus Aurelius, um, if you've heard of him. Uh, and uh, it, it's essentially, I won't read the long part, look it up, Google this guy. The quote is, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. So just think about that for a second. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. And there's a whole long bit of, of that explanation. Um, but it's just right now, I couldn't imagine a better time, okay? So here we are with this crazy situation that's happened to us. Now we can either get exceptionally angry about it and, and, and cry, why me, right? Um, you know, the amount of things that have canceled in my schedule, uh, huge amounts of money that I've lost. Now, I'm not going to make a dime for six months at least, um, and with the exception of government subsidies perhaps, in which I've already registered with our Medicare uh, intent to claim as essentially unemployed. Um, but I see this as a huge opportunity, right? That Definitely. thing that is in my way now is, is actually a thing I'm going to run towards head first with this time. You know, at, at first I thought, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to use this time to get off the treadmill and, and get off the hamster wheel, right? And, uh, spend time with my family and, and just slow down and just stop. Personally, after a few days of that, I can't, <laughs> you know, that's, I'm, I'm sure you guys all agree. You being said you were going camping. I know. Well, legally, I'm not allowed to go camping. <laughs> They've closed all Chris, the parks but I, I still, Chris, yeah. I, I'm, I'm seeing this like um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This, this is an absolute golden ticket for a business. Absolute golden ticket for a business. And I, I'm saying this with all due respect to the people who are going to get affected by the coronavirus. But as a business... When are you able to ever get off uh, that world that's spit it around and sort out your problems as a business? Mm -hmm. This is the time. And there's, there's, there's two key things. You, you've now got the time to sort out 
your, your CRM system, sort out your website, sort out effectiveness, sort out efficiency. Even look at why isn't my business working? Analyzing why isn't my business working? What can I do to make it work? Everybody's off the treadmill. You're not losing it uh, against your competition. You are off the treadmill as is everybody else. And this is the key time to be doing that. But secondly, and you're absolutely spot on, and it's the glass half full, half empty thing, um, is what are you going to do over the next two months, three months, four months? Because it is going to last some time. It's not going to click overnight and, you know, by the end of April, this is going to be over. It's not going to happen like that. And you've got time to sort your business out. But the other way of looking at it is like a pre-season training. If you are not um, improving your, your physical well-being, your mental well-being, improving your business, when it comes to actually snapping, when the time comes for you to push your business forward, have you been doing those eight, 10 hour days that is going to allow you to be there and ready to move, uh, you know, when game day comes? And that's the key thing. People have to look at their businesses now and they have to be positive. They have to think about the future. I've just filled the big balloon build for December. I've got 46 people coming, 20 internationals, 24 from the UK, who have invested during the coronavirus to come. Uh, to Wales in December. I'm planning it. They're already designing the concept and then designing the pieces. The world is moving on and you need to keep pushing your business now. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, brother. I would agree. I think I think right now is the time to look at everything that kept you from succeeding before what what definitely what you know because again like you just said your your, your competition isn't doing anything no, I mean, exactly. they're not, you know everybody literally starts everybody starts at go at the very beginning yeah. when this is over and no one has is, is ahead of anybody else you know no mm. but if you were if um, you were not on day one chris except for, chris, except for chris, not... chris and his chris and his good looks yeah. <laughs> if if, you, if when day one comes, Chris, when day one comes, when this virus is over, and it will come, you know, we talk about unprecedented events. This is unprecedented, but it's not unprecedented to have unprecedented events. We had 9-11. We had the 2008 banking crisis, uh, Hurricane Katarina, the tsunami in Japan. All of those countries... Uh, we're back, up and running, you know, within a couple of months, a couple of years, we got back. But if you haven't, at day one, got your client relationship management sorted, haven't got all the customers that you need to contact in a list, in your emails, already written out, ready to press a button and say, bang, I'm back to the world, you are going to lose out. Because when that day happens, every event planner, every hotel, Every conference planner, every conference center is going to be pushing and wanting events because they need to generate money. So they are going to need people to deliver their balloons, to set up their balloons. It is going to, when it happens, it may well, start slowly, even but it will speed up very quickly. That, well, even Sorry, on that Dave. note, Stuart, everybody's going to start with, with a little less money in their pocket. So those hotels yeah. and convention centers are going to need cost alternative you know alternative cost ideas than them going to prop yeah. companies and event companies and stuff like that and that's where believe yes. pop in but again yes, definitely. Can I jump in? There you we go. have so much opportunity go yeah ahead. just just exactly what you're saying there dave um one little point that i wanted to make and somebody asked a question here um, in, in the chat, I'm trying to sort of keep up here as, at the same time with the chat, uh, that, that Dave and I have had businesses, um, you know, during the GFC, um, you know, and, and many other little hiccups in, in financial markets. Um, you know, Stuart, you said we, we have had this before. Uh, I agree, but it hasn't been like this before. This is exceptionally different. No. Um, and some, somebody else sort of ma mentioned that point, which I know you agree with. Absolutely. So just, you know, I know we're agreeing with, with them too. No, it, this is, there's, um, there's different variations. And and I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm not poo pooing this. I just this want to is unprecedented and comment. unprecedented. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. But but what you're saying is it, things like this have happened before. You well, know, we have found ourselves in difficult times before. And just just to jump in there, um, you know, back to you know our expectations of where we're going to go. You know, like so as I said, I think we're going to have at least three weeks more in Australia. Okay, um, of it being much harder. Boom, everything stops. Okay, um, and then we're going to get back to sort of where we are now with this social distancing. Um, you know, a lot of businesses closed, yeah. restaurants, pubs, clubs, that kind of thing. Um, that's why, to me, my focus right now is gift, one hundred percent gift, because that when we get back to yeah, somewhere, definitely, um, the, the the gifts and the, the small little events uh, are, are going to be key. And um, actually, just I'm going to segue for one second here, guys. It's going to come to a tangent. Um, a good friend of mine who's a, a balloon twister in Australia um, was was not having a good day, and I was chatting, and she's like, you know, I just miss what I do. Um, I miss that interaction with kids. Like it, it is who I am, and it's it's everything I live for. And um, I said, well, why can't you do this via Zoom? Why can't you do this via web? You know, I've got two young kids who I'm homeschooling, or well, my wife is homeschooling. <laughs> I do one day a week, and um, and they they're bored as hell, and and they, <laughs> they you know, kids still have birthdays. Grandparents can't visit. Yeah. They don't want to send them chocolates. They don't want to send. They might not be able to send them anything, but maybe they can send them an entertainer to hang out with their friends. And, and so all, all all these kids logged in on our street who normally hang out every week, they logged in and, and there was an entertainer for one hour and the kids looked forward to it all week and they loved it. And boom, here we have this opportunity for this this person and, and many entertainers out there, hopefully, who are listening to this, who can create a Chris. digital service. And this might transfer that, that completely transform their business to an entertainer in Sydney who's now working all around the world. And, and I don't think, if you set this up well now, I don't think that uh, you'll need to go back to face-to-face uh, entertaining and perhaps you know like once again the obstacle is away sorry Steve. yeah yeah no chris absolutely agree with that oh, but, the, but the other thing we need to we the other thing we need to think about is maybe our customer markets will change in the short term we probably most people target women in their 20s to 50s for gifts maybe we would be targeting um Stuart, I people know we're in, in their 70s <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, we we target in those in the marketing sense, but um, it's the likelihood the restrictions are going to stay in place for people over the age of seventy. So they are not going to be able to see their grandchildren. What will they want to do? Mm. Provide them with a gift, you know. So rather than focusing mm. on uh, that market that we target at the moment, we change our market to older people exactly. who will be looking to give gifts. And this is where mm -hmm. what David said, we have to adapt, we have to overcome, we have to change, and we have to look for the opportunities. But you're absolutely right, spot on, Chris. The last thing to go, which was deliveries, will be the first thing that comes back. Um, you know, the big events were the first thing to go, they will be the last thing to come back. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, if, you, if your well, business, I'm, I personally, I'm on go on. Sorry, Dave. Go on, Dave. You still with us, Dave? I can't hear you. No. Can you hear him, Stuart? No. No. Okay. Well, maybe the boys from Q Corner could tell us if the world can hear David, but until that point, let's just keep talking. Um, okay. So, yeah, back to the question about, okay, we've had these businesses through many different difficult times in this world. Um, and so, you know, my, my point is, oh, here, here comes Dave, but I'll just continue here anyway while he gets that set up, is um, I think balloons are the most recession, or one of the most recession-proof industries around. Um, there's a really interesting statistic. I forget who it was, like Revlon or, or one of those makeup companies in New York during the Great Depression. I saw this documentary on it. And they thrived during the Great Depression in America. Because like people couldn't go out <clears throat> and get themselves a car or a new house or a big overseas holiday, but you can get yourself something nice, a little bit of makeup. Yeah. Um, balloons are just like that. And I find it actually in events, even though recently balloons have um, been equal, if not greater than some of the, the more premium products that uh, traditionally have been found in events like AV, you know, hardcore AV, florals, that kind of thing. Um, balloons are still a, a very affordable option as well, depending on the budget and, and the, the, the tastes of the customer. So not only are they recession proof in the fact that um, it, it's, a, it's a product and a price point that will always have a customer base, um, you know, but, it, but it's scalable. So when we do you know, get out of that little, that little dip, 
you know, we can, as it, we, we got to diversify into the products that we know that sell. But then when those events start happening, my thought is this. Um, and sorry, Dave, I think, is Dave back? I don't know. Um, maybe not. Um, but uh, when we do get, start to get back into events, it'll be weddings, right? Because they're, they're, the, they're the ones that yeah. must have. There's going to be this huge surge of weddings as soon as they can have their totally guests agree. with them. But Dave's getting some beers from his... Uh, yeah, <laughs> He can't hear us. Oh, can, can we hear you, Dave? Can you hear me? Know. He's just going to sit there and drink. Yeah, I can a little bit, bro. No, I can do it. Can enough. you open one of those for me? <laughs> so, um, no, yeah, I, I think that the celebratory nature of the events, the weddings, the small birthdays, and then we, as we get up to corporate Perfectly. events, be it six months, a year, whatever it is, <clears throat> the, the celebratory nature of it is uh, lends itself to our products. Okay. okay. You're not going to be getting some like crazy, weird, interesting light installation as much or really fancy um, boutique flower arrangements. You're going to get people who want to just smile, be happy, be bright, be festive. And it's, it's, it's going to do, it's going to dip like this. It's going to be a different, completely different type of curve that hopefully will have no flattening to it. And, uh, you Chris, know, we need to be ready. Chris, Colotex balloons yes. have said babies absolutely spot on in nine months time yeah. there are going yeah. to be a huge surge in babies um Paul says and that six will to be, nine months time <laughs> yeah there will be gender reveal that will be baby showers that will be uh first birthday that will be christenings um and baptisms mm. but the other great thing is then again focusing on targeting not just the, the great thing about babies is you haven't just got one client. You haven't, like, unlike a wedding where you've got one client, the bride, generally, with babies, there'll be aunts, uncles, uh, grandmothers, grandfathers, um, you know, nieces, nephews, who will all want to buy a gift. So you may not get that one mm. big job, but you will potentially have multiple jobs per, per, per person. So um, mm. I, I would be looking at targeting babies, definitely. Mm. Dave, are you with us now, buddy? I hope so. Okay, cool. Can you I cut me? you off before because yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying before, buddy? Okay, I, I was saying one thing that people can look at, and what we did for the last couple of weeks. Once all the, once everything canceled out when this first started, we had not a lot. We hardly had anything on the books, and we went back as far as we could in our database and started targeting any customer that had done business within the previous years during the same month time frame. And Definitely. I can't tell you how much I felt like kicking myself in the ass after doing that because so many people that hadn't maybe used us in four or five years were like, <clears throat> hey, we haven't heard from you. That sounds great. And now I go, yeah. why didn't we do we, – we always went back two or three years, but we never went that far back where we were going five, six, seven years. Now, fortunately, I have that – database of clients but you know even if somebody's only been in business a few years you still have that database which is golden they used yeah. you before their events didn't you know if it's like a birthday again that's something we do a lot of we do a lot of personal business along with our corporate business but we're primarily a, a, a personal type type company we celebrate everyday moments that's what we do and yeah. so it was amazing how many Definitely. people were just connecting into that and that's something simple that everybody can focus on in their business and they don't have to reinvent the wheel i mean i know it's daunting to build a yeah. website i know see I, I know customer service software is expensive to some people but these are things that can easily be done even the old-fashioned way you just pull up in your invoices from before and you touch base with those clients you know this is a time if somebody once what, what kind ahead. of software are you using what kind of software are you using? Can you share anything there with us? I got nothing for you. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, we're a basic balloon company. There's not a, I struggle to find a good customer service program that fits our needs. And then I've also struggled a lot for um, accounting software to fit our needs because the volume, no program quite fits us right because we're too big. Mm -hmm. We're too big for the little stuff, but we're not big enough to justify that giant leap into the expensive stuff, which definitely is now changing even more because now we have less money coming in. Um, so a lot of stuff is, I mean, every day we use QuickBooks. Um, we use that a lot and the way we structure that setup in our shop works very well, but there's a lot of checks and balances to make sure that we don't hiccup and miss something. But 
you know, people, as soon as the quarantine is over and people feel comfortable, start hitting networking groups, start hitting chambers. If you're small, because I can, I know that's a lot of the industry. A lot of the industry is tiny. You know, they don't have the same luxury of a, of a large database. So look at, look at anything you can do that puts you in front of the most impact. Like we never market one-on-one -on -one marketing. If we send something out, we try to find like people that like, I don't, try to send out individual stuff, I try to hit schools. Because schools have hundreds of students. And if I can get one birthday for Timmy, I got the whole family, you know, and stuff like that. I try to focus on trying to get kids when they're young, like Stuart was talking, get them do a lot of baby stuff. If you do yeah. baby stuff, you've got baby That's announcements, yes. baby reveals. If you get that baby coming home, you know, sip it, yes. sip and sees. I don't know if you have that. Um, I mean, there's a, there's four events right there, and the baby just made it home. Then you have first birthday, and all the way till they're going to college. My my suggestion, David, spot on. My suggestion would be create the 365 strategy. Go for the jobs that happen 365 days a year, which are they call baby that every showers. day. Yeah, every day. Yeah. So it, <laughs> not, not little and that's why you're everyday man, balloons. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 taking on what David said, Chris, um, it's mm -hmm. about focusing on your previous clients. If you have been in the business three, four, five years, you should over the next couple of weeks have written emails, have a, a, a standardized email and have them all in your outbox ready to go when it's ready for it to go you press a button and they'll go ding 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 all of these emails will be going out to your customers um you prepped it you've done it you're ready to go not writing emails in 10 weeks time do them now when you've got the time mm -hmm. so when you when it when it when you need to you just press a button everything's done and and that is simple that can be done on google mail that can be done on outlook you know, it, it doesn't cost anything. It's just your time. Um, but as David says, go right through all your previous customer history and nail them. And you, got, and you have that and you have that for every month. So once you yeah. get through one month, you have the next month. It doesn't. It's yeah. it's there. You know, and if There's you and if you're new in the business, there, sorry, that piece of software out there called Active Campaign. Um, that I'm going to use this time um, for for personal development, right? Um, you know, all everybody in an industry worth talking about spends a huge amount of time. That's why we're here right now, listening and, and watching to the the wonderful Q Corner videos. But um, you know, personal development. So my my little, I've got I've got a list of stuff that I'm looking to achieve in this time, and one of, the, of them is to get proficient at Active Campaign. So look it up. Um, it does want, like a wonderful sort of. Um, yes, no sort of flow um, processes. So for instance, if you generate a new customer and the theme is birthday, then in you know, 51 weeks, um, it can generate a new email with there, there are you know, two blah, 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 you sent this gift to blah, 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 you know, using that data in a way that you can set um, you know, a, a flow chart for. Um, it's a huge amount of things that it does. It is quite expensive, um, but it's, it's something that I, I think would really work for our business. Um, what was it thing called again, is, Chris? Um, active campaign. After, active active co campaign. Cool. Yeah. Um, but look, hey, look, I can't really promote it because I, I've only been told about it. So I want to research and, and uh, play around mm. with that. Some other stuff. Like, why don't we spend a little bit of time? Just just some some little things, some little apps, some books, even you know, to use during this time. Um, I, I did a class many many moons ago and um, um, for Basavik and also for Joette, um, ballooncoach.com. And we, uh, the class is all about digital business systems. So I, I think if, if you're sitting there and, and all these years, you've been too busy to stop and reflect on the systems that you run your business in, uh, now is the best time to, to look to revamp that and uh, chat to your friends and, and see what's happening. So my tip to you and the way that we run our business is we, we what's called power use Google. Um, where uh, all the cloud-based software, so Google Docs, uh, Gmail, Calendar, um, uh, you know, so many different things there for photos and everything. So just as a quick little little um, chat, we have uh, four computers in the shop, like five actually, in our shop. They all log on to the one 
Gmail account. And within that Gmail account, we have different folders or labels, they call it. Um, and uh, our staff just drag uh, emails to their, their label. And at the end of the day, they br bring it back to the different folders, depending on what we're doing. So it's wonderful that I can I can log in and um, uh, from my phone, you know, or from anywhere around the world or in the shop. And all of those emails, I can see them being typed, being sent, being um, it, as a draft, they're sorted. And uh, the great Google search within Gmail. So if, if, if Stuart, you call me, say, look, I ordered balloons from you guys um, four years ago, and I'll just type Stuart, comma, uh, I wouldn't use suburb, it, Chris. Right? <laughs> and um, too expensive. And, um, <laughs> uh, you know, so you can just type in several keywords and use Google search with all of that, um, those emails. There's other little apps that you can add on top of um, Google Chrome uh, or Gmail rather, such as um, one app is called Rebump, where you, you just simply tick a button. So once you send your email, you tick a button and uh, it will then follow this process of following up. So it, your email gets sent, just say it's a quote, and then three days later, you set the rules. So three days later, it'll say, um, just following up, did you get our email? You know, And then five days later, or, or whatever the rules are, hey, we haven't heard from you, we'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, if there's anything we can do, uh, you know, whatever, right? You can set all these different rules depending on what you want to achieve. And until they reply, the, this, this automation will just continue. I think that's like $5 a month or, or something like this. So <clears throat> Google Calendar, we have all our shifts and we share the calendars with staff. It just goes on and on and on, share docs, everything we do. So right now, and, and I know I've been talking a while, sorry, you just got to jump in here, guys. Um, right now, we, we're using Google Spreadsheets to um, control the tasks to, to uh, order ourselves. So my staff, even though some of them are still in the shop, I know that will be that'll stop soon. So we have systems in place already before any of this happened, where um, we can work autonomously, um, but together. So we have a, a spreadsheet of generic things to do and, and what we want to achieve. And then we have individual tasks. We can all access those those folders. We can move tasks around and, and have a conference call um, while sharing that data and information. And uh, there's so many different like flow programs and all kinds of stuff. So use this time to up your tech because technology as we can all see is what's going to pull us through this can i say something really controversial chris no no you can't no. <laughs> do not spend your time over the next month two months playing with balloons well, you need to be focusing you need to be focusing on your business if if mm. having a new design is not going to take your business forward in four months time you need to be if you are structuring your day if you are structuring your week you need to be putting at least 80 percent of your time into your business into developing yourself in a business sense i.e if you're not very good at marketing learn how to market go on google and just type in how do i market if you're not very really mm -hmm. good at sales learn how to sell do sales do role play with your husband. Do role play, you know, role play in sales. But <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to take that any further. Okay, but you you need to be putting your time into the business. It's lucky we're in a pub and no one's listening. Um, yeah, no, we okay. need to be putting the time. <laughs> you need to be putting the time into the business. I'm just looking at the numbers watching now. And the numbers have How dropped. How many we got? I can't, I can't see. About it, 800. Uh, but I... Guys, I wouldn't be worried about that because a lot of people will just concentrate on balloon designs. You need to concentrate on your business. You need to look at your pricing. You need to look at your systems, as Chris said, your technology. How can you get more customers? How can you be more efficient? How can you make more profit? And that's only going to happen if you practice your business sense. You need to be looking at yourself as a personal development over the next. Give yourself, say, 10 weeks to make yourself physically and mentally strong for when this happens. When that kicks off and you are ready to go and you are going to crack it, you're going to nail it. You know, you need to focus on your business as a business and not balloons. That is a key thing. You know, David, David completely agrees as well. I've never seen him so focused in my entire life. He's just sitting there um, just uh, absorbing all this information, Stuart. And I think while we have David's attention, we should just keep talking. 
<laughs> he's, he's even thinking about that. Is very he just drinking right beer? Now. Yeah, but, but I know, I know. I've trained. I've 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 trained people, and their focus is on balloons. And I think being better at balloons mm. is going to make their business better. It it is important. Mm. It is absolutely important to be able to show fresh things, but fundamentally. You have to have the business edge. You have to have your marketing in place. You have to have your strategy for what customer group you, you're targeting. You need to have your pricing on point um, so you know that your profit margins mm. are right. And this is the time to review your business and say, what's not happening? And like you were saying, Chris, you know, is it difficult for me to answer inquiries? Do they, they come from all places? Well, now's the time to solve it. Now is the time to pull mm. that effort into making it so when you do get the contact, you're ready for it. Yeah. That's my, I'm not quite so boxed what, No, absolutely. Like, w wonderful points. Um, I'd be interested in some specifics, like some, we're talking about, you know, you want to learn marketing, you want to learn business, any books. I think Audible, I could be wrong, but Audible, I think, have some free audio books going right now. Um, one little thing, you're talking about the, the quotes. Uh, back to Gmail and the systems that we use, there's a, a, a bit of like an add-on to that called, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Canned response, canned response. So it's a little add-on to it in which we pre-write templates and we've been doing this for six, seven years. So if somebody orders a um, uh, an in-store pickup or a delivery uh, or a gift or a helium tank collection or balloon printing or unpaid orders or, or whatever it may be, we've got about 10 of these canned responses, which are just drafts. So we click reply yeah. in email, we click the canned response, yes, we definitely. select the draft, boom, it's auto-populated. And, and it'll have stuff like, um, you know, dear blah, 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 thank you for your, your order. Dave, welcome back, buddy. We haven't said anything bad about you at all. Um, and, well, that's uh, okay. I just wanted to hear all the Chris stuff. I need the Chris story so I know what to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so can response. So it'll say, you know, just say uh, in-store pickup. You know, thank you for your order for collection on. We just entered a date. Um, you know, we're open, blah, 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 blah. It might even say if your order is unpaid, here's the link and, and do this. So we'll, we might delete that section if it's not applicable. But within about three seconds, I've, I've selected a template and uh, woo, David, where are you going? I've selected a template where um, it, it, it's you so know, I slightly, I slightly click, feel click, bad click. that the guy that's having the most technical problems is the guy that actually is drinking. So I, I want to, you know, <laughs> that's probably never. <laughs> um, so we're, we're just talking, Dave, uh, about um, you know using this time, you know, those, those um, marketing gold, you know, systems, you know, whatever it may be. Any, any little, you know, devices, apps, software, books, anything you, you can recommend apart from being David Mahoney right now? You know, I think a lot of one thing, and, and, and if, if somebody has a downtime right now, and I know the biggest thing I think a lot of people struggle, and, and I'm not fancy. I mean, we've never been fancy. So I apologize for all those that think there's some, you know, wizard behind the curtain kind of thing. But um, one thing I would suggest, if you're terrible at sales, if you're uncomfortable with selling, this would be the downtime to to get those DVDs, to get that download those um, programs and stuff like that, to work on being a better salesperson, to at least get comfortable because that's how it's going to go. After this, this is all finished, I seriously, seriously believe it's going to turn into a more of a personal side of the business. You're going to have to learn the sales techniques of how to communicate yeah. with people, how to yeah. talk, yeah. when to shut up, you know, how to, how to, you know, a lot of times people think selling is complicated, but selling really is just a matter of listening and repeating. Customers will, yeah. sit, will tell you exactly what they want you to do for them if you just give them the opportunity and know how to guide them to where they can get you where you want to go. And I think if you're uncomfortable with that, then this is the time to, to look into online and, and, and YouTube um, stuff in the way of how to, how to sell, how to talk to people, mm. and how to get comfortable because that's how you're going to get that personal business. So get, I don't know if that really get answered it. your friends. David, get, get, if, if, if you want to, I, I talked about role play earlier, which was probably not the best thing to talk about. But I See, I, I, say, I missed that. <laughs> so, Stuart and Chris uh, role playing I'm, together? Wait a second. <laughs> See, this is where you go off to a 
But <laughs> you could be on the phone. You could phone your friends. You could phone your family and just say, look, I want to run through. You're a potential customer. This, this is the job. Send me an email and I'll phone you. You can practice it. I, I used to have huge problems with um, presenting. I, I, I was, I used, my throat used to tighten. I couldn't speak. And, and I spent, I think, about two months talking to a mirror, learning how to talk and not get frightened of talking in front of people. These are things you can train. That whatever your weakness is now, then that's what you should focus on. Personally, yeah. the next mm, 10 absolutely. weeks, I'm going to be learning to poi dance. But that's got nothing to do with my business. So <laughs> I, I had to Google that. I had to Google it when you told me that. I'm like, did, did, it's did, cool. Did you misspell pole? P O W L E. No, poi. It's, P, it's P O I. I They've got big fireballs. You're swinging balls of fire. Hey, Dom and Keith, can you make sure that we get a video of Stuart doing this before the convention's over? <laughs> hey, I asked a question in the, in the chat. Put your hand up if you do not have a, your own website. And I reckon there'll be a couple of you. We've got a, we got a, a few people already answering that if you read it. But <clears throat> I just want a quick little hand up. Who does not have a website? The reason I'm asking that is, um, what, really? Get out of it. Really? Yeah. See, Stuart? Yeah. Seriously, no he way. teaches he teaches that and he teaches that in his class. <laughs> <laughs> just just do as I say, not as I do. I, I like it. I like no, it. no, 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 no. I don't teach you to have a website. I teach you to focus on what's important for your business uh, and not uh -huh. if if well, you want if you want. Do you person, think we should have a website? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But mm -hmm. if you're one person and you're being asked to do Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, website. How much you, is you got a choice of doing six things badly or one thing really well? I do the one thing mm. really well, um, and, and what that's what I focus you my business you on. You can't, you can't, you can't do, you can't do the six that good. No, if you're on, if you work, you, you Mate, Dave, well, you've got about dancing. eighty-two people work with you. <laughs> Dave's Dave's got eighty-two people with with, with him. Um, if you're working on your own, that that's the focus. If you're a single person working yeah. on your own then that you need to, rather than splitting yourself across a million things, is focus on mm -hmm. what, what your client group is, where they're going to be, and get that message to them. Um, I am, one of the things I'm going to be doing in the next two months is getting my website sorted um, yeah, because I, I've got the time. You can even go to some of those, um, like those, those service streaming websites, um, Elance it's called, or uh, I don't know, you can look it up. And there'll be so many people around the world right now who can give you a deal and you don't even need to code it yourself. You don't have to go to and be an expert yeah. on WordPress. It'll cost you a couple of hundred bucks, even some of the template stuff. Get a domain name for all of those out there listening, including you, Stuart. Um, get, <laughs> have, you've probably got a domain Always. name already. Um, and, but the, the importance of your own website is just huge. Like, for instance, Instagram Definitely. was this new big thing and, and it, it was the world. And uh, if you look at your, your statistics on that and the interaction and the lead generation, it is just dived as everybody else has flooded the, the platform. They're looking for ads. Facebook as well. You put an ad on Facebook and back in the day you'd have 10% you'd have interaction or whatever and now you've got zero point bugger all unless you spend money. Whereas your website, you own that. And if you're out there with your business card and your, and, and your, your Google ads or, or whatever it is that you're doing, and, uh, word of mouth, you're d directing people to a platform you don't own, you can't control, They're gonna, they could take it down at any time, they could change your rankings. Whereas you own your website, you, you own the content um, and uh, of course, the longer you have it there with good SEO, um, yeah. that is the biggest well, even value the, as far as. Can I, can I interrupt? Mm -hmm. can I long, you're right. Dave, you're, yeah, cool. Dave, yeah. Dave, Cassandra's yeah. saying yeah. you're freaking it out. Can you blink, please? Why? <laughs> she oh, said no, that, was, that was when it froze, wasn't it? <laughs> or is it about now? <laughs> yeah. All right, go, Dave. Oh, I was going to say, I mean, it's true. The longer you have your website, the better your SEO is going to naturally be. So owning the .com and getting a website, even if it's just a landing site that directs it towards something else, it's going to be the best thing you can do as a business unless you don't plan on being in business. You know, the funniest thing we do as an industry is we don't treat our companies like businesses. You know, I mean, Coca-Cola would not have a, a website, you know. 
And so why do we stand here and want to say, you know, stand on our little soapbox suits and preach to people that we're professionals, but we don't do what professionals do, you know? So mm. that's my little soapbox. Um, I think everybody yeah, should have, yeah, I think well, everybody well, should well, have a website. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 on, and yeah. on that note, if I, I apologize, on that note, if you're looking to try to increase business, the one thing that you can do on a website that you can't do anywhere else is, is sell 24 seven. So you can sell online all day long. And if you put a shopping cart on it, you know, you're going to be able to sell. And, and, and right now I've, I'll be honest, shopping carts suck, but it's still, if it's configured right, can be some, something more than nothing. And as, as sales become smaller and we have to do more volume to survive, you know, for each individual company, having that ability to have the shopping cart sell for you 24 seven, is going to be huge. Mm. Can I add a little tip there with websites um, is I I even if you are strong on social media platforms, you can uh, have direct feeds of that content into your website. Okay. So for instance, we put a lot of our photos on Pinterest just for our own internal storage perspective. We pull it up when we're doing quotes. It's easy to pull up on your phone. Um, and we have a, a, on our WordPress site, different categories of product. Some of those categories that aren't full by themselves, we just have a direct feed of that Pinterest board, right? On our homepage is a direct feed of our Instagram page. So every time a customer goes on, we're populating data elsewhere. We're spending time, but it is also transforming the, the page and the essence of our website. There's a lot of work and you can research into this of like cross pollinating or that cyclical nature of content um, that you don't have to be put, putting it up on this, this and this 20 different times. You can do it once. And if you have the system in place, that'll be shared throughout all with, a, you know, literally the click of a button. I, I remember I was in a loading dock uh, waiting for a lift and I posted a photo of the job I just installed. I got back to the shop an hour later and we had sold it already. I, I couldn't believe it. And that's the great thing about some of these social media platforms. It's really quick to upload. And if that feeds to your website, then you've just um, halved your workload. He drank too much yeah. beer. Well, what then, are we talking about? Yeah. The, and also a website, you know, unlike social media, you can't categorize it like you're talking about. On a website, you can categorize it so when people hit it and look at it, they can look for, if they're looking for an arch, they can do a specific area that's arches. If they're looking for a gift, they can go to a gift section. Whereas on your social media, it becomes more complicated for them to just easily identify where they want to go. I know you can categorize some things, but not as easy as you can a website. And then again, the more your website grows, sure. Do you guys do blogs? What'd you say, Chris? I'm no, we, we like Chris do that. Website. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Stuart. I'm trying to Did, give you a bone here, brother. <laughs> quick, can, I, can, I, uh, can, I, can I just jump in? I, I totally agree with websites, yeah. and it, it is something we're going to do. But one of the first things I said uh, when I got involved with the family business was you're not going to be successful stuck behind your counter. And for me, mm. Facebook, uh, Instagram, the website is like a counter. It 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 can distance you from a customer. Mm -hmm. And there are and that's not saying there aren't successful businesses, because obviously that no. little business called Amazon and others. But yeah. if you're going to go out and get jobs that never existed, you gotta go and see people. You've got to go and talk to people. You've got to yeah. go and meet people. And and that and that is Can I you interrupt know, you for two seconds and we're gonna come back to on. you. I've I've seen Stuart's class. And I've, I've sat down, we've spoken a lot about this, and I think I gave you a hard time about the website thing. But you, my friend, the, the way that you network and research and, and hone in on, on certain clients, there is a, a lot of ways to do this. You're a genius at that, and I, and I should give you credit that it's not always about this, that, or the other. We're trying to generalize things here. But um, if, if you have the opportunity to see the, the, the Stuart's class and, and, and what he's about to talk about next in a little nutshell, I highly recommend it. Go on, buddy. Yeah, I'm never doing it again now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to build a website. <laughs> no, go on, please. I'm going to build I a website. To cut you off no, no, but that was. Yeah. No, it, 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 it's not. And, this, and don't anybody ever say, Stuart, I am going to website because Stuart said so. What I say to people is focus on getting things good, get that you're actually getting people coming through. There's no point in having 
a website that hasn't got proper SEO, they are not putting the time into a blog, into changing the pictures regularly, so you're feeding it. If you haven't got the time to do that, then put the time into something else that you are going to be good at. When you've got the time, when you've got the money and you've got more staff, or you can pay for somebody to do that, then pay for somebody to do that. Um, but my argument has always been if, if you're a singular individual, a singular entity, is better to do something well than to do 16 things badly. Um, you know, it, it, that, yeah. that, that, that has been my focus always. Can I, can I cut in here? TikTok? Well, it, I think it's Go been asked very well. So should we start that song, guys, that we all have been working on? Everyone ready? <laughs> I hate that song. <laughs> well, you want to you want to spoil another Qualitex? Chris, keep your mouth closed. I think I think the thing. I think I think the thing is, and we can we can beat the horse, you know, all day long on this conversation. But the truth of it is, you got to, and then that's it goes back to the original conversation we had. You have to figure out where your company is and what you need to focus on. And I think yeah. regardless, even if it's, even if your company, you're new in the industry, you know, and you, and, and, and you hear things in this conversation, like, you know, customer service software or apps or website, stuff like that, but you, you don't even know how to build a balloon column. You need to focus on the beginnings and walk through the whole journey. You can't just build a website and expect everybody to come if you don't know how to make a column, you know, so focus yeah. on the parts you need to fix. And then, but figure out that, figure out that path of how you're going to get from A to B. Don't just start doing one thing and then go, Chris, Dave, and Stuart said, if I had a website, I'd be okay. We're not saying yeah. that really. We're just saying, focus on the things that need to be fixed. This is the time to do it. That's, you know, yeah. now on that Can note about TikTok. Say, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. We'll go come ahead. back to you quickly. Just on the website thing. Um, everyone's saying, if you can't do it well, don't do it at all. I, I, I disagree do a little bit of it well. And all I'm saying is get a domain name, right? Get one page up there. It yeah. could be your business card. Just just, just a, your, the logo, oh, phone number, email, right? Boom, that's it. At least you, you're yeah. on. You can get some SEO. You can refer people. You can have a link to your Instagram, three links, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. It, it is the one portal that everything can come to. And before we come back to TikTok, well, it, YouTube. Get on YouTube as well. So go on, Dave Sermon. Well, I was, was going to say, it's like owning a business and not having a business card business card who would do that i mean i don't you i don't hand out a lot of business cards but you gotta have, still have it you know mm. you're still gonna meet the right person that that you have to hand it to you're not gonna Stuart will test this like if he would have showed up to disney without a business card do you think they would think he was the you know yeah. cat's meow yeah no and and i do have I like a cat's web meow. i have a web i have a web address and it is forwarded onto something else i just don't mm. have that structure of a website so you you were spot yeah. on with there chris if you've got a business you need to have in the same way you should if you've got a, a website you know we've got all our email addresses stuart at beyondballoons.co.uk uh kai yeah, at yeah, beyondballoons. Yeah. you know you shouldn't be using hotmail address you shouldn't be using gmail that that kind of stuff doesn't cost much you know you, you, you're talking a couple mm -hmm. of quid a year sort of thing and um, to get that professional looking email address now for me that is important that is that is that's saying you are professional that i do have a, a website and that kind of content hey dave what's the like you, uh, you informative would... menu attached to introduction letter what's this all about um peter right oh it's, 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 it's so we we, we we and we we created so we've been trying to hone in on our marketing better and we and we created an introduction letter that we sent out with one of our mag marketing packets i got so much you know our crew is always out so when they're out we're always having them stop by since they're already out they'll stop by hotels um country clubs you know convention centers and drop off with the with the people that need to have that and it just introduced the company and what we're about and who we are um, it's, and I shared that on Qualitex, uh, you know, basically showing the whole thing there's a letter and some pens and it was fairly inexpensive. We have a, we have a bigger pack that we send to more important people or people that we regularly, you know, stay in communication with. And then we have a tinier one that's, um, which we've shared on Qualitex.com. There's tons of stuff and I did and I, and I typically, and not to bash any of the other groups, 
I can only, like Stuart's saying, I can only focus on one. So I typically focus on Qualitex unless somebody asks me to post someplace else um, because I just don't have time to answer questions to 15 groups. Um, but so it's just, it was just an introduction letter that we posted to introduce our company to people and stuff like that. And I thought it was done in a way that wasn't um, overly pushy because that's not us as a company. I think when you, as a company, I'm not a pushy balloon company. I think that doesn't go with balloons. You know, I think also, you know, being happy goes with balloons. If you got, if you got employees that aren't happy, that kind of defeats the purpose of balloons. So, but that's what it is. And I can yeah, probably, cool. they can just okay. search Qualitex, search Qualitex on that. And, and I'll try okay. to post it again in the next day or two. Cool. Could I just, now, could I, someone, someone, be, a, a okay, Chris, hmm. someone, someone hmm. mentioned a comment that uh, you can't look professional without a website. Um, I, no. I disagree massively no, I um, apart, yeah. apart, from, apart from the fact I've done about 30 jobs for Disney in the last two years they aren't my biggest <laughs> client I've got yeah. a client that actually pays more for one job than I've done for the whole of Disney um, so yeah. you can but, I, but, but Stuart you're not but you but you but Stuart you're not saying you have to have a website everything else you have is top-notch correct I mean yes exactly you know, yes and, and I yeah, do, yeah, I do guys, have a web page. This is general I have a web page yeah. that goes into the Facebook. So what I'm saying is I don't have a web page, but I've got a website that goes on to like Facebook, Instagram, etc. Yeah. So you, yeah, you, you need to have that link. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, guys. And again, and again TikTok. And it, um, I know a little bit about TikTok, um, but not enough to really advise. My understanding is it's, it's targeted at, at kids. Um, and uh, you know certain certain platforms like You'll if right I were Chris. a um, like a <laughs> if I, if I was selling you know online you know music tuition or, or you know certain products like that I can do little demos and things I I personally don't see it um, applicable for our industry could be wrong Paul from Canada but maybe <laughs> he's having a go uh, it's interesting I did mention before YouTube I think that's a very undercapitalized resource not about like providing balloon tutorials for the industry we're talking about like honing in on retail, on, on, on direct sales. Um, I think videos, if everyone says, you know, picture says a thousand words, then a video says 10,000 words. That video walkthroughs yeah. of, a, of an, a, an event or even a, 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 the video of a delivery itself, you know, with permission to, so you can see the emotion and the joy and the whole experience, the, a video totally of, agree. of the, the balloon coming out of the box or, or whatever, right? Um, totally YouTube agree. is a wonderful resource, many other forms where you can put videos up and then cross link to that. So you, from the product page, you can have a link to that video or or your homepage, one of your best jobs, a walkthrough of it all. Uh, that's something that needs to be explored. I, th I, th I think TikTok is, um, is kind of like bo the boomerang thing. It's, it's funny, it's gimmicky. It's not going to get you clients. Um, if you're going to put a time and resources into something like that, you're better off putting your time actually going out to your door and knocking on uh, a, a potential corporate customer's door and talking to the manager. That's a more effective use of your time than creating TikTok videos. Per That's my personal opinion. My, my opinion is you got to look for the money. It. He's got a couple of videos. <laughs> Dave, well, my thing is look for, the... for everybody. Yeah, I think I think the thing is is you got to look at where the money is. Again, if you're going to put effort and time into something, it's got to be something that yields results. You know, and so yeah. Chris, Chris has Chris, Chris, Chris has a great personality, has a good look for it, I think. And he's got a good connect with that with that that market or that that platform. I don't think everybody's going to click with that. And then, but that doesn't mean everybody needs to. But I think when it comes to TikTok, the money's just not there. So I think if I mean, it's if, if you've got to feed the creative soul then play around on TikTok, but don't expect to get a lot of business yeah. from it because I don't think it's going to be there because the money's not there. It's the ROI. You know? It's your return on investment. How much? How much are you going to get back for the amount of time and effort you're going to put into something? And I think David. Well, if you want to make it easy to say it that way, I mean, yeah, sure, just make it easy. Return on investment. I didn't have to talk at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but the other thing is, Dave. <laughs> the, the other thing is, you, you're absolutely spot on. Is sometimes people in the balloon industry do things because it feeds the creative soul it doesn't necessarily going to help your business. Um, you no. know, making a, a fantastic new design in the shop. 
unless you're a twister, yeah, that bit, I, I don't, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. don't disagree with that. Chris. Yeah, we're, we're but, all but from a decorator, from like the decorator retail. If you're talking a decorator retailer point of view, there's a lot of time and effort that can be put into videos. And mm. the thing is, give it a go. If you want to give it a go, give it a go. But please do look at the amount of time and money you put into it, and how much you actually had coming back off it. Don't do things and then don't analyze the results and the impact it has afterwards. I think that that's the key thing I would say. Yeah. So Try Anna it. here is asking um, a question. She's very new to the industry. What are some of the tips that we can give her uh, to do now? Like, boom, brand new. Um, Look, yeah, I think I think we've offered quite a lot already. What, one little thing I want to add is um, I, I still think email marketing works if it's targeted, right? Um, and if it's if it's the right content and that you can read up and a lot of that. Uh, we've used Mailchimp for a while. It's getting expensive now. We've got a, a database of over forty thousand people in it, and I, I got to cut that or just change. That's another reason why I'm, I'm moving to. Um, um, that some different platforms that I'm using this time to explore. But with email marketing, you can you can schedule those emails now. Like one little thing we do, we're talking about blogs. We, we write blog posts in our business and um, it'll be about a specific thing. It might be about weddings. It might be about birthdays. It might be actually the, the third best ranking page on our website and it has been for a very long time is a blog post we wrote about three foot balloons. And just talking about the value of three foot balloons and, and all the ways that can be used, it, it's just super basic. One of my team wrote it and it gets hundreds and hundreds of views every single week. Like content is king. And uh, <clears throat> when we create our blog, we create a, uh, a mail out and it just uses the same content of the blog in the email. Um, so Valentine's, Christmas, whatever, we'll update the Christmas blog every year. So what you can do, it, perhaps, perhaps not cool, we've got five minutes left, perhaps not if you're new or, or otherwise, but any business of any size, I, I think you should be looking at ways that you can upload content, um, social platforms or otherwise, and you can stage that content. Don't dump it all out now when customers perhaps aren't looking. Stage it out starting maybe now, maybe two, three months, um, but have it phased out for the next couple of months. Have it ready to go before Christmas, right? Have it ready to go before next Valentine's. Next, you, know, you can always edit it. But you can create that content now and you can schedule it. And if you forget, it's going to descend. Now, it could be Instagram. It could be Facebook. It could be emails. All of that stuff is a wonderful opportunity to, to, to plan, learn how to use Canva or other graphical editing software, get it looking neat, get it looking clean. Um, it doesn't matter the size, Anna, of your business. Um, we all should be looking at that stuff. Anything else, guys, in the next couple of minutes? Yeah. Could I say one thing? Um, Stephen yeah. Jones, the, the great Stephen Jones, he of the uh, float convention, he said something uh, to me uh, 12 months ago, which is there are multiple ways to run a business. There are multiple ways of doing things. And you look at Dave Mahoney, Chris Adamo, um, you could say Chris and Marlene Potts. You could say Stephen Johnson sells. All of the businesses are run in different ways. They've got a different focus of deliveries um, or decorating, etc. One of the key thing all of them has is the ability to run a business and understand how to run a business. And the business information is key. Um, how you do balloons after that is it depends on what niche you want to go into, what market you want to go into. So. What you, what I do wouldn't necessarily work for somebody else. Uh, what Dave does wouldn't necessarily work for somebody else. But the techniques and the um, the systems that we use would probably work across the board. And that's why Chris will always come and have a chat with me. I will always go and talk to Chris. I will talk to Dave Mahoney. I will talk to Stephen Jones. I will talk to the people who are successful. And I'm not talking about balloons. I'm talking about their business. What are they doing? What are they focusing on to make their business work? Mm. Mm. Dave, Jerry's final thoughts. I think I, 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 I think the thing is, is that we get paralysis of, of being scared. So if you don't know where you need to go, go as far as you can. And then when you get there, you'll be able to see further. That's one of the best quotes I've ever been told. And that, that, that typically works well for me in any time I'm stuck. If you don't know, at least mm. move. If you stop, if you if you sit still, you'll be exactly where you are now in another day, another week, another year. So go as far as you can. Mm. Ask questions. Everybody, everybody, human nature, people want you to succeed. 
you know so the more people you engage with the more people you talk to the more opportunities you'll find to find answers i mean i don't know everything but i got a great pool of people i can talk to and they give me great insight as far as you know again i may have to talk to 10 people to finally find an answer that i don't know yeah you know yeah yeah i love what you said as well man follow the money right um our, our yeah. business transformed we were selling like plates and and fancy dress and pinatas and you know we we just sell balloons now just balloons nothing else in our shop and, and it just took time to realize that's where the money's at um so right yeah. now in, in this new climate uh like we said at the start of the video if you if you weren't watching my hot tip is is gifts if you haven't been diverse enough to, to be doing balloon gift deliveries um are you it's time yeah. to diversify try it out see if you can um obviously the, the timing will be difficult depending on the on the restrictions and how this pandemic looks um but we will get better we will start to rise and that that curve that trajectory is is going to increment at, at a at a rate that's fantastic for our industry it's, it's such a wonderful bright happy product um sparky's balloons is saying smile a little bit more guys come on we're just trying to be like serious business people here uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know and you know again yeah. again yeah well renata said something key which is don't do all your competition is doing don't copy, be yourself. And I think that's a key thing. Yeah. Look at the strengths that you have as an individual and your business has and focus on those strengths. Take your business forward with your strengths. You know, if you're copying a, your competition, you don't even know if they're doing well. Um, you know, how do you know they're doing well? How do you know they're not like two minutes from being bankrupt? Focus mm. on your strengths and take your strengths forward but make sure you've got that business structure behind it. Mm, awesome, guys. And so good chatting with you all. Cool. I can't my, wait to uh, actually I, sit down. I always enjoy with, talking with, to you guys. With yeah. With that beer open. <laughs> and maybe not a thousand people listening in. <laughs> but how how wonderful that though. we could just share that. Oh, get, it, get, get it open. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a live TikTok after I've had a, a couple of these a little later on, okay? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, My American guys. family are going to kill me drinking Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> hello, guys. Hey, boys. How are we doing? Hi, Dom. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hello. Have, you, have you guys back. slept at all? W sleep's overrated, Chris. Come on. <laughs> We've been too busy in the background working on our website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can give Stuart oh, some yeah. tips afterwards. <laughs> all good? I hope you can improve it. <laughs> All good, guys. Thank you very much for your time. We need to move swiftly Thank you, guys. on um, because we've got somebody waiting in the wings. We really appreciate your time yes, so and your thoughts. Thanks for having us. Mm. It was Thanks, our Qualitex. pleasure. Shame you didn't crack that guitar out, though, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, we could have had a bit day. of Stairway to Heaven or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another time. See you, right. boys. Thanks so Take much. Take care. Thank you, All gentlemen. Right. Thank you. Safe. Right, let's see if I can make sure we have the right. Okay, yes, uh, guys, uh, sleep's a poor substitute for caffeine. Never a truer word spoken, Ken. Thank you very much for that advice. Uh, yeah, um, so what did you think of that, guys? Uh, we'd like to hear your feedback in the chat. I know I can see a lot of golden nuggets flying up the screen, um, which is always a good sign. I'm sure everybody can take things. And like this said, every business is different, right? What works for one business doesn't necessarily um, work for all businesses. You've got to take... Uh, Bruce Lee said, take what works and move on. Um, and that's one of my favorite quotes. We like to try and take bits of information that work in our business and move on. We, we take those golden nuggets, right? We okay. Like golden nuggets. Uh, I'm just... Thank you very much. The guys are still in the chat, so please show your appreciation to three gentlemen that gave up their time with their families to spend with you guys and sharing uh, their knowledge of business. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to move on, and our next instructor is a twister. We have the wonderful Dennis Scott. Now, um, Dennis is going to be working on, I have it here, um, 
Airfield Easter delivery decor. Sorry, okay. I'm distracted with what I can see in the wings. I, I know, I know, I can see that too. Um, so uh, it says here, with the current climate of balloon decor shifting from large scale gatherings to much smaller family celebrations, sounds similar to what we said there. Um, I will show you some more unique sellable airfield designs that will be able to be marketed, sold, and delivered locally. The design store will incorporate a mixture of balloon decor and twisted elements. Okay, so are you ready? We need to bring them into here. Who do we have? Oh, we have two special guests. Look. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> Oh, hello, Dennis. We're not interrupting anything, are we? Looks like we disturbed you there, you and your cat. <laughs> I, I had no idea you guys were coming by. I was just uh, sitting around with a candle lit and a, a glass of wine and uh, enjoying uh, the awesome uh, session by, uh, you know, Chris and Stuart and uh, David. Yeah. Well, now, now you, it's now, is it four guys, five guys, six guys in a bar, it looks like right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, welcome to the show. Uh, I, I've got no idea what this is all about, so I think the best idea is to, um, can we hand all of these guys that we have, um, can we hand them over to you, Dennis? Is that okay? Most definitely. Yes. Thank you so much. How are you guys doing? Uh, we, we are doing very well. Um, we're on day 97 of this marathon, <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, things are going really well. Okay. Shh. Why would you say that? Okay. Things are going quite well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hand you over to the wonderful Dennis Scott, uh, one of the best twisters in the universe, and uh, we'll see you back shortly. Okay, so have fun with Dennis. Thanks, guys. That's pretty high praise. Thank you very much. I've got my wonderful candle lit. Uh, I think uh, watching that last uh, hour and a half segment was, I think a candle is very appropriate for the awesomeness that's those three guys, that and all the uh, the beer. I decided to pour a glass of wine and enjoy the uh, the segment. So uh, I'm sure you guys all are as well. Uh, but I wanted to say uh, thank you guys and thank you Qualitex for uh, inviting me to uh, to join uh, in this amazing convention. Um, it's quite an honor to uh, be involved with with this event, considering um, you know the current situation of, of where we're at in uh, in today. And so um, yeah, I thought I would uh, be involved and. Um, We've got some fun things they want to teach. So one thing that uh, I'm focusing on uh, as we are coming up on our next major holiday is Easter. Uh, so I thought I would uh, show you some of the stuff that, uh, that I've created or that I can create some fun designs. Um, we are um, one of the things that have um, really uh, differentiated me as a twister uh, as I progress is that I've moved more over into the decor and sorry, pardon the, uh, pardon the cats. They're going to be, uh, they're going to be all over the place at this point. It looks like, uh, but but um, I grew up as a twister. Many of you who don't know me, I've been a twister since I was uh, 13 years old. That's when I first uh, twisted my very first balloon dog. Uh, but then from there, um, I became professional when I was about 21. Uh, so that's been at least like uh, maybe 10 to 15 years from there, or maybe uh, 21, uh, 22 years, something like that. Uh, so it's been, um, it's been an interesting ride. Uh, but the wonderful thing about it is that um, the one thing that I tell at the conventions that I teach at for other twisters is that, um, you know, it, you can work very hard at twisting and keep, you know, make money twisting, uh, but there, um, there's a lot more money in decor. Uh, so um, that's what I like to teach at many of the conventions that I teach at. Uh, so what I'm going to teach today, there's going to be some decorator elements involved, but then there's also going to be uh, some twisted elements. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of something for everybody. So. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and show you what, what I'll be teaching. You guys see this okay? Okay, so this is a uh, obviously an Easter basket uh, using uh, quick links and um, uh, as well as uh, modeling balloons, uh, 260s, 350s, uh, etc. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll start on, uh, we're going to start with the basket first and then we'll move on over to the Easter bunny. Uh, this is uh, a bit bigger of a bunny that I've used for this basket, but I can also show you um, a, an easier bunny or a little bit smaller bunny uh, because when I sell something like this uh, for parties, uh, I'll sell like one main piece that'll be more of a centerpiece or this could work its way into a column or whatever. Uh, 
But then from there, um, I also like to add on to my parties um, twisted center pieces. So there'll be smaller pieces that will be on either water or sand based uh, weighted uh, sculptures um, that we put on the different tables around the party as well. So, so to start for today, we're going to start in the basket for this specific sculpture. Okay. So the very first part we're going to do is we're going to use some quick links. So I've got um, six inch uh, quick links. Uh, we're going to use purple for this. And the very first row that we're going to do is I'm going to do two pumps with the quick links. So one, two. So I'm going to do that eight times for the bottom row. So one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then we do one more. So this will be the very bottom row of the basket. So once we have our quick links inflated, and I'm using a pump, I can also use, I have a precision air. Precision, if you're a decorator, you probably have a precision air or some sort of professional inflation device. Uh, I'm just using a hand pump right now, just so I can give you the exact number of pumps that we'd use with a hand pump, because this is something that twisters and decorators can do. So we're gonna create duplets with these. So I'm gonna tie these all together. these. We're basically going to do this for three rows. So so we get three rings that are going to be scaling up in size. Okay, so we've got our very first row. So this is going to be the bottom row, the bottom row of the basket. So so this here. So for the second row, I'm going to do three pumps. So we did two pumps for the first row. We're going to do three pumps times eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, once again, we're going to tie these together just like the other ones, and we're going to create another ring of eight. like this. Okay, so we've got ring one and ring two, and then we'll do one more ring of eight. In this row, we're going to do five pumps on our hand pump. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do that for eight more. OK, 
Mexico got six. Seven. And eight. Okay. We'll tie these together as well to create our, our third and final ring for the basket. And then once we're done with these rings, we're going to start inflating for the pieces or the balloons that are going to connect the rings together in between. And for this uh, basket, we're going to use a rose. Uh, we're going to use two six inch quick links as well as two five inch rounds for the rows that will connect the rings together. Just like this. So we've got our third and final ring. like this okay so we have our three rings so what we're going to do for the balloons that are going to connect the basket is we'll start off with our we need 16 five inch rounds so one two three four here we go and what we're going to do for these balloons is we're just going to do one pump for all 16 because we don't we don't want this balloon to be this balloon will be very big, so one pump for all 16. And these would not be dupleted because we're going to connect each of these with quick link balloons that will be underinflated as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And 16. Need one more. There we go. All right. So we've got our, our rounds done. So now we'll move on to the, the linking balloons. So for the linking balloons, we're going to do a smaller, one smaller uh, quick link uh, that has um, roughly, we'll do one pump in the first one. And then for the second one, we'll do two pumps, just like that. So now we've got one pump, two pumps. So we'll tie these together. And then at the end of each of these, we'll tie in a five inch round, just like this. And so once we have these four balloons, we're going to begin connecting them throughout uh, the basket. So we'll go ahead and we'll keep building. So with the quick links, I need to do this eight times. So I'm going to do the first one with one pump. The second with two pumps. Tie them together. And then we'll add the five inch balloons as well. On the ends. And I'll show you how we'll connect them. So I'll take the bottom five inch balloon and you've got the one pump, the two pumps, and then the other five inch. And we'll connect it in the bottom of the ring, just like that. And we're going to go around and connect eight of these as well. So we'll keep building those out. Two pumps. 
and then one pump, just like that. Okay, we got three. We'll do one pump and two pumps. Put that next together. this basket is that it actually takes quite a few balloons when you total it up but they're all pretty small balloons and it actually comes together pretty quick especially if you're not using a hand pump and like I said the real reason why I'm using a hand pump at this point is because many of the twisters out there you might have leaking balloons that you use for you know your uh, twisted elements or twisted pieces that you do um, but you might not have a precision air where you might not have a, a you know a, a twin sizer or some sort of professional inflation device. So this is actually really easy to make, even with a hand pump, which which isn't the fastest tool you can use, but it certainly works. Okay, so we've got five of them done. We just need to do three more. One pump. Not a leaking balloon, that's around. Let's do two pumps. Okay, so up to six. Two more. Two pumps. One pump. Create a duplet. Add five inch rounds. And one more. Got one pump. Two pumps. More. We'll add the five inch rounds and then we'll start building our basket. Fell onto the floor. Okay, so we're connecting our eighth and final connection point for what some people call spokes of a woven sculpture. Okay, so we've got all eight added at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second ring. We've added these onto the first ring. Now we're going to basically take it and we're going to connect at the second link in each of these into the second ring. And I'm going to go around and connect it just like this. Working my way around each link. Just like that. And the really fun thing about this sculpture is that we're using six inch quick links at this point in time for this. But you can actually scale the sculpture up. I'm going to show you in just a little bit. We can scale the sculpture up, the basket up, to be something even larger that can be used for more of a larger decor centerpiece or a really large installation sculpture as well. So we're going to take our, our third ring and we're going to go ahead and connect it now to the last connection point we have. Just like that. Bring it around. Like 
that. Okay. And we have our basket, our quick link basket. Pretty simple. We used a total of 24 purple quick links. And then we also use another series of 24 total. We used 16 of the smaller pink quick links. And then we also used a total of 16 of the five inch rounds to create the basket. Now, sometimes I like to put something on the bottom because right now you've got an opening at the base. Sometimes I put something there, sometimes I don't. It depends on what I'm gonna to use to fill the bottom. Um, at this point, I'm not going to because I'm gonna show you how we can um, use this sculpture in other ways as well. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create um, the handle. Uh, we'll do that in actually just a moment. Uh, what I did with this particular basket, I added additional detail around around the edges to create more of a more of a, a, a basket look or more of an Easter look. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna inflate eight uh, 160s uh, and then we're gonna connect at each connection point. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create this diagonal effect um, into the balloon as well. So let's go ahead and inflate eight 160 balloons. Got one. One of the real benefits of um, this particular convention, obviously there's like a thousand benefits because we've all learned so much. I stayed up, I think, until three or four o'clock this morning watching uh, the different instructors yesterday. Um, it's, it's really been amazing. Um, as an instructor conventions, typically we don't get an opportunity to attend classes because usually we're too busy to, um, you know, to attend uh, any classes or we're prepping for our classes. Uh, we're trying to get a meal in in between the time that we're spending in jam rooms and, and teaching. So it's it's really quite daunting when you're teaching at a convention. So the last thing you really want to do is actually go sit down in a, in a class. I, I, I probably can count on you know, one hand the number of classes I've been able to attend at in multiple conventions when I'm teaching. But with this particular one, it's amazing because I get to watch everything, uh, especially that last segment with Chris Stewart and David. I just had to had to light a candle and uh, and get a get some wine. Those guys are awesome. <laughs> Those guys are great. Um, all right, so we're inflating our our eight uh, eight one sixty cues like a fireside chat with with Chris, Adam, and uh, David or Chris Stewart. And David, I'm sorry. Oh, that one didn't work. Let's try this one again. It's like a rocket. Okay, so we've got our eight 160s inflated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start connecting those into each five inch round at the top. I'm just going to wrap it around and make sure it's attached in pretty well. So I'm going to work my way around the basket to just connect these. If I'm not teaching and I'm spending a little bit more time and I know this is going to be a piece that I'm going to deliver that I'm charging good money for, I would probably tie these into each nozzle. But if I wrap them tight enough, they won't come undone for the sake of the class. So we're attaching all eight of these. Now, what's really great about this class for me personally is that with Easter coming up in a, in a couple weeks, um, obviously our Easter's um, are vastly changed as to how each of us are going to celebrate uh, this upcoming year. Uh, and one of the cool things that our neighborhood has been doing is that they've been um, they've been doing themed walk days to where uh, like one day they ask everyone in the neighborhood to like put teddy bears in their windows or rainbows in their windows or draw chalk drawings on the street and so when you get out and walk with your family because that's the only form of exercise really we can get right now without being able to go to the gym um, as you go for your walk you look around and you see in the neighborhood um, you know who's doing what which is really cool uh, so I had this really fun idea this year uh, to to do a super secret balloon install in my neighborhood uh, at night while everyone's sleeping, kind of like the real Easter Bunny, uh, where I'm going to go around the neighborhood and do six different installations uh, without anybody knowing. Uh, and what uh, some of the stuff that I'm using to create right now 
is actually going to be the um, some of the things I install or install in a few weeks. So I'll be keeping it in my garage, which is relatively cool. So, so I'm really excited to make this stuff for this class, but as well, uh, multi-purpose use it in, uh, in, in a way of bringing smiles to people around the neighborhood as well. So what we're gonna do with this now that we've got the 160 is, I'm gonna bring it down across. That's about an eight inch bubble and I'm gonna do a twist. And then I'm gonna slide it under like that and lock it in and then loop it back through and pull it back out like this. And then I'm going to bring it down one more time. You can see that down into this five inch bubble on the base and wrap it around a couple times. And then I'm gonna get rid of the, get rid of the rest of it. So I'm gonna pop that off and give this a tie. I'm gonna do that for seven more times so we cross the rest of the basket. So five eight inch bubble. Slide it through. Get it locked in that. And pull it back out through here. And then come down to the five inch twist. Five inch bubble and twist it in. Get rid of the rest. Give that a good couple of twists. All right, we're gonna keep working our way around. Get here. The other thing I wanna say, um, I'll take this time to uh, talk to the, the twisters that are, are, are tuned in, I'm sure. There are some of you out there, but um, uh, for those of you that do twist, um, uh, at one point in time, I was um, only a twister. That's all that I did for a living uh, was twist balloon, not for a living, but um, but for balloon income. Was, was I was a restaurant performer for for several years, uh, performing you know for children at uh, different restaurants each week, and I worked my butt off handing out uh, so many business cards and. Um, uh, you know, just um, um, just trying to make as much money as possible, uh, twisting balloons in restaurants. And I wasn't working for tips only, uh, but uh, what I was doing is, um, um, you know, I got the restaurant to pay me an hourly rate, plus I'd get tips on top of that, so it was a good source of income. Um, but then when I started getting jobs uh, doing decor, I started finding that I could make a lot more money, uh, you know, doing doing decor. It was, uh, it was pretty... It was pretty amazing, um, you know, being able to uh, to do that. So, um, you know, so it's, uh, from a twister perspective, there's a lot more money to be had in decor as well. So, um, does this look? Um, you guys seen everything okay right now? Does this look all right? Just want to make sure that you guys can still see me okay. Okay. So we've got, we're gonna keep going around with the, with the 160s. Like this. Work our way across. Almost done with this portion of it.
Okay. And there we have it. The basket with the additional detail spiraling around just like this. Okay. I'm going to take a couple more 160s. And you can get super detailed around the edge of the top if you want to. Uh, or you can, uh, you know, keep it relatively simple. Um, you can create bubbles going across the, uh, the ridge of the top. Or you can do, um, you know, just balloons going across the top. I'll show you what the, the bubbles what the bubbles look like across the top as well. Okay. So I'm going to do a row of bubbles across the top connecting to each side. I'm just going to tie in a 160. And going across, I'm going to do a series of seven, seven bubbles. I'm going to try and keep them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven bubbles, just like that, going across. And I'm going to keep doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Okay. So we're going to keep going across. So we'll do another balloon. So we'll do seven more bubbles. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I'm going to do seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. I think with one more balloon, we should be able to finish this up. Okay, let's connect this last balloon. And we'll do two more sets of seven bubbles. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then we just have one more connection here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to connect this and get rid of the rest of this balloon. There you go. Okay, so we've got the basket as well as as the the edge, the trim along the edges to make it look like a basket. Next, what we're is we're going to go ahead and create the handle that's going to go across the top of the basket. So for that, I'm going to use two purple violet 160s and two pink 160s. These are rose, actually. So we're going to do. Two of these, so one rose and one purple violet. I'm going to tie them together just like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spiral them as tightly as possible. So I'm just going to begin to spiral. Now I'm going to tie it off. Okay. 
going to tie them together. Maybe. Okay. So I've got one of these. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a second one because we're going to want it to come across, come across the top. So I'm going to inflate another purple 150. And another pink for rose. And we're going to spiral these as well. I'm going to straighten these out. We're going to spiral them. Just like we did the last one. Okay, last of it. Tie these off. Okay. All right, then we're going to want to measure it to make sure that these are about the equal length because we don't want one to be really any much longer than the other one. This looks like about that much longer, so I'm going to twist it there and then connect this one on the other side like that. Put a little bit of a a bend, and then we're going to be able to tie these together at the top. Okay. Hopefully without popping them. Okay. So now we've got a nice handle. We're going to just give them a little bit of a, of a bend to give it more of that curve you get with a basket handle and then I can get rid of these down here. Okay. All right. You guys see this okay? So we've got the Easter basket. That's pretty much it for the basket. It's relatively simple. Um, we're going to move on and make the bunny that's going to sit in the basket. Uh, what's fun about this sculpture is that you can do basically whatever you want with this. Um, actually, before we do that, I'm going to create a bow that's going to sit at the top. So for this particular one, I'm just going to grab uh, like a yellow 160. Let's just do. Just grab the gold, a golden rod 160. I'm just going to create. Just a cute little bow that's going to be at the top of the basket as well. So I'm just going to create something relatively quick and easy. That way we can cover up those knots right there. We don't want those exposed. So, so I've just I've created just a simple bow where I did a balloon with a loop twist, pinch twist, another loop twist, and then we can twist this off. You've got the rest of the ribbon. Just like this. Okay, and then I can use a strap of a balloon to tie this in around here. And then we'll give it a bit of a of a shaping. So that it looks ribbony. Just like that. Okay. Pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and set the basket off the side real quick. And we're gonna get started on um, we're gonna put a bunny on the inside of the basket. Uh, one of the things that we do, I guess, to fill this out, uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, one of the things um, that I've done in the past is I've used um, these are uh, 16 inch. Uh, geo balloons or flower blossoms, either one work here. But you can take this and this way actually, you can put water inside of this and it would uh, fill out pretty nicely. Um, I'll show you an easy way of putting water inside of something. There's a technique that somebody had showed me, uh, I think it was maybe Robbie Furman a long time ago, where he took a red balloon pump. I don't know if they still make these red balloon pumps or not. I still have quite a few of them. 
uh, here in my, uh, in my house. But what you can do is you can actually take this red balloon pump and put the balloon over the end of it and take the top off just like this and then take a cup of water and then pour the water into that into that pump just like that. I'm going to do a little bit more because this is a bigger balloon. And then put this back on here. And then if you give it a press, I'll make sure it's tight because I'm not holding it that tight. Give it a press just like that. And that'll put the water into the balloon and then give you the ability to keep inflating. Oh, Finish this off. Here we go. Okay, so we finished inflating this. I'm gonna tie it off without losing it. Now we've got a water-filled weighted geo that we can set down on the inside of the basket, just like that. Uh, that'll give the basket some weight and also give us a connection point for the bunny uh, that will be that will be attaching onto onto the basket as well. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And then we'll start working on the bunny. So the start of the bunny, we're going to work on the muzzle, on the uh, the face of the muzzle. Uh, so I'm going to grab the balloons for that. So I'm going to show you a a bigger version. How much time, time do we have? Five fifteen. Uh, 15. Okay. I'm going to show you a bigger version of the bunny, and then a smaller version of the bunny. One that can be used. The bigger version would fill uh, this basket, and then the smaller version would be what you put onto, um, we've got other small water-filled uh, geo balloons that we put on these uh, that we would use like this. That These would not necessarily go in the sculpture itself, good, but could be used as centerpieces around um, the party, or if these are decor for, for a party, could be used as just um, decor as centerpieces, or just you know on tables, gift tables, things like that for uh, Easter theme parties. So. So we're going to do the bigger bunny first. So to start off, we're going to take a white. I'm going to start off with a white 350. And I'm going to inflate that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three bubbles. Let's see if you can see this. It's about a one inch bubble. And I'm going to pinch kiss that bubble. And I'm going to do a second bubble that I'm going to pinch kiss like that. And then a third bubble. Now I want this third bubble to definitely be the exact same size as that second bubble. Okay. So I'm going to turn the bottom bubble. So now we've created a muzzle that's going to be the basically the mouth of the bunny rabbit. And then I'm going to twist about a half inch bubble just like that. And then I'm going to do two loop twists that are about three inches in length. The total balloon is going to be about maybe five or six inches. I'm going to do when it's loop twist, it's going to be about three inches. So I'm doing about a three inch loop, followed by another three inch loop. Okay, just like that. So we've got the muzzle, and then we've got We've got the cheeks of the bunny. And then one bubble in the back, we're just gonna do a, a small pinch twist with that bubble. So I have to install a pinch twist, just like that. And then I'm gonna get rid of the rest, get rid of the rest of the balloon. Okay, so these are gonna be the cheek and the muzzle of the bunny rabbit. From here, I'm going to take, we're going to do a yellow uh, yellow bunny. So I'm going to take a, a, a yellow uh, 350. And I'm going to inflate that. And I'm leaving about a three, three to four finger tail at the end of the balloon. I'm not going to use a lot of this balloon. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the head structure. So I'm going to twist, twist this in between the cheeks where we did the cheeks and the pinch twist. I'm going to lock it in right there. Just 
just like that. And I'm going to come up about three inches and I'm going to twist it off. And I'm going to go down another three inches, just like that bubble, back into that same twist. I'm going to give this a squeeze. And I want these bubbles to be the exact same size, if possible. So it would look like that. Okay, and then I'm going to work this around to the front. And then the rest of this balloon, I'm going to give it a good squeeze and a stretch. I want this to be very, very soft, so give it a good hug, a good squeeze. And then I'm going to pull this balloon over the top of those two bubbles that I created already. So I'm going to give it a tight pull up and over like that. And I'm going to twist that in to the back into the pinch twist. Just like that. So you've got your muzzle, your two cheeks. We also have our pinch twist in the back. And then these are going to be a part of the head. And now what we need to do is create the ears. The ears for the bunny. So for the ears, for the ears I'm going to take a 260. Actually, I'm going to do two 260s, so I want these ears to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and inflate the 260s. I don't want these ears to be too large, but so I'm doing, I'm, I'm inflating the first one to a four finger tail. I'm going to do the same for the second. And you obviously want these ears to be the exact same size, so we got a four finger tail as well. Sorry about all the cats in the background. Okay, control and own the house. My apologies. Okay, so we've created a loop for one of the ears. I'm going to do the same with the second balloon. But we obviously want to make sure that these are the exact same size and length. I'm going to tie these off. And what I'm going to do is shape it now. I'm going to just take it and kind of squish it together. And at the very end, this is the knotted end, we're going to go to the other end like this. And I want to give it a pinch. I'm going to do what's called a shock twist. So I'm going to shock it like that and twist it. So it makes kind of a popping noise, which is going to cause it to kind of, as you can see, it's going to create that point. And then I'm also going to give it some bends because I want it to kind of bend down. I'm going to want it to kind of flop the, flop the ears is what I'm going for. So I'm bending it down this way and then I'm giving it a curve out like that. So I'm going to do that again with this one. So I'm going to take this other ear, I'm going to give it a shock twist at the end, like that. We're going to give it a shock twist up here so it bends a little bit, like that, and then give it a little bit of a curve. So now we'll have the two floppy ears that are going to fit into the onto the head. The way I'm going to put the ears on is I've got two tails right now. I've got two tails left over. I'm going to tie these two together. I'm going to want these to stretch apart a little bit so that when they're attachable, it's going to allow them to kind of lay floppy or not stick straight out. So I'm going to tie these two balloons together, being sure to leave that, that stretchy point between those two. And then I'm going to snip off the rest of that balloon like that. Okay. And the way that we put the ears on this is, so we've got this balloon that we wrapped from the muzzle to the back of the head. I'm just going to slide that off. And then with the slit off, I'm going to pull one of those ears in that loop until it comes through. And then I'm going to slide it back on like that. And because we have that excess balloons, we can see that you can stretch across the top. And once again, that's going to allow it to kind of rest down and hang flop instead if it was super tight they'd be sticking in real tight and sticking up like this which wouldn't be a bad looking bunny but what i'm i guess what i'm looking for is something that has more floppy wings that kind of hang down just like that okay so we're there um we also want to create uh, a cute little nose for the bunny as well so we can take you can take um a, a pink 260 we need the rose 260 Okay. All right, and I'm going to create a bubble just on the end of it, just like that, and then I'm going to tie that off, and then get rid of the rest. 
and then attach that into the muzzle of the bunny, like that. There. So now we've got our cute little Easter bunny head. All right, now we're going to keep working on the body. So we're going to inflate another white 350. I want the belly of my bunny to match the cheeks, so I'm not going to do... There's no real right or wrong answers to the color that you do for this, but I'm just going to do um, white for the belly. So I'm going to attach this into the base of the neck where this yellow comes out. So I'm going to take the nozzle and wrap it... Wrap it in like that, and then the white's going to come out underneath the chin, just like that. So you have this is going to come down the belly. Now there are a couple different ways you can do it. You can sometimes I'll loop this up and reconnect it on the back. But since I've got this yellow balloon coming down, I'm just going to twist these together down a little bit. Oh, okay. We got rid of so I twisted these two together. And then with the rest of this white balloon, I'm going to create a bubble that will be the tail. Just like that. And then we can get rid of the rest of the white balloon. Make sure we lock this in so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so we have our bunny head and our bunny body at this point. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to create, we're going to create the legs. Um, there are many different ways. There are easy ways to create legs. There can be compli complicated ways. I like to create like like hips and legs and feet, especially on bunnies and uh, squirrels and, uh, you know, creatures like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white 350 and I'm going to inflate that. Just for the sake of being different, um, I'm going to actually create white toes to go along with the yellow legs because I think that's going to create something that's even going to be cuter. I haven't done this with any other scopes that I've tried yet, so I'm going to take a white 350 and I'm just going to create three little bubbles that are going to create three pinch twists that will create the toes of the bunny rabbit. I've never done it this way. I have no idea why I'm doing it this way right now. Um, other than the fact that I think this might actually be cute and it just came to me right now. That's the way most of my balloon art happens is that you just run with it in the moment. So we've got cute little toes on the, the balloon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bubble that's about two to three inches. And then we'll go a little bit about three inches. We're going to do a pinch twist just like that. So we've got our two little toes, three inch bubble pinch twist, and I'm going to create a loop. And we want this loop, it's going to be about a, a six to eight inch bubble. And these are going to be the hips of the bunny. So we've got a foot, we've got the toes, the foot, the hips, and then we've got the rest of the balloon. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to twist a, a half inch bubble, a half inch bubble there, followed by a pinch twist. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to pull this up and pull this through the leg, the hip. And it's going to fill that. It's going to fill that hip just like that. So when you're looking at it like this, this is what you're going to have for one of the legs. We're going to replicate this with another balloon on the other on the other side as well. So we still have the rest of our, our white 350. We're going to take a new yellow 350. And we're going to inflate this. So we're going to add the three toes, just like we do the other foot. So I'm going to do three cute little white toes. Like that. And then we're going to attach it onto the yellow. I'm going to get rid of the rest, rest, of, the, rest of the white. I'm going to snip this off. Just like that. Okay, and once again, we want to basically follow the same 
thing that we did on this particular balloon, we're going to start off with this three inch bubble. But we really want to make sure these are the same size. So about a three inch bubble, followed by a half inch bubble pinch twisted. And then we want to create that loop that we did for the hips of the bunny. And once again, we want to make sure these are the exact same size. So really make sure you're looking to see that they're the same size. Just like that. So we've got the hips. And then just like with this one, I'm going to create a small bubble followed by a half inch bubble pinch twist. Just like that. And then I'm going to slide it through there so that it sits nice in there. And now what we're going to have is two legs. Let me turn this around. The two legs of the bunny. Now all I have to do is connect these. So what I'm actually going to do to connect them, there's a couple different ways I could do it. I'm just going to twist a half inch bubble here because I want these to be tight when I put it into the bunny. So I'm going to do a half inch bubble here and a half inch bubble on the other one. And I'm going to twist them together. And then we can actually just tie these two balloons together. So we're going to get rid of the rest of the air. Tie these together just like that. Okay. And we should have our bunny legs. And the way that we attach is we're going to take our bunny and we're just going to slide one of these legs right in between the yellow and white balloon. And then that'll sit nicely just like that. So you've got your cute little bunny legs. Next, all we have to do to finish off the bunny is we can add arms, arms to the bunny, and then we'll add eyes as well. And that'll finish it out. So to add arms for the bunny, I'm going to take a, a 260, a yellow 260. And I'm going to attach that 260 in the back, to that pinch twist on the back of the neck right there. I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach that in right there. Okay, I'm gonna come around and we're gonna twist arms. Just like this. And I'm gonna come back up and twist on the back side. Can you see this? Okay. Okay. So you guys can see. Okay. All right. So that's the bunny. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create um, a dime onto the bunny as well. So we're going to take. Um, a white, we're going to add a white 260. Okay, so we're going to a white 260. We're going to create a four inch bubble. It's about a three inch bubble, about that length. We're going to do another three inch bubble. We want these bubbles the exact, exact same length as well, just like that. And I'm going to get rid of the rest of the balloon. Inside it off. So we've got our cute bubble. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide that in to the face behind this front bubble that comes up over the head. Slide it in there. Like that. Now you've got your the eyes for the front of the bunny. Just like that. Then all we have to do now is we just have to add, I'm going to add um, black for the eyeballs for the bunny. 
So I'm going to take uh, a black, two black, two sixteen. Okay, we're going to go back to 260. Another black to So we want the eyes, obviously, to be the same size. These, so we're going to create, I'm just getting two bubbles. Just like this. We've got two bubbles. We're going to tie them together. Okay, so we got our two eyeballs for the bunny. And we're just going to slide these in between the balloons we just added for the, for the eyes as well. Maybe down a little bit. Just like that. So we've got our cute little bunny that's going to be in the center of the centerpiece or the what we're going to anchor into the middle of the centerpiece as well. So that's our finished bunny. Relatively, uh, relatively simple. Uh, not too complicated. If I'm working full speed, I can make this in about, um, about five to seven minutes. It usually doesn't take that long. But what's certainly awesome about this sculpture is that, once again, as I showed that you can fill um, a geo uh, by simply twisting this in five to 10 minutes and attaching it onto this, you create something that is uh, highly sellable, uh, something that people haven't really seen before, uh, something that will make incredible decor uh, for any type of party. And I'm not just saying with like an Easter bunny, uh, it can be any type of sculpture uh, from a twister perspective that you might already know how to twist. Um, it could be your favorite character, your favorite superhero, your favorite Disney character, any sort of character that you're really good at twisting at a party uh, by maybe upsizing it, scaling it up a little bit in the complexity, and then attaching it onto something as simple as a, as a water-filled geo, it becomes something that's sellable. Um, the reason I talk about something that's sellable is as a twister, you go to a party and you get your hourly rate for performing at the party, and that's absolutely wonderful. But when I go back to when I was twisting as my main source of, of, uh, of entertainment income, I can't tell you how many parties where I would show up and there would be balloon decor already there. And I got so upset because that was revenue that I was missing out on. So when I started offering uh, twisted centerpieces, that allowed me to not only get my rate for twisting at the party, uh, but also um, gave me additional income, or I like to refer to as double dipping from an income perspective uh, for the party. Um, and it, was, it wasn't that easy to get started, but once I started doing it more and more, I found that the way that I sell more twisted decor is because I offer it to every single person that books me for a, uh, for a party. Whether it's a corporate party, a birthday party, uh, a picnic, any sort of event, any event whatsoever. Um, if you just ask if they are interested in twisted decor, um, you would be surprised how many times they will be interested. Uh, and when they do ask, uh, like, like what are some ideas or, you know, if you can find out what the theme of the party is, I usually will recommend they go look at my Instagram or I'll send them photos of sculptures I've done in the past and said, oh, you're doing a Disney theme party. Uh, you know, here's some Disney theme sculptures I've done for other parties. And once they see that I've made these centerpieces before, they think I have to have that. They want that. And it gives me the ability to charge, you know, anywhere from 25 to 75 to $150 per twisted centerpiece that I'm putting on the tables. And when you add that times eight or 10 tables, plus any other helium filled decor, because I still offer helium filled decor, or any uh, arches or columns, once you start stacking all that together in addition to the entertainment that you're providing, uh, the income from that, now you're making uh, really good money doing balloons, um, which is how in my, um, in my business, 90% um, of my income now comes from decor, not from twisting. I do way more decor now than I do twisting. So it's, um, it's actually a wonderful thing. I still love to twist, uh, don't get me wrong, but selling decor and offering decor is something that's gonna make you a bit more money in a weekend uh, than what you will doing five to seven events uh, as a twister. So 
uh, that's my uh, my thoughts on uh, uh, twisters going into the world of the core. One other thing, really quickly, while we're talking about it, so I think I've got uh, a little bit of time left. Um, as a twister, uh, there's something called uh, the QBN network. Uh, look it up. Um, it's um, a, basically an educational program that uh, Pioneer and Qualitex offer uh, to twisters and non-decorators that want to get into, um, you know, into the core. Um, I will admit this: uh, some of the CBA content going through the CBA is a little bit old, and I think they're in the process of updating that information. But the education and the information in the CBA program is invaluable uh, for somebody that is not. Uh, does not have experience with the decor. So I highly recommend it, get your CBA, certainly worth it because um, the cost of your CBA is very minimal compared to the amount of money you'll get back on that investment. So I uh, highly recommend that. Okay, so let's get back to twisting. All right, so we've made this cute little bunny. Um, and as I said with the, um, the basket, I created the, the geo, that, the geo blossom that's in the bottom of the basket. I'm gonna take that out. And we're going to attach this to, to this balloon. So in the way that we're going to attach this, I'm going to take, I'm going to take um, just a uninflated uh, 350. And I'm going to tie it into that bubble on the bottom. That's the tail. And I'm going to tuck this into the hole of the geo. And I'm going to pull it tight. And then I'm actually just gonna pull that around and tie this tail into the knot of the geo, just like this. Just like that. And you can set this down. Now you've got a water weight attachment for the bunny. So then we can take our basket and then we're just going to stuff this in right here, and now you've got your your bunny sitting in the basket, just like that. The way that I would finish out this sculpture is I would add uh, Easter eggs. Uh, and the way that I create Easter eggs, um, it's relatively simple. I just take uh, I take an 11 inch um, uh, print balloon from Qualitex, and I will just um, I'll underinflate it. Uh, relatively simply, I just, uh, I'll take it, just one of these, it's just basically a, a polka dot print, and I'll inflate it, and I'll put a little bit of air into the balloon, just like that, and I'll squish it, I'll squish it up, put a little bit of air out, just like that, I want it to look a little bit more, more round. Just like that. And you can see that it takes on the shape of an egg. Uh, and you can tie that off. And then if you're going to be adding it onto your sculpture, it's relatively, um, there are different ways you can attach it. Um, you know, I like to use, um, you know, U glue dashes or something that's pretty good. Let me get my dashes real quick. All right, so. So I'm just going to take a U-glue dash and I'll attach it to the egg. And I'll take the backing off, just like that. And I'm just going to attach it. You can attach it anywhere onto the, either onto the bunny or onto the sculpture itself, you know, something like that. Um, and then you can just keep, you know, keep filling out the basket. You can see this with the egg on it as well. So you can keep adding eggs to it. Um, you can get really creative with this design. You can add, um, you can grab, um, add flowers. You can add, um, you know, basically anything uh, Easter related. Uh, the basket's really just the base of anything that you could create. You can add grass. I know that there's a pretty cool technique that you can use where you take um, monofilament and fill it full of, um, put it inside of a 260 and give it a pull. And then it creates this really cool wound grass looking uh, grass looking thing that you can add, which is uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can get really creative with this and do whatever you want. And as I mentioned, um, I don't know if we're gonna have time to get to this, but as you can see, this is the smaller version of the, the bigger the bigger bunny. 
it's basically so this this bunny right here this bunny uses 350s um, and so we use 350s for basically everything uh, except for the ears and the arms but this bunny is the exact same thing except we used a 350 for just the head just the head portion and 260s still for the ears but everything else is 260s and this is even this is even more of a scaled down version of that same bunny so the ears are a little bit smaller and instead of adding white for the eyes i just added black in the eyes and it's still super cute and still super easy just more of a, a scaled down version and like i said this is really more for like twisted center pieces and twisted sculptures that you would want to add on to um, you know add on to the addition of the larger sculpture so the other thing that i'd like to show you as well is um, I mean, these are just sellable pieces, uh, deco twisting, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, we've created some twist elements, we've used round elements, and we're creating something unique that people have never seen before, most people haven't seen before. But you can really go back to classic decor. And what I did was I created, you know, just a, a very simple, this is just a simple column, very simple. It's just a piece of, of, of Classic PVC, I've added four, a quad, quad, you know, this is on the precision air, was one second, uh, 0.7 seconds, 0.7 seconds, one second, you know, 260 is just to cover it up. Super simple. But then you can take the sculpture in itself that you created, this one, and you can sell this as is, you know, this is really sellable. You know, just to sell it as is for decor. But then you could also even add it onto the top of a column as something that's a little bit more worth more money. You know, all I've done was I've added a 260. I would make it a little bit more complicated as an attachment point, but I can just simply take the 260 and wrap it around. Wrap it around just like that. I'm just going to add another U glue dash here. attach it there okay now we've created not just a basket with a bunny but we've created a column that's got a basket with a bunny on it so much more value that gives you the ability of taking it from what you charge for just the basket to a full column and now you've got something that's entirely more sellable entirely more creative um, and super um, super cute super fun uh, something even better so to go back to the basket as well I want to show you how it scales uh, because I did uh, explain when I was creating the two the basket, the smaller basket, when we were creating this, I said this is this upscales onto something that's a bit larger. So I'm going to show you how, how that works as well. Are you guys coming down? So this is the exact same basket right here, but it's actually um, much larger. We've, we've, instead of using six inch quick links, we've used 12 inch quick links as well as two sixties instead of one sixties. What's super fun, this, this particular basket is, come on over sweetie, come here. All right, everyone, I'm gonna have an assistant here. This is my lovely daughter, Barbara Sue. Say hi, everybody. All right, so what's really super cool about this is I've added straps to the inside of the basket. And that now what I can do is I can take this over her and put this on her just like that. Let's get you over this way. And now we've created a cute little um, Easter basket sculpture. Uh, and then also we can take these cute little, this cute little headband that I've created. Put this back over. Is that comfortable? Just like that. Okay, can you guys see that okay? So now we went from creating just something that's sellable, scoot back just a little bit, something that's sellable to a fun little costume um, using the exact same design. So now it's bigger, and we just added something as simple as a headband. I know we've got a cute little costume as well, um, you know, that we can sell also. So, um, so that's it. All right, thanks so much for being here. Are you ready to hop out? Okay. Thank you so much. Desmond, you got to come over here?
So not only that, with that smaller one, we can actually, this is my son Desmond, say hi everybody. Desmond, say hi, say hi. So not just with that bigger one, here. even the smaller one makes for, get you back just a little bit. Get you back. All right, so even the smaller basket, I don't know if you can see him very well. Here, I'm gonna hold him up. All right, this is my son. So even the smaller one, of putting like a few little things, but I'm going to slide it up. Alright, you're good. Okay, hop on out. Thank you. Even a smaller basket would work as, as Easter as well, as, as something like a costume or uh, something something cute that can be worn by kids as well. So, um, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, as well as the basket and upscaling it onto a uh, centerpiece, I think that's that's pretty much um, that all I had for you today. I know we've got Maybe about 10 minutes, 10 minutes left. So does anybody have any questions? I think I lost, I lost the feed, so I'm not sure if people have any questions or anything like that. So uh, let me see if I can see if there are any questions um, as, at all. Are there any, are there any questions that anybody has at this point in time? Okay, so asking how would I how would I price how would I price the sculptures? Is that is that a question? How how would we price out these pieces? Um, pricing is pricing is actually a really really difficult um, conversation to have because my honest opinion about pricing is to charge everything I could possibly get out of my customer. That sounds extremely greedy, but um, and I hate saying that. <laughs> that makes me sound really bad. Uh, but it's actually true because what I charge for this stuff um, for someone that is having a birthday party in my neighborhood is probably going to be a little bit less than um, probably a little bit less than what I'm going to charge a corporation that's asking me for Easter decor. If that makes sense, you know, I'm, I'm all for offering better prices to people in the neighborhood as well as friends. But when it comes to corporations and stuff like that, I don't charge twice the cost. So. Also, pricing really um, comes down to our neighborhood and where you live and what city and what country. Uh, because I know that my friends over in Australia can charge a heck of a lot more for things that I can charge in the United States. Um, so, so that's just a really difficult question. But I guess my my short answer is as much as you can possibly get. And don't be ashamed if you're making these things for the first time and you're not getting what you might need to get for it or what you should get for it. Because there's no shame in there's no shame in getting paid to practice if, if that makes sense um you know i i my very first decor job and this is a true story i got a call from an event planner and he's like hey man i've been following your work online and i love what you do i've got an event coming up and i want to hire you for the decor and i was like okay cool what are you thinking about doing he's like well i want to do this do that and it sounded like a lot and i didn't have any equipment and i was just a twister and i was like well, what kind of budget are you working with and he's <laughs> He said ten thousand dollars, and I was like, "Are you kidding me? Like ten ten thousand? That's that's your budget. I've never done decor, and you 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 want to hire me to do ten? And and I'll tell you what, for that very first job, he paid me ten thousand dollars, but I probably gave him like twenty thousand dollars worth of decor, and I hated myself for it. But there's no shame because that money allowed me to invest in my business. It allowed me to buy Precision Air. It allowed me to buy a lot of equipment, a lot of materials, and it allowed me to buy experience. And that's like the most important thing is experience because as you become more and more experienced you can make more and more money and get away with charging more and more money so so that's it um i think chris uh chris damo asked to show the headband um i would love to do a, a quick um a quick thing i think we've got about nine minutes left of the headband this is actually relatively simple i'm going to take this apart and once again i'm i'm a super cheater so i'm just going to go with like a very super simple this is just a half inch plastic headband super cheap you know i get them um there's a gentleman on Blue Twister Central that uh, sells these. And shout outs on my BTC folks uh, that might be watching. Um, love you guys. Um, so we've got our half inch uh, headband. Um, super simple. Um, I'm going to take, um, we'll do, um, we're going to do uh, two, we'll do two um, uh, dark pink um, 
dark pink 260. So I'm going to inflate these, leaving a two-finger tail, three-finger tail. And once again, you want the ears to be the exact same length. So I'm just going to make sure I'm going to left about a three-finger tail in both of these. So I'm just going to tie them together. This is Wildberry. I was drawing a blank on the name of this color. This is my favorite color. I can't believe I forgot what it was for just a brief moment. Wildberry. Combine Wildberry with um, Peruvian Blue. It's my favorite combo of any two colors. So you've got your ear. And what I did like with the other one, I'm just going to give a shot twist to the end of it. And I really want to twist this as much as possible so it stays as tight as possible. And then on the other end, I'm just going to do a quick twist just like that. So I've got two bubbles, and then I'm going to basically pinch twist them, just like that. So you've got a pinch twist, and you've got this little balloon that sticks out. We're going to use that as the attachment point onto the headband, but we're not there yet. So I'm going to create the second ear. Once again, we want them to be the exact same length. Just like this. So we've got the second ear. Once again, I'm going to do a shock twist on the end of it. We want that to be as pointy as possible. Like I said, I'm, I'm a big, big, big cheater. I'm going to create two twists. We're going to pinch twist them. I'm a big, I'm a big cheater when it comes to, uh, to twisting. I know there are ways of doing things that don't involve uh, adhesive or markers and stuff like that. I'm like the biggest fan of Yugu in the world. Uh, I love I, I love using Yugo dashes and I use them on everything. So I'm just going to use two dashes. I'm just going to stick one dash in between the ear and stick it together like that. And then we're going to do a second dash a little bit further down. I have no shame in using adhesives at all. So now it's stuck together two spots and we're going to do the same with the other ear. We do it on time. We got about six minutes, maybe about two. Let's ramp this up. We're doing a second dash on the second ear, just like this. Okay, so we got the two. So you're just gonna take your headband, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it right on the edge, the two, the two pinch twists and wrap that around to give it an attachment point. I'm gonna give it a curve, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same with the other, the other side as well. Just like this. Okay, so we got the two ears. Now, what I'm gonna do just to kind of hide the dashes is I'm gonna take white. I'm gonna take a white 260. And I want them to be about the length about the length of, um, of this, the ear. So I'm just going to twist it in to the bottom and then I'm going to measure the length. It's going to go to about right here. So I'm going to twist it off, get rid of the rest, tie it. And that's going to be the length up to there. You make it a little bit cleaner. And then once again, I'm going to take a U glue dash to the back of the ear and just attach it. Just like that. I might do a second attachment you would ash at the top as well. And then I'm just do the second one as well. And by the way, for the twisters, I think the days of mouth inflating are coming and going. Sadly, it's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's probably good for everybody. Pioneer and Qualitex does not recommend mouth inflating. I shouldn't be, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to go as fast as possible. I shouldn't also rip balloons with my teeth either. Um, okay, I'm just trying to wrap this up because I know we're running out of time. Just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do, just give it a stretch. We'll do one more dash in here. Nope, just like that. Okay, once again, we're going to give it a curve, and then you've got your cute little, little Easter Bunny headband, just like this. Pretty simple, quick, pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. Most Swissers don't keep you glue dashes in their 
you know, in their bags while they twist and stuff like that. But uh, I, I typically do just for these type of sculptures. Um, always uh, good to have a connection point if you need it without getting crazy with raisins and stuff like that while you're performing live. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, thanks everyone for attending and uh, joining me. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, um, uh, I'm, I'm honored that all of you took the time to spend this with me and not just with me, but all the other amazing instructors that are taking time out of their life and their day to, um, to show you something for an hour and a half. Um, it's not just the time of the artists, but it's also the time of their family um, members that are taking on more of a burden with the current situation with having to, to teach the children and, and put up with my house that I had to basically tear apart to try and create a space that is, uh, you know, uh, not, not so crazy. <laughs> Not crazy. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much. Um, I'll take it back to uh, to Keith and Dom whenever uh, whenever they're ready or if they're ready right now. We, Hello, we Dennis. Are here. Hello, buddy. Are you getting? Oh, over? I can't hear you guys. You can't. Hold on. Uh, okay, no worries. No worries. Uh, can we just get in the chat? Can we show the appreciation for Dennis, please? Um, give him some big hearts. Uh, he did rock it. Uh, my golden nugget for the day, says Suzanne. Can you hear us now, sir? Uh, thank you, Dennis. 24 hours in and many more to go. This Mr. Balloonatic, have you actually had any sleep? Have you been up with Are us you in the our entire club? time? You crazy, crazy fool. I think he's in our club. Dennis, there's a lot of love out there for you, buddy. There is. There certainly is. Thank you very much for what you've done there. Lots of uh, cool Sorry, guys, I can't on. hear you. My apologies. I have no sound at this point in time, but no yeah, if, you're still, if you're still with me, yeah. Yep. yeah. Thanks, yeah, thanks we, for everything. Yeah. We, we, we can hear it. you, yes. So Talk to you guys thank later you. on. Take care. All Bye right. for now. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Awesome work. Right. Uh, again, guys, Dennis will be looking in the chat a little bit later, so please uh, show your appreciation for the man who's given up another hour and a half of his time and all of the time that went into prep. Well, prep like you guys as well, us. he's you know he's on lockdown. He's you know trying to work out what he can do, where he can do it, converting his house, that family home of his there, did you and see the cats. Well, <laughs> he uh, he pulled out the big guns right when he brought the kids in and dressed mm -hmm. them up. Clever. I mean, come on, cat. And kids. Yeah. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well it. done. Probably and so I fun. love actually the bunny rabbit itself. The that bunny is uh it's it's I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's a it's, it's a little touches, design. you know, the shape in the ears, you know, that yeah. little bit of um uh, extra detail, you know, that doesn't really take much. It's the same balloon, but you just add that little bit of uh, flair to it, and it just adds so much character to it. And I did tell you that he was that. one of the uh, the best twisters in the universe. The universe, well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, somebody <laughs> said earlier on as well was that was well, were they watching it on sp and sped up because of how fast he twists and how fast <laughs> no, he moves no. his hands. No, that's just Dennis's normal speed. I think he's probably slowed himself down a little bit as well. Okay, this thoughts. is the best production in the cyber world. <laughs> uh, well, it's the first of its kind. and Well, um, we are officially now 24 hours in yes. on the first three parts, one, two, and three, yeah. three eight-hour streams. Between us, I Out think... Out of 15. We have... We, I, we're going to be honest. We had a 10-minute power nap. Yeah, absolutely. But... So. In fairness, though, we were awake for 16 hours before that 24 hours. Yeah. And then it's been a rough two weeks before that. But so. we're going to endeavour. We're going to endeavour to stay awake. If the stream goes down and it doesn't come back on for longer than 45 minutes, anybody who has our personal contact numbers, <laughs> please feel <laughs> free touch. to get in touch. Okay? Right. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, it is time to change streams again. So we've got about 800 people watching at the moment. Um, we've got Joet. Giardina from the oh, balloon that's court. a good tip while you're doing now thank you evie uh yes uh Joette is on next uh she's already we've already had a lovely conversation with her she's re ready to go but on the website uh which evie's just given the link for there as well i think not yeah. sure it's coming up yeah, there it is um go on to Joette's section there and you can download uh, there's a pdf along as well. so you can follow along and then yeah. You can what you can do is jump yourself over and if somebody on the team could send the link for part four um you can jump over there we're going to meet you there we just need to shut this stream down yep. and get it reset in the background so we can start it all up 
again exactly get yourself onto that new video and put a thumbs hours. up on that video and say hey joette we're looking forward to what you've got to say because actually we're following along with this one because she's got some cool stuff just because we had a sneak peek at the, uh, the, presentation. the presentation yeah you're gonna Sorry, love Jouette. it <laughs> you're gonna love it uh also just as a huge thank you to you guys we've actually reached this staggering amount of seventeen thousand two hundred uh plus subscribers so Crazy. um thank you very much evie's dream is that we reach at least twenty thousand by the end of it um and uh, i think we're on for that dream as long as you keep guys keep supporting so thank you so much and uh we shall see you on the next stream we'll be as quick as we can jump over as we always are don't miss a minute bye for now